Yes, Naveen. Naveen. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Good afternoon, and I welcome all delegates who are connected in today's webinar. And very good afternoon to all our panelists, moderators, and eminent speakers. I, Naveen Kohl, working as a sales manager, looking after North Zone, representing Pharma Care, a division of Sun Pharma, the makers oh. of. C and Cipodom XP, which is Cepodoxam and Cepodoxam Clive combination, Montag FX, which is Montelicost along with the Fexofenadine, and Reciper, Reciper D, that is s Omprazole, along with dom by dom combination. Before we start our today's proceedings, I would like to give a very brief introduction of our today's panelists. Today we are having with us Dr. Ravinder Sardasai from Pune and Dr. Devinder Lal Chandani from Welcome, sir. Welcome, Dr. Ravinder Sardasai and Dr. Devinder Lal Chandani. Today, our moderators are Dr. Udbo Mittal and Dr. Parmita Sai. And Madam has been associated with us since the beginning of this live workshop, workshop series. And, and above all, I would like to thank Dr. Raji Pachori, who has been instrumental and brain behind for initiating and making this the series of live workshops very interesting and successful thank you very much sir thank you so much sir dr raji pachori so today is going to be a live surgical demonstration advanced in endoscopic sinus and sickle based surgeries conducted by none other than the legend dr sati jain from jaipur whose name itself is a big introduction so with this before i hand over the session to dr raji pachori we are having with us with our uh, senior general manager, Mr. Amri Sai, who is our sales and marketing head. With this, I hand over the, sir, this session to Sir. Sir, over to you, Amri Sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Call. Uh, indeed, a great uh, experience for each one of us uh, under the leadership of uh, Dr. Satish Jain. Uh, the total number of hours so far are uh, more than 150 which is in itself is a milestone. So our each webinar conducted by Dr. Jain and Dr. Bachauri uh, last for at least uh, six to eight hours on various uh, surgical topics. I'm indeed thankful to all our beautiful families who have spared today, this afternoon. Being Sunday, I know uh, everybody is busy. So indeed thankful to the families who have spared you. So Sun Pharma, as you know, is a company which is uh, always uh, promoted. Uh, the scientific contents the, on academic front, we had been the number one company across the globe. Uh, with such kind of series of uh, webinars on ENT are going to be our major forte. And uh, the out of the 38 divisions of Sun Pharma, it's the Pharmacare division which where the our face is on ENT. So with this uh, background, without uh, any further ado, I would uh, like, to, like to quick start the this webinar. And uh, of course, with this, I hand over the session to Dr. Rajiv Pachauri. Over to you, Dr. Rajiv. Good afternoon, all my friends from all over the globe. And this is our 20th uh, live surgical, you can say webinar. Uh, with the Sun Pharma, and again, I would like to thank from my heart, uh, from Ms. from Dr. Satyajan and from my team, that uh, thanks Sun Pharma for again for this conducting, and they are the backbone of this uh, program since it started, and uh, this association will run for a long, long time. So today the topics are a bit, uh, may I would say, more interesting and very rare cases you all will go to see regarding the vascular lesion of the nasal cavity and nasal masses. And I think next five, eight hours, 10 hours, you will enjoy a lot. Last uh, webinar lasted for 12 hours. And I would like, again, I would like to thank, as uh, they said, that I would have all the families of the delegates or the uh, participants, they are bearing with us because they are trusting us also that why they are just uh, destroying their Sunday. But I think this, uh, this uh, sharing of the knowledge, they will uh, perish for lifelong and that will help in their practice also. So again, I would like to thank our panelists and guest panel, Dr. Sadesai sir from Pune and Dr. Devan Lal Chandani. He is the senior most in our state. And again, Udvam Mittal, our young brigade, Paramita Shah, and Sun Pharma, for, again, for this thing. I would like to thank the Pratis for giving us, because I uh, we shared a few cases in the last few days in our state, Europe, or in all over India, that 
people are start, we started doing bigger surgeries and they are doing angiofibroma they are doing a skull based tumor they are doing pituitary they are doing after seeing all these cases and then on this webinar by dr satish and that is a greatest uh, i would say living means you can say good thing for us and all of us so again i would like to thank uh, all my delegates from the friends and uh, our team member sun pharma and uh, i think I should, we should over to dr satish jain for starting the case and he will introduce our, uh, our panelists again over to dr satish thank you thank you, you. Thank you. And we have Dr. Hela Sami also with us now today. Dr. Hela Sami. I think we lost. Uh, uh, yeah, he's, he's just getting. He's just getting. Uh, like Dr. Pachori said, first of. Wait, wait. Something is wrong. So. And I would like to share that the today's presentation uh, surgeries would be, I think you will, uh, all of those who have already joined more than uh, 2000, uh, these are rare cases. You will not get in private practice uh, very easily. And uh, all just go through all the steps, just enjoy all the steps. Because even a small hemangioma, even a small lesion, and uh, these cases today we have orbital extension. So they can use that skill in other cases. And Dr. Satish. Thank you, boss. So um, it's a great day for us to have some experienced people with us. And see, as Dr. Pachori said, this uh, today we have a cases which are uh, considered to be difficult from diagnostic point of view. We'll discuss all these in detail. And that is why we have a panel of experts who have huge experience. We have Dr. Sardesai, sir, who has been always guiding us in our difficult times. He belongs to, uh, you know, he is working in one of the top hospitals in Pune, the Jahangir Hospital, Sasun Hospital, and he is a faculty in Bija Medical College, who has been a very renowned center in our India. Along with him, we have Dr. Lal Chandani, having experience of more than 40 years in ENT. Amazing, you know, the kind of, he must have seen all these cases in his life uh, several times. As I said, these are rare, difficult difficult to diagnose situation and this is all we are having a team of experts with us who has been uh, you know trained for various works he's a uh, all around the ENT surgeon you know he's been trained in US uh, Germany Singapore everywhere in different aspects of ENT and uh, head and neck surgery thank you sir for being with us I can see on screen I welcome Dr. Ayla Sami who is making us proud i have heard of his instrumentation it discovered yeah, yeah. which our government of india has acknowledged thank you boss thank you for making us proud thank you and i can see on his screen one of a thank you sadis rhinologist amazing rhinologist i have seen dr bibu pradhan from uh, nepal you won't believe the kind of you know the cases collection we have today i have done several times such collection of cases in Nepal, in Kathmandu, she's heading the rhinology division of one of the most prestigious college of Nepal, TU Teaching Center. And we have done a couple of time workshops with such huge variety and amount of cases with us. Thank you, madam, for being with us. Thank you all. So uh, like today, um, the theme of the day is the vascular lesions of the nose and paranasal sinus. Several times we have seen uh, uh, juvenile nasopharyngeal angiofibroma and other lesions. Today is non-angiofibroma other vascular lesions. There is a huge list of such vascular lesions, I tell you. If you uh, take into consideration the vascular lesions, there is a huge list. But these are the common lesions we see in our practice. Can you focus um, on the laptop? Can you connect? See, there are N number of vascular lesions one may encounter in the nose and paranasal sinuses. Commonly, we have seen JNAs. We have seen earlier ossifying fibroma. How vascular it was, we acknowledged that time during surgery, having a vascularity from ethmoidal arteries. Then other common lesions are hemangiomas. We have the first case today.
Ray is a different characteristic radiological finding other than uh, any other lesion you know in the nose so that can be diagnosed in a different then hemangiopericytoma is not uncommon it's a low grade malignant lesion with different characteristic arising from the pericytes of the uh, capillaries rhinosporidosis we have a second case today inverted papilloma we have a third case today then we have a chondromyxoid fibroma again a huge vascular lesion which i am going to share after as a fourth case then other lesions like aneurysmal bone cyst we have done couple of times and malignant lesion all you know there are variety of malignant situation which can affect the nasal cavity and paranasal sinuses right from squamous cell carcinoma to adenocarcinoma to adenoid cystic to lymphoma and many other you know malignant lesion which can present with bleeding so there are many vascular lesions and number of lesions can affect the nasal cavity and paranasal sinuses and in times to come we'll uh, explore and more and more such lesions in our future webinars so today the first case which um, uh, we are going to discuss is a interesting situation of a female she is a 48 year old lady who presented with a bleeding mass and you know if you look at the ct scan of that patient let me take you through first to the ct scan what she was having she was having this let me put it that way yes she was having this mass lesion in the nose enhancing see this yes, then sir. it went to the frontal sinus and then to the orbit and patient presented not only with the bleeding but with a proper no diplopia this patient was referred to us uh, pachori boss knows this very well and a biopsy was earlier taken looking at the mass lesion though in spite of having a history of bleeding and it turned out to be a hemangioma now once it turns out to be a hemangioma obviously we all know the surgery is the answer and for this lesion which is involved beyond the confines of the nose and paranasal sinuses see how extensively you cannot discriminate on ct scan where is the lesion where is the you know secretions you can't differentiate so we got the mri done and that was game changing i'll take you through two mri sequences and that will be totally game changing and see this dynamic mri this on the left side is a t2 weighted image see this this is a t2 weighted image any lesion on the t2 weighted any tumor will appear in by and large hypodense and secretions will appear hyper intense now look at this lesion in the nose if you start from the anterior part see this lesion in the anterior part hypodense yes sir hypodense as you go in the frontal sinus this is but here beyond this this lesion is not going beyond this part in the frontal sinus what it has done it has blocked the frontal outflow led, leading to the accumulation of secretion can you see yes sir and those burst through the floor of the frontal sinus into the orbit that is a collection of secretion this is less hyper intense looks like pyocil this is more hyper intense looks like more you know mucoid and this is how the lesion is limited till here but block the frontal sinus which is not allowing the frontal sinus to drain which is broken through the floor gone into the into the orbit and which had led to proptosis so what mri is given us this is not the proptosis not you know the orbital lesion is not the hemangioma the hemangioma is limited to the frontal recess which has blocked the frontal outflow and leading to this collection which has led to proptosis number 2 in the maxillary sinus as well see this this is just collection yes. not the tumor the tumor is here you can see the boundary of tumor all along now if you compare the same thing with the contrast the things become very obvious see in contrast the secretions will never enhance that makes it very very clear now that this is the tumor which is enhancing and this is the secretion which is not enhancing and this is the inflamed portion that the tumor is extending till here only then is the secretion which is not yes. enhancing 
Yes. So now we have two situations very clear. The tumor in the nasal cavity, by and large, extending to the frontal recess, going behind in the posterior part of the nasal cavity, right probably up to the coena. Probably up to the coena, but mainly extending towards the frontal recess and block the outflow which led to prophthosis. This accumulation in the maxillary sinus. So lesal is different and the secondary changes due to blockage of sinuses are different. I hope it is very clear. Yeah, absolutely. Now, yes, sir. Now, if you go back to the CT scan, see this. That's very important. Once and how uh, it led us a suspicion because in nasal masses, you know, there are variety of vascular situations. You can't rely even on a biopsy, which is taken superficial. But since we have a biopsy proven hemangioma, so let me reconstruct the CT scan again. Now what you will see carefully, observe this. What are these? Hyper densities. Can you see this? Can you see this hyper densities in the lesion? That is simply calcification, yes. which is classical of hemangioma. You know, in hemangioma, there are vascular, you know, hemorrhages. Those thrombos ah, that ultimately calcify. And those yes. flaboliths, see, these are flaboliths which are. Satish, your voice has come down. Pardon, sir? Uh, Satish, uh, can you increase the voice? Voice is breaking, sir. In okay, between. voice, voice. Can you do something to the voice? So what I can see here is a calcification. Now oh, fine. fine. Yeah, which is known as flabolith. You know, on yes, yes, hemangiomas, flaboliths on imaging are classical. Now, how can you confirm these flaboliths on MRI now? Now we have to confirm these flaboliths on MRI. And that will diagnose. See this. On T2 it is. Yes. Wherever oh, is the yes. calcification. Yes. 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 Wherever yes. is the calcification, maybe a punctate calcification or bigger calcification, is a signal loss on every sequence of MRI. Whether it is T1 weighted, T2 weighted, contrast, the calcification is a signal loss on MRI. That is bone. And see here in this legion, these are the stippled calcification. See this? Yes. See this signal yes, loss on MRI? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. On contrast and T2, both are the areas of, see this punctate calcification here in the, in the uh, frontal recess. And that yes, very well seen. Very well seen. That confirms the diagnosis of hemangioma. There cannot be a better characteristic on imaging than flaboliths okay. for a lesion to be considered a hemangioma, which shows intense contrast enhancement. And this lesion, because of its characteristical location, where it is extending to the frontal recess, block the frontal outflow, led to this frontal sinusitis, which has broken through the floor into the orbit, which has given rise to prophthosis. So now we have two goals. Uh, Sadish, Sadish can interrupt. Uh, yes, yes. Is this flibolith is a constant finding in all hemangiomas of nose or? Not all. Oh, okay. okay. Percentage of cases? There are two varieties of hemangiomas. One is a lobular capillary. Your voice has gone down here. Okay. Can you hear better now? Uh, yeah, now, now fine. Excellent. Okay. So one is a lobular capillary hemangioma, which is a bunch of capillaries. Okay. And there, the stasis of the blood, the chances of stasis of the blood are less, and chances of calcification of the thrombos blood is less. So you don't see. Oh. Uh, these flaboliths in a lobular capillary hemangioma. In cavernous hemangioma, there are bigger vascular spaces. The okay. thrombos blood ultimately calcifies to lead to the flaboliths. So, in a cavernous hemangioma, you will almost always find the flaboliths. You can see on a good CT scan with different window settings. And that finding is always, always confirmed on various sequences of MRI. And these flaboliths in a vascular lesion is classical of hemangioma. Any given vascular lesion in the body showing flaboliths is hemangioma, as simple as that. Sir, can okay. we differentiate sir, with fungal sinusitis? How to differentiate hemangioma with fungal sinusitis on yeah. MRI or CT scan? Yes, see, number one. 
see this lesion on fungal sinusitis i will show you we have discussed last time lot of fungal cases yes sir fungus on t2 weighted mri blacks out completely signal loss mri okay. containing magnesium and magnesium on a magnetic field gives signal loss today okay. as i mentioned we have four cases of you know uh, these vascular lesions followed by three cases of sinusitis with different situations we have earlier seen lot of anatomical variations in sinusitis today we have cases of sinusitis where we have a large intersinus septal cell confusing with the frontal sinus we have a frontobullar cell situation in another case and the third case again presented with a visual problem because of the fungus affecting the optic nerve and then you will see in that fungus again a signal loss so here on t2 weighted there is no signal loss at all that is a homogeneous lesion yes sir and that is classical with a phlebolith none other than hemangioma yes sir so now in this patient now another thing we should always see on a diffusion weighted mri whether it is a benign or a malignant lesion we must see once you have a mri take the help of diffusion see this on the axial situation the enhancing lesion yes sir yes. let me show on the axial t2 see this this lesion and now if i bring in the diffusion the things will be very very clear see on diffusion the malignant lesions we have a case i told you the inverted papilloma where i have a doubt of malignant transformation and in any malignant lesion there will be diffusion restriction now see in this lesion on diffusion see it is complete bright can you complete. see yes no sir restriction. yes on diffusion if there is no restriction it cannot be malignant as simple as that it is by default it is a rule malignancy will have more cellularity will show more restriction and on diffusion if there is no restriction it rules out the possibility of a malignancy we'll see in all the four lesions how diffusion uh, differentiate a benign from a malignant lesion so now in this particular case our goal of surgery is two prong number one number one to remove this lesion completely to prevent the recurrence so called recurrence is a benign lesion if it is completely removed from the site of attachment it cannot recur simply and number two to treat the proptosis and the frontal sinus now is now see how to treat the frontal sinus the difficulty number one let me show you on the coronal picture look at the picture of the frontal sinus how difficult it has become uh, let me uh, again show you uh, yes let me show you the frontal sinus why there is difficulty see now from anterior to posterior can you see this lesion going into the frontal yes and now what happened after that see as i go behind this frontal is completely blocked here can you see yes yes, yes. and the lesion is completely behind with no Beyond scope that. of drainage so we have to establish the drainage you know yes sir what we can do my planning is there is no other procedure to drain this frontal sinus than Drafts. to do a draft oh. see this how this lesion here is the frontal sinus how the, as you go behind how the frontal is completely blocked can you see very clear yes sir completely blocked yes sir yeah. is it neosteogenesis sadish yeah could be could be could okay be neosteogenesis because of the inflammation but see as you go behind there is complete blockage and segregation and there is no scope of drainage of this lesion so what we are going to do now we have to do a draft to completely remove the floor of the frontal see this floor of the frontal yes sir we will do a complete draft and for this isolated lesion we will remove the part of the roof as well as the medial wall of the orbit we will remove this bone and transpose it laterally to establish the drainage of this obstructed area can you see yes there sir there is no other yes. way no other way on the planet to establish the drainage of this frontal sinus into the nasal cavity 
ऑर्बिटल ट्रांसपोजिशन यस यू कैन माई सजेशन यू कैन डू अ ड्राफ्ट टू बी the external part lateral part can you do an external incision and take out that pus something like that yes we can if okay. we take your your point is valid we okay. do half an establish a drainage of this part but this okay. lateral part even if you remove lateral will not be connected to the nasal cavity for future drainage uh, my thing is you can avoid an orbital transposition no orbital transposition is a very safe technique staying extra peri orbita we are okay. not going to enter into the peri orbita any point of time number 1 and okay. once we remove this bone this okay. will establish the natural patency of the frontal outflow into the okay. nasal cavity and that is our goal for the future so this sh should not recur in any time in the future that is the normal physiology uh, okay. you can establish for the frontal sinus by means of doing external approach one cannot establish the normal physiology of the frontal outflow which we need to establish for the future this is we are going to discuss during surgery a lot so this is our plan our plan is to remove the tumor completely at the same time establish the frontal outflow drainage in a normal way into the nasal cavity by means of doing a draft 2 and the orbital transposition so that we can Uh, you know communicate the lateral most obstructed part of the frontal sinus we can drain the part uh, the mucosal going into the orbit we can drain the lateral frontal sinus and we can establish a permanent patency to the uh, uh, patency of the frontal outflow to the nasal cavity so that is the your goal so got the prakash munga sir is asking is there any role of sclerosing agent in such cases yes sclerosing agents have been tried a couple of times in meningioma first of all their efficacy for a such a large lesion which has already given an a problem with obstruction of the uh, you know the frontal recess which anyway will require surgery this frontal part and the orbital this situation will require surgery no other thing can correct this number 1 number 2 these uh, you know sclerosing agents in a meningioma their efficacy is doubtful particularly the patient who has presented with bleeding with such a large lesion you can't wait for this um, you know sclerosing agent to come into effect and for that matter even a lot of trials have been done with the sclerosing agents ultimately they have proven to be non useful so, so you know, for me there is no role lesions, of yes so a small lesion can be cry them or not yes small lesions you can do a lot of things to prevent neo angiogenesis you can use uh, vascular endothelial growth factor receptor inhibitor also for small lesions but for this lesion large lesion which has obstructed the frontal outflow there is no other option than surgery fine number 2 about the sclerosing right. agent regarding the efficacy besides that their safety is also very important concern not all sclerosing agents are safe if they happen to enter the systemic circulation they can have various you know even the fatal effects so you can't be relying on those things which are which themselves are not reliable so our goal is very clear to stay on the right side remove this lesion will establish the drainage of the maxillary sinus the tumor is not going at all in the maxillary sinus you can see the tumor is not going at all in the maxillary sinus that means you don't need an expanded approach for the maxillary sinus we we'll just establish the ventilation and drainage through the natural ostium we don't need a dankers or any expanded approach the only thing which will require is here this is a very narrow area for which we need a draft to so that we can transpose the orbit and drain widely the lateral most part that is going to be our goal any other questions no sir we can go on with the case thank you sir desai sir any suggestions any sir i wanted to ask you a question is after the Please. surgery is done eventually the orbit would go into the frontal sinus yeah, part of the frontal yes. sinus this yes. kind the of orbit will, orbit will come back sinus. to natural position sir Yeah, yeah orbit will okay. come back to natural position as we keep the peri orbita intact but okay. since we do the draft and remove the bony wall hmm. we will be able to give a wide drainage to the lateral area lateral which area. is otherwise sure. completely blocked absolutely let's let's go on with the case sir okay so in couple of minutes 
any other option for diagnosis is without uh, doing biopsy any other option because we could rely on radiology 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 see you will see in all these four different vascular cases absolutely yeah. different altogether and the diagnosis is always a challenge yeah yeah and so, many a times in vascular lesions you have to rely on your clinical findings history the endoscopic findings and radiology and you are try to avoid taking a biopsy in a vascular lesion many a time like in jna jna is a characteristic pattern of spread we have two different cases three more different cases and i'll tell you there is hardly any role of biopsy and sometimes or many a times we try to avoid taking a biopsy it is the characteristic radiological situation the clinical finding endoscopic consideration of the correct diagnosis any suggestion or do we go ahead with the case yeah yes sir i think we can go ahead sir aila sami boss feel free to interrupt me any time very well explained the radiology sadish very well thank, thank you thank you boss thank you Very good, Dr. Ella Sami. What was your plan? Miss, uh, suppose uh, you you are telling uh, external incision and then as we keep the peri orbita intact, but uh, as we do the draft. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Illa, uh, my my thing is uh, make it a void opening. That's a draft two A or two B, and uh, rather than orbital transfer, spending time in doing an orbital transfusion. Make a small external incision, drain that pus out, and close it. That's all. Provided you have a, a, a such a beautiful MRI picture in hand, in advance, because you you know exact the extent of the. Ex yes, when you know that, yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, uh, it's a uh, life little uh, easier. Yeah, yeah because such, getting such MRI is an issue, and getting the radiological. Yeah, yeah. If you uh, yeah, you know that it's not a tumor. Mostly and the collection like a meningo seal. Uh, yeah, you establish the pathway and um, take the small part out. No need for an orbital transmission. Spending time on orbital uh, transmission, you can save the time. That's true. Because uh, sometimes the look uh, of such tumor is very means you can so dubious, and it looks firm. And you take the biopsy, and then you find something wrong is there. And they 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 bleed a lot. But sometimes the appearance is not typical of hemangioma. They look like a top, typical normal mass. And uh, uh, after doing the CT scan, we go for the biopsy. And sometimes it make it makes a it makes the difficult thing for us. That is the problem. So sometimes these hemangiomas present as a bleeding nasal polyp, like it's yeah, a polyp bleeding nasal polyp. Yeah, even uh, this even uh, no history of bleeding also sometimes we can. Hello. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Am I audible? Pull the camera. Yeah, yes, yeah, you are. You are. So are there was a question. There was a question from Pachori boss yeah. regarding, uh, you know, last time we couldn't put the external camera. Yes, yes, yes. So you the setup in endoscopic surgery. You know how we are doing, uh, or my how my assistant is standing beside me. That one. And how. The equipment setup is, you know. Yes, sir. Yeah. Can you can you connect for the external camera? Then we'll show endoscopic. That was the most demanding question yes. from all around. And yes, uh, sir. You know, bring you an external problem inside the theater. Yeah, yeah. Sir. You know, we are extra cautious this um, in the COVID era. Yes, so yes, yes. This is yeah. our uh, uh, the theater number one. Yeah. We have six operating theaters running simultaneously. In the routine, all the time. Out of them, four are modular theaters, and two are minor theaters for you know endoscopies, biopsies, you know, uh, abscess drainage, and so many other minor procedures. So these are four modular theaters, and uh, as I your told, voice is breaking. No problem. No problem. Voice is breaking. No, it's not so. We can hear. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. So as I told you. 
we take uh, level 2 pp precautions yes yes we take level 2 pp precautions and in this endoscopic surgery you know keep focus on both of us see where i stand my assistant is beside me oh okay. can you see yeah yeah and both hands on keep the external camera but this both yes. hands on. can you see this yes yes yes, yes. focus on both of us yes yes bol na see this yes 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 so he is always with me and one assistant across the table with me on the other side so we okay. are most of the time we have six hands and one of the assistant role is all the Please. time pouring saline all the time pouring saline yes 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 and this time in the covid era we are mixing 0.5% povidon iodine in our irrigation solution okay okay come this side come now see there on the screen in front of me there are two screens yes yes, yes. the one is my you know monitor screen one is my monitor screen and the other one is my navigation screen navigation yes yes can, can you focus on the navigation yes yes we have seen this is yeah, we can see we can yeah. we can yes. see very clear yeah so this navigation can you can you do the make uh, uh, fusion this is a fusion system wherein you can fuse the ct with the mri oh see this is the scan where you can fuse the ct scan with the mri ct gives you anatomical details and mri gives you soft tissue details and in this matronic fusion system when you fuse both of this on one picture one scan we get both the ct and mri together and that is why this system is amazing for me why i like this unique system which give us fusion which other you know many of the devices don't allow us to fuse the ct and mri particularly in the skull base mri has a great role you know and we need to have such system to give us more and more soft tissue details okay then okay good good about our team with me is a team of 15 doctors right now out of them the six of the doctors are with me for last 18 years we are working together and i have a huge you know support of them in my surgical part in our theater in our routine times we used to do 30 to 40 cases a day of course in the covid era we are not doing that much but still we have a full you know setup to i do any number of cases a day as we run the theater almost round the clock we have a team of anesthesiologists a team of uh, ent colleagues and a team of very very trained uh, you know uh, assistants especially for ent surgery my nursing assistants have been working with me for more than 18 years the same okay. assistant group and they know my move each and every single move what i want without asking that is how the work goes you know Uh, this is all about uh, pachari boss your question yes Anything yes wonderful, wonderful. wonderful thank you wonderful 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 thank you that is one question pardon that is akhil sami uh, do you have a camera behind you for the opposite side doctor to see no screen you mean sometimes sometimes when we do for Be because approach. i am astonished by the way you people are working for yes. sense yes. very good coordination because unless the opposite doctor sees he can't do such a wonderful job. you know what we do in that situation udara what we do in that situation in a four handed my assistant still stands in the same side you know okay same side towards the handled of the patient holding the camera okay okay can you come this side and show see this he yes, holding yes, the yes. camera and i will be holding my two instruments okay okay section le hat mein saline de see now when he do, we are doing 400 approach it is going to be like this can you see okay good good yeah we yes, can sir. get yes sir so the primary assistant is always going to be on the same side the okay. second okay. assistant is across the table that is how the you know the ergonomics in the theater Yeah. Okay okay okay. Okay very well explained Sadish. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Anything? Anything before we start? No, no. Yes, let's start the case now. I think. Okay. So uh, this case, as I told you, focus. As I told you, is a case of meningioma. You know, wherein a lesion, lesion, or volume. Are you getting the picture? Yeah, yeah, we can see. Yeah, yeah, we are getting. Is it good? Let me do a yeah, good. balance. Uh, you know what happened? Okay. So this is the primary picture. Without any preparation, can you see this? Yes, sir. This patient, when he came to us with a bleeding, we packed the nose obviously for uh, two three days, and started with the antibiotics. We started little bit of the steroids also to reduce the inflammation. Can you see this picture now? Yes, sir. We After can see. Thorough packing and all. So my goal now, obviously, is a vascular lesion. We have to remove this lesion as fast as possible. You know. You will be using debrider or uh, yes. publish. Initially, initially debrider, because okay. debrider is a fast. It's very fast, tool. very fast. You know, and as it comes to bleeding, we'll do something else. We have a coagulator as well as ready with us. See the more. Faster do you, you, do you any time use the cuff forceps to take the muscles out? Pardon? Do you use the black sleeve forceps to take the mass out? Do you use? No. Yeah, black sleeve will not be able to remove it. This is quite firm, you know. Okay. And see the vascularity, but you know, faster you do, more and more irrigation, faster you do suction faster. There will be overall less bleeding. Can you see? Yes, yes, sir. yes beautiful. Yes, yes. If you go faster, ultimate bleeding will be less. See, there is one attachment over here on the nasal septum. Can you see? Yes. yes. This is all luminal component which I want to remove as fast as possible. Again, the section is man of the match. Yeah, as fast as possible, this luminal component to remove. Reduce or to minimize the bleeding, you know. Though all vascular cases, we always are prepared with the transfusion as well, in case required. See, the my goal is to go as fast as possible. Yes, sir. Focus, sir. Satish, is the focusing all right there? Pardon? Say the picture is focusing. White blood. The little, little, uh, not little, focused, I feel. Now, little now, blood. Now better? Not the perfect. Okay, let's go focus. On Does it look like this spice camera? Yeah, it is spice. Yeah, the focusing, I think, maybe a little better. Yeah, I will, I will do. Maybe transmission, something else. See this flabolith. So difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? beautiful, beautiful. So yes, sir. They are not so easily debridable. See, had this been polyp, I would have been through by now. Yes, sir. Sir, what is the pre-op preparation in hemangioma cases? Like steroid, antibiotics, anything you give pre-op? Yeah, always. All nasal cases by default, whether it is sinusitis or a tumor, we always give start antibiotic steroids a couple of days before. To reduce the secondary inflammation, to improve the operating condition on the mucosa. The goal is different. Goal is not um, like uh, treating sinusitis or something like that. To improve Dr. the condition Satish, of the mucosa. Do you consider embolization anytime? For such, you know, lesions, embolization even is not very effective for cavernous lesions. You know. 
these are cavernous hemangiomas yeah see now this lesion i am segregating the luminal component from the upper ones yeah this is this is the bottleneck see this luminal component is segregated yes, yes sir let me know this one also <laughs> yeah this one also here i will segregate and remove the luminal part separately i'll pack for a while see faster you do less will be the bleeding and then we'll focus on the more important area see this this is segregated this has come out this has come out wash give me wash straight see what i'm doing just irrigation to see what i have done see the nasopharynx now very clear yes yes well yes, and this is the oozing which is coming from above back see these vessels can you see here so now i will pack for a while to so reassess the pulse the rate right now pardon how is the pulse rate pulse rate is 70 okay yes your point is valid to keep the pulse rate towards lower side so your manic i mentioned that this is the this is a capillary bleed anupam so now i have packed you know this pack i have placed see this yes sir on the part which is there up towards the sinuses see little bit of the abrasions on the septum this oozing from the septum that will control with the coplator coplator give me coplator yahan rakhna isko dur rakh see this bleeding yeah this oozing we can always control with the pani irrigation इरिगेशन नहीं आ रहा क्या कॉम्पलेटर का इरिगेशन क्यों नहीं आ रहा देखा तो यस सीधे एवरेज फ्रॉम द नेजल कैविटी यू नो सेप्टम now we'll go towards the area of interest where the bleeding is coming from where we packed we have to reach there and control that see the how the hemangioma behaves see the surface oozing yes sir what i am doing slowly slowly reaching out to those areas with the coplator बंद हो गया नाउ आई विल रिमूव दिस पैक वॉश एंड आई टेल यू एग्जैक्टली योर एरिया ऑफ इंटरेस्ट नाउ स्ट्रेट दो ना यार नाउ सी दिस इज आवर एरिया ऑफ इंटरेस्ट आई होप द पिक्चर इज बेटर नाउ या इट इज नाउ is the focus better now it's better but can it be made a little brighter there is a lot of darkness inside okay, of the darkness bright kaise karna ha <laughs> yeah okay give me coplator see we have to just wait for a while and it stops you know Yes. This is one area of oozing from above. See this? Yes. These are cavernous places, you know, spaces. They have to bleed. What you can do by your tools? Before I reach out, I will do some surface coagulation with the coagulator. I cannot 
expect the entire bleeding to come down completely but to minimize it see it has minimized see the picture see no see these vessels See, these are all. This is just bunch of vessels. Tumor is just bunch, bunch of vascular spaces. Nothing else. See, a lot of tumor vessels. Right. See, all these are Satish. Satish? Tumor vessels, you know? Satish? Yes, yes, please. Are you using warm saline? Yes, yes. Yes. Absolutely. This is the indication for warm saline, you know? Now, I will leave a small pack below. Now the bleeding is minimized, you know? Yes, now minimized. And now we'll focus suction. Yes. Dr. Sadish. Yes, please. Wo, uh, the way you do it for angiofibroma, surface coagulation with uh, coblator, it doesn't work here? No, this, these are all cavernous spaces. The yeah. moment you touch, these are large yeah. vascular spaces, you know. This is not capillary hemangioma. Mm -hmm. This is not capillary hemangioma. This is cavernous hemangioma. Yes. So we have to keep it pressed from below and we'll focus on the above part. See this? Like for example, this is the area. First of all, I have to define the some of the important anatomical areas, you know. See how it bleeds. So now I have to be very quick. Remove this. Wash. Straight. See now. How quick you have to be once you have seen. This is irrigation, irrigation, irrigation. The brighter. See this is all, all this mass. See this? Unless and until we don't remove this, it is not going to stop bleeding. Yes. Eventually it has to yes. Wash, wash. All the time wash, wash, wash. See the value of irrigation. It keeps your field absolutely clear. See how the bony remodeling happened. This is all bony remodeling. And you have to be quick at this point of time to expedite your procedure to minimize the state for self, state for self. See the vascular channels. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. As I go deeper, I need to define my landmarks. Right now, I am 
at the axilla you can see yes <coughs> see how it is deformed completely deformed so yes. later and that is the area of bleeding now where the tumor is position there see these are vascular spaces you can't easily control this bleeding every point of time with a coagulator or anything you just pack for a while and it will stop from a particular area where there is cavernous bleeding coming you know you can always pack for a while see that region yes sir sometime you may have to take the help of surgery flow and other things but many a times not required see this majority of the bleeding comes under control easily cob later now this gives us a time to control other areas so whatever the mucosal areas which are bleeding now i am going to control them see this yes, yes. sir all mucosal surfaces you can control with the coagulator this area where the lesion is where the principal feeder is we have press with the gauze piece right now and rest of the areas you can improve so dr milin from kuwait is saying that he has been following all our webinars though it is a multi day collection yes sir doctor sir dr milin from kuwait is a working day in kuwait but they are following all your webinars oh great to know see now there's some axillary sinus yes sir i tell you that was just collection nothing else and that we could confirm on mri yes sir yes mri tells you what exactly you are going to find at every place you know that's why this dynamic mri putting all the sequences together gives you complete information of each and every area three dimensionally yes see we have packed at one place and rest of the area we are controlling completely see now yes sir everything under control amazing sir and this is your orbital surface now can you see this yes yes yes, so, yes. yes. everything under control amazing sir this is your orbital surface now can you see this yes yes, yes. <clears throat> so first you have to be quick in removing the luminal component to debulk the lesion to reach to the area of interest so first you have to be quick in removing the luminal component ye volume band kar dena to debulk the lesion either bolu bolu your voice is echoing yeah yeah he is doing something yes. that is your maxillary sinus yes sir yes absolutely good fine sir bleeding has also stopped everything except this area where i have kept 
सर्जिस सेल बनीत डी ब्राइडर पॉटी सर्जिस सेल अंडर नीत एंड प्रेस विद द गॉच पीस सी दैट इज़ आउ यू कैन इज़िली कंट्रोल यस सर आती है इस यस सर इस इट पास इस इट अ गुड आइडिया टू डू सरफेस पॉपुलेशन बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द सर्जरी लाइक हाउ यू डू फॉर जेएनए इन दिस केस आल्सो not really was this jna is a lobulated mass you know okay with lot of capillaries on the surface you know vessels okay 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 And here the moment you enter into the tumor these okay. are vascular lakes you know okay this is not simple capillary this is a cavernous hemangioma okay with vascular lakes the moment you open it Okay, it starts to bleed. Yeah, it gives profuse bleeding. It's not like capillary bleeding which you can coagulate easily. Okay, okay. So that Point is the difference the between the lobular capillary hemangioma and the cavernous hemangioma. See, I am defining my lateral limit here slowly, slowly. So if you this is uh, my lamina papyracea, you can see all the way. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yes, yes. That so if you are radiologically as a capillary or by biopsy, then you can do surface coagulation. Not surface even there. Yes, whenever it's possible, when you get a surface, you can okay. always coagulate. Yes, yes, okay. that's a, that's what we are doing in between. Okay. Now see, having the area exposed, I want to keep that pack also for some time until I drill for the frontal floor. That is our goal, the draft. Yes. Yes, sir. So I can keep that, uh, you know, the coagulator, and do my draft too. Because now our tumor component, the last component, is there in the frontal recess. We all know it was yes. riding up to the frontal recess. You know. Yes, sir. That is here, and the rest is the frontal sinusitis. For that, we have to do a draft, and for the draft, now I am. This is the level of the axilla. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Saying about the axilla, I am removing this, you know, mycoperiosteum completely to make it bloodless in the upper part of the septum as well. Beautiful, beautiful. Satish, yes. uh, which area is the site of attachment you feel? Pardon? Originating the mass originating attachment. This mass, yes. most likely, and uh, you know. Septation of the ethmoids or the frontal recess. I I could see some doubts of my adhesions onto the septum. There could okay. be you know secondary attachments. You know here like this. Uh, I can completely uh, coagulate uh, this. Completely coagulate this. That angioma has the multiple att attachments. Yeah. See, sometimes when the lesion grows bigger, okay, it gets attachment to the different area. Same like JNA, you know, because okay. once it comes in contact with the mucosa. Okay. For long, it can have an attachment, you know, secondary attachment. Okay. See this? This was the doubt I told you in the beginning, which I completely coagulated now. Okay. Yes, yes. Now, Delf, over there. I am removing this mucoperiosteum completely, so that I can do my draft, you know. You know, I am going behind, coming behind the brother. What you have to do in draft? You have seen several draft procedures now. Yes, sir. You have to define our posterior limit. You know. Yes, sir. Yes. Until you reach the first olfactory neuron, you know. Yes, sir. Yes. And that remains your, you know. Satish, is that a septal perforation? Yeah, septal perforation. No issues. There could be subtle perforation because of the mass effect like this here. No worries. Yes. Okay. No worries. This is again a posterior perforation, which is never a bothersome thing. Problem. You know? Yes. 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 Now see, this looks like that branch of the, you know, anterior ethmoidal, which comes. Yes. And sir. my next olfactory neuron will be behind this. Yes. I always mention these two anatomies. Yes. Never yes, get confused this with the first olfactory neuron, you know. Yes, sir. Okay. 
Now, having exposed this bone thoroughly, having exposed this bone thoroughly, I can carry out my draft easily yeah. now. Now, with the roll of my high speed drill, you know? Sir, yes. Stylus. 15 degrees, 60,000 RPM, sir. Yeah, the stylus will take away this bone, this projecting bone, and will enter, go about the lesion in the frontal sinus, you know? Yes, sir. Viru, connect the drill. Not coming. Satish. Yes. You always keep the eyes open during all your nasal surgeries or covered. What? Eyes. 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 Eye of the patient. Eye of the eyes patient. of the patient. We tape the eyes, you know. Okay. But it, it will not cover. Yeah. One down. One down. See now my drilling. You start from below. Where are you? Brightness, Dada. Brightness? Hmm, it's a little bit. Better than white. Hmm. Better? Yeah. yeah. Good. Now see my lateral limit you can see coming into the picture. Skin. Once you remove this bone, your lateral limit is the outside periosteum. Yes, sir. Mm. Periosteum and the subcutaneous tissue. So all the time you are above axilla. All the time above axilla. I am above the orbit. I am in a very very safe zone. You know. Yes. There sir. is no critical structure in this region. Absolutely. And I, you just keep defining your lateral limit as you go up. See this? Yes, sir. Yes. Right up to scale. See, this is my lateral limit. See the bone, uh, the, this tissue which is moving. You know? Wonderful. Yes, sir. We can see. See the entire nasal component we removed with little bit of the bleeding, you know. <laughs> Initially. See the surgery cell there in place? Yes, sir. No bleeding at all. See, this is how you can temporarily control the bleeding and keep your field good. Now this bone has to go completely. Until I reach the anterior skin, you know? Yes, sir. See how easily one can do draft. I mentioned last time, every endoscopic surgeon should be able to do a draft and the dankers with ease. Yeah. The credit These is are the procedures. So simple. Yes. That opens the gateway to the skull base, you know? Sir, you have shown graph so many times, it has looked like opening like a maxillary antrosmy, this graph procedure. <laughs> it is simple. Believe me, it is not difficult. See, this is being done with a zero degree. Yes, sir. Yes. This is my 15 degree coarse diamond bar at a speed of 70,000 RPM, you know, is the key. With zero degree, everything under vision, you know. There is nothing there you can damage so anteriorly because you are working close to the skin. Wonderful, sir. 
This is the skill coming in the picture? Yes, sir. Yeah. See, I am with a zero degree right now. Up in the sinus, I am entering into the sinus above. My lesion, here I have packed, I know my lesion is not going beyond. From the MRI. Yes, sir. So now I am coming from above. Your entire planning is executed on the basis of the radiology. A three-dimensional radiology that will key. give you true picture where the tumor is, where the secretions are, where the bone is descent, three-dimensionally. Uh, ट्यूमर विच इज देर इन दल थ्राइनस दिस इज दूमर Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. 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 That is the tumor, and see the limits. Can you see? Yes, sir. Yes. 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 Seen. Limits. Cover later. Cover later. See now. So we have gone anterior and above to the tumor. See that? Yes. 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 And that will give us a by manual access to the tumor. Now you must have got it. Why I went with the draft first? Yes, sir. Now. We are head on over to the tumor. Yes, I have access from both sides. See, I cobbled this subcutaneous area to stiffen it. This further, it should not fall. Now this is your lesion. See this? How the lesion was going up in the frontal sinus? Little yes. bit of the drilling, drilling, drilling. I want to show it much better from above. Now we have a good picture of the frontal sinus. We could see from below. Yes, sir. Yes, 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 yes. 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 See now. See the frontal sinus proper. Yes, now it's coming. See the sinus beyond its draining. Mm -hmm. See from behind. Yes, sir. Yes. And this is the tumor which is gone up. Pakar section, Rakna Nijay. Our third forcep. See now the two things what you are seeing. That is the sinus above. See that? Yeah, 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 yeah. And that is the tumor, which is ascended up. See this? Yeah, now it's coming. Yeah, huge, huge, huge. You you cannot do this case with two-handed technique. I think you you need four tech-handed technique. Yes, always. See, this is my tumor. Cold section. Now my sinus is above. See that? Yes, yes, yes. The frontal sinus behind and this is all tumor. See here. This is all tumor. Now. Give me debrider. First, remove this, you know, surgery cell. 
Watch, watch. Now I will more and more clear this area from all around. Area of interest here. This is your area of interest. Yes, yes. sir. The frontal recess. See that above is absolutely clear? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Humor is attached here in the frontal recess. See this. Give some surgery cell again. Give some surgery cell. See, these are the tumor vessels. These are the tumor vessels. See? Yes, sir. Yes. Give me the cobblator. Cobblator there. I think the site of origin could be the middle terminate. No, no, it is in the frontal no, recess. Frontal recess. This is all frontal recess, you know. See, this is the area of the tumor which is circumscribed. I'll come to this later. Okay, now can you see the area of interest? Yes, yes, yes. yes. S Satish, yes. When you are working with some three or four hands, uh, can you show with an external camera the close hands how they are placed? Yeah. External camera. I have to call him again. The hands, hands alone. Didn't want to Very see close the of you. The theater. Oh, the, wait a minute. Okay, okay. Back. See that? First, press with yes, the yes. surgery cell. Yes, yes. And then with the gauge piece. In a minute's time, everything comes under control. See that? Yes, yes. Do you use flow seal in this kind of situation? No, not really. Not required. Oh, okay. Unnecessarily. People can use when there it is. Money is not the issue. Okay. Here, unnecessarily, you know. See now, in a minute's time, yes. stopped. Yes, yes, yes. Now, give me 40. Now, I will do my rest of the PNS work. I will do my rest of the PNS work. Give me 40. I know my area of interest. I have seen my frontal from above. Lot, lot of work in the frontal needs to be done. So before that, I should be able to see all my sinuses from below first very clear. To have my ethmoids, limits of the ethmoids, frontal in view, this is widening the maxillary sinus. I hope the picture is good. Very yeah, good. It's okay. Okay, good. not very good as in the past, but today picture quality is a bit down. Maybe because it's of okay. So it's okay. Just it's okay. It's okay. Ajay, can you call the external camera guy again? Can you call the external camera guy again, please? And can you can you put him in PIP? That's a good idea. See now. I am in the post sigmoids. Can you see here? Yeah. Yes. And there is the sphenoid sinus. All these septations, you know, retained secretions, I will clear completely, exenterate all this cellularity. See this? Yes, yes, yes. Can you bring in external camera guy? Satish. Yeah, can you call him, Ajay? Change now. Why are you not calling him? Yes, yes, now we can. Yes, we are getting. Yeah, we can see the external camera. Can you see from behind how my assistant is here? Yes, yes. Can, yes. can you show the hands, hands? Pardon? Seeing, we are seeing your back. Can he show the hands? camera. Can he come from in front so that we see all front the front? Front of any side. Okay. Pass log camera, Ajay. 
अजय अजय स्टेट दे स्टेट दे ब्रदर शो हिम दैट दे ही कैन अरे नॉट हियर यार कम ऑन चलो दिखाओ इधर से दिखाओ सर एंड कम बिहाइंड मी टू शो द स्क्रीन टुगेदर यस यस नाउ इट्स ओके दैट्स ब्यूटीफुल दैट्स ब्यूटीफुल या या can you see better now then yeah, yeah beautiful yes. beautiful satish yeah one thing i want to ask when you are working on the ethmoids and spinard like this you are yeah. using a rad 40 blade yes uh, why don't you prefer a, a, a true cut or a rad zero see the rad 40 the beauty is your shaft doesn't come in the way okay and it gives you angulation also to reach to the different areas this is straight okay. right now correct but it now uh, advantage for beginners into the sphenoid see my sphenoid is here yes sir clear very you see? clear yes yes sir. what picture are you getting the external camera or my uh, both pap 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 huh pap we are getting both both okay both our all these patients are tested for covid first if they have got test done 3 days before we repeat hello yes yes, sir. yes. we are hearing by default now see what i wanted to show this is phenoid this is onodi cell here see this yeah we can see for the on optic yeah see this is optic now they are in the onodi Oh yeah. Oh yes, yes. That yes. is the sphenoid, and here now, this is the ethmoidal cavity where I packed the lesion here. See this? Yes, yes, sir. So I am clearing from below, and then I will clear from above again in the frontal. इसका फोन बज रहा है प्रेस कर सी नाउ फ्रॉम बिहाइंड एवरीथिंग इज क्लियर यस राइट अप टू द लीजन राइट अप टू द लीजन हियर सी द लीजन हियर छोटा स्मॉल गोज स्मॉल वेरी स्मॉल सी दिस सेक्शन बिलो या I hope that um, you are oriented where I am working. Yes, yes. absolutely. This yes. is orbit here. This is orbit here, and this is in the recess. I am pressing the surgical cell again with a small gauge. That is the only area where the tumor is. See now, rest of the things are absolutely clear. See the frontal sinus, the nasal cavity. That the nasal pharynx, that the spin, बंद है ये। क्या करता है? हम्म? गुरु? हम्म हम्म तो दो। See now the everything is clear here. See the ethmoidal skull base. Very clear. Yes. Yes, very clear. Now give me a pack here, and then we'll go again back to the frontal, and then we'll start orbital transposition, and then remove from this frontal recess, which is partly in the Supra orbital recess. Now coming back above with the same telescope, zero degree.
See now, the area where we reach. Look there, look there, this way. See, that is our frontal sinus. Mm -hmm. Yes. See this cell? Yes, sir. And see how the frontal being opened. Sir, Dr. Fazali from Pakistan, Peshawar is asking what is the incidence of the recurrence of this tumor? See this, the frontal now. Yes, what is the incidence of? Recurrence. Pardon? Sir, recurrence. Recurrence. I can't hear what. Can recurrence, recurrence. Recurrence? Yes, sir. Yeah. The recurrence, this is a benign lesion, you know. If you remove completely, it should not recur. Now it depends how much, 40, 40. If you don't remove completely, it is bound to come back. That's why you need to assess where the tumor is attached to and remove it thoroughly. That's what I'm showing now. Hmm. Yeah. See the frontal sinus better now? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Nice, sir. Very nice. Absolutely clear. Still, it is not complete. And sir, Dr. Talat from Islamabad is asking, how do you prevent fogging of your PPE visor and endoscope? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Think of the endoscope. Yes. And, and your PPE like face shield. Uh, Face shield. shield. Fogging of face shield. Face shield. Fogging. You have to wear your mask tightly. And That's use micro tape. tape. Tape is a better option. And uh, luckily, Satizan, Dr. Satish doesn't wear specs. Those who use bag, specs is a big issue, like us. So, tight bandage or tight uh, tape on the uh, mask and face shield. It doesn't make uh, fogging over there. Some people put a tissue paper between the mask and your nose. See yes, now. Yes. That is also good. See now the rest of the draft. Can you see? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. I am widening the opening what I have made into the frontal sinus. See, no point of time I, I use any angle telescope. See, this is completely in with a zero degree. Satish? Yes? You have completely removed the mask from the frontal and the opening is quite good and everything. Still, uh, you go for um, orbital transmission or you put an external incision and train the... No, no. Orbital, because that area... That will make life drain. simple. It's not removal of the pus. Pus we, you know, okay. drain initially. Okay. It is the establishment of a drainage pathway. Okay, okay. To prevent the recurrence of the problem, you know, the frontal sinusitis. That can be a disaster. Because then treating again, reaching to that area is much, much differ, uh, difficult. Now see, how much the frontal I have opened, you can see now, wash. Let me put a uh, throw the wash to show you. See this with a zero degree. Yes, sir. Doctor Satish, what is the sir? end point of drilling in draft? Up? End point is the skin. Oh. Everywhere is skin. Your anterior and lateral limit are your skin. You can't go beyond, otherwise you'll end up, uh, you know, giving button holing. See that? Yes, sir. Inside the frontal, can you see? Very nice, sir. Very nice. Okay. Now, give me the 70 degree. Uh, sir, can I ask a question? Yes, please. Sir, Dr. Fazali okay. wants your view on endoscopic okay. nasopharyngectomy for okay. nasopharyngeal carcinoma. Pardon? 
Sir, Dr. Fazali from Pakistan wants to know your views on endoscopic nasopharyngectomy. For no, nasopharyngectomy? Nasopharyngectomy? Yes, sir, for nasopharyngeal carcinoma. Yes, like it's important in, you know, many indications like non squamous cancer, which are not radiation sensitive, in post -ra radiation situations, are many indications. And that becomes the standard approach then. Now you see, I have changed to 70 degree to show you what I have done above. See with a zero degree. Yes, wow. sir. Yes. So that other. Hmm. Here. One second. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes. See this. See with the seventy degree. See this part of the cell. Can you see now? Yes, yes. yes. See the cell. Yes. yes. See how big the cell it is and how high it was. See that? It's like a type 3 cell, sir. Yes, type, four. type 3 or 4, you may maybe. But see how one can remove this cell without doing a draft. Under vision now, see that? Yes. Wonderful, sir. And see the lateral component opened up. Yes, sir. Yes. See, that was the lateral component. See that? Yes, yes. Nice, now, yes. how can you reach out there? This orbit is the issue. See this orbit? Yes, sir. Mm. So, you have to do something to the orbit. Ajay. All the time you are talking with someone else, this and that. Be here now. Here. See now? Better? Better. Yeah. Now this is my area of interest. See this. Touch. Touch. Look now. Look, look. My count up. Hmm. Yes. Look there. Yes. Not working. Virendra. See, I'm just placing a cautery here on a superficial area. See this? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Hmm. yes. 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 See the there was a bleeder completely stopped now. Yes, sir. Now the important thing is the transposition. You know, unless and until your this narrow recess will never open up. See how narrow this recess is. Very there is no other way to keep the frontal drainage pathway intact. Yes, sir. See, that was the area of bleeding where my surgery cell is. Now, see, this is periorbital. You can see very clear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
and this bone about the peri orbita give me the drill i have to take off you saw on the ct scan the thick bone yes this one okay yes dalo this part i have already thinned out See the part of the bone I am removing. That is the medial wall of the orbit. Yes, sir. Yes. Without using any pressure on the burr point, this you can remove easily up to the level of the anterior artery. Yes, sir. If you need to transfer further beyond that, then you need to coagulate the anterior medial artery. See the bone is thinned out. This is the bone. we have to be careful avoiding uh, you know the peri orbita injured but in case in case happens to occur you can use your coagulator because what happens once the peri orbita gets injured your fat starts prolapsing coming in your way and then it will not allow you to work sometimes the peri orbita is very thin you know See this? Yes, sir. We have to get rid of this entire thing to go laterally. You know, sir, Doctor Satish, we are removing the superior medial wall of the orbit. Yes. Then only I'll be able to reach there, sir. Yeah, yeah, true. See, this way I will keep removing this bone. Now, see the bone? Yes, sir. Sir, I think we have discussed before, but Dr. Linda from Singapore wants to know where is the lacrimal fossa? Lacrimal fossa is far and far inferiorly. Yes, we are sir. miles away from there. Miles away. We are much above that level. We are above the level of the orbit. Yes, sir. See this bone? Yes. Which I exposed, yes. that needs to go. If you can remove with the punch forceps, fine. Otherwise, you know. Yeah. Coblator, coblator, coblator. Don't do, don't do. Otherwise, so, where, you may have to drill. So, are we in the region of trochlea anywhere, sir? Pardon? Trochlea? Trochlea and all this is beyond the periorbita. Periorbita, yeah. There is periorbita, there is fat. You can see a little bit of the fat was there. Yes, sir. See the level of the periorbita? Yeah. So those are much beyond. There are protective layers of the periorbita, fat, everything there. See this. See my supraorbital recess opening up now. Yes, sir. This is the technique of orbital transposition. Give me the drill. Now the bone which I have uh, exposed, you can see. I can drill away. So with this technique, we can reach anywhere in frontal sinus, right? Oh, far laterally. 
you have seen in these webinar probably uh, earlier um, one or two times yes sir yes also in cadaveric dissection also you show sir see where i am leading to suction cord atab see we have to go there beyond that can you see yes sir yes sir that is the bone which we need to remove and communicate okay ma or see this bone this is bone yes sir yes yes now see where we have reached see that beyond now that is communicating see that secretions yes, wonderful yes. wonderful see this bone that was the neoosteogenesis now it's all opened up now now see where i have reached i am yeah, about the orbit there yeah yeah let me with my 70 degree i can show this is about the orbit can you see now yes sir that is where this is i think Bus that is about the orbit See my yeah. orbit. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh yeah, we can very clearly. See with a seventy yeah. degree completely turned down. Seventy degree completely turned down. I am in the farther most and the inferior most part of the frontal sinus there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. See now that area is completely cleared. Yes, sir. Yes. Not only this, I want to keep it communicated to the recess. See this. so that this will never happen to occur can you see this yes sir yes how you yes. could open it without this there is no uh, way not possible sir not possible uh what is it now 60 oh sir that is impossible i tell you even if you drain from outside you will not be able to establish the physiology of the frontal sinus give me reverse 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 See now that is a part of the tumor which is there, which now I am going to remove. Mm. See the exposure now I have mm. with the seventy yes. degree. This is with the seventy degree, and now I am coming with the reverse blade. See this. Yes, sir. The so-called adenoid blade. Yeah, the so-called adenoid blade. Could you see now? Yes, sir. See, this is where my uh, the tumor attachment is. See the vessel. See the vessel. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, clear. No, 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 nothing. Cobbler, cobbler, first cobbler. That is a vein. She stopped. Yes. Suction cup, suction cup. Clean, clean. Now this is the most crucial part of the tumor. See where this tumor had gone to? Yes, sir. So can you show navigation also in between whenever possible? Yes, yes, I will. I forgot to show you. You can imagine the difficulty in reaching for anybody. to this region mm -hmm. 
is that anti rith model sir no 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 that is not anti rith model these are all venous bleeding you know just a minute just a minute not in hurry ruk ja ruk ja yes कोई इलाज नहीं है नरेश आई एम इन द मोस्ट क्रूशल एरिया इतनी बड़ी जिम्मेदारी मत दिया कर इसको Yes, yes, yes. See, I am applying this to the bone only. Hello. Yes, yes sir. Not to the soft tissue areas, you know. Yes. At all. Wash, wash. Because wherever it is, you know. ये बन रहा है. This is supraorbital recess, you know, and we have to completely uncover this region. You were asking about the attachment. See the attachment. This is where is the attachment? Yes. See in the depth of the supraorbital recess, you know. Yes, yes. Your entrythmoidal artery is here. Yes. And this is much beyond that. See that? Yes, sir. Probably I have to give me the surgeon's help. Coagulate the entire point to go beyond. See this? Yes, I sir. I need to go beyond that. I will just place a mother pack. I think you can bipolarize the entire model. Yeah, yeah. I will. I will just coagulate it. Once you have a coagulator, you don't need anything else. Hold on, shut up. Let's suction go down. Let us suction. Reach it, girl. Just a small one. See now, the last part, the frontal part, is over. Yes, sir. The drainage part is over. This is the attachment of the lesion in this area which you need to address. See, that is your entrythmoidal artery. Can you see? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, oh, yes. Coagulator, coagulator. Coagulated. Can you see? Yes, sir. Yes. yes. this i coagulated so that i can go further beyond see this at the level of the skull base see the course of the entry point which i am coagulating and now i have a much uh, beyond access see this the access now Yes, sir. To the bone. This bone access now is improved. See that? Yes, sir. Yes, oh, yes. Yes. No. Now see the amazing access I will get. What an amazing case! Yeah. yeah now give me the drill people are waiting for this approach actually this view yeah this is amazing see after 
कटिंग ऑफ द एंथ्रेट मॉडल इट हैज ओपन मी अ गेट वे फर्दर यस यस What are you thinking? How are you feeling? What have we done to each other? Yes. See this bone which I was coagulating. See this bone? Yes, yes. Which I was initially coagulating, coagulating with a suction coagulator. now i am drilling away completely see carefully where i am mean ye to thunder yaar ek baar dhyan hi nahi rakhta yeah see this entire bone it has to go completely i know the bleeder there below no issues yeah yeah yes yes remove remove yes remove Doctor Satish, is this the supraorbital cell area? Yes, yes, yes. Exactly, sir. Exactly, sir. Which I am removing now. Sir, whenever time permits, will you please come out and orient us once again? Relate? Orient, orientation. Okay, okay, sir. Whenever time permits. Yeah. See that cell come out. Yeah. more and more area exposed yes sir and see that is the collection in the orbit okay see now coming out yeah yeah exactly you i told you this looks like pyoseal yes yes and yes, it sir. turned out to be how could we remove otherwise this tell me <laughs> not no other way sir. that is how we reach there see this this is completely you know removed from the orbital roof completely what an area you are using the 70 degree scope now oh yes yes, yes. you can't reach otherwise yeah see for your orientation see carefully yes, please This is your frontal sinus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Now I am going laterally about the orbit. See this? Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Here, this is the cell which I removed to remove this pyo seal. Okay. Yes, sir. Very exactly. Nice. I am. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice. Sir. Sir, please show me the na navigation also this cell. yeah yeah i will i have this you know yeah this to be coagulated this see the bleeder yes sir yes, yes. Mm. छोटा छोटा ब्लीडर छोटा सी द एरिया विच इज इन एक्सेबल यू नो टू हैंडल टू कॉटराइज एवरीथिंग इज नाउ सी दिस ब्लीडर यस 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 now cauterize 
वन ब्लेडर इज कॉटराइज यस तुम तो मेरे हाथ के लगाता है यस नाउ गिव मी अ वॉश सी इज मच बेटर यस वेरी क्लियर व्हाट अ फील्ड सी द फ्रंटल हाउ इट हैज गॉन टू द यू नो roof of the orbit yes sir the idea is to remove this bony partition all the way this will now always drain in the frontal recess see this that is true this is your frontal recess you know we remove the party wall between the supra orbital cell and the frontal now if i turn it down see if i turn it down section See this lesion which I need to remove. Yes, sir. This is the lesion I need to remove. For sure. See how it has reached to this area. Drill. The last part. My last five minutes is left. Uh, you know, five minute job is left. to remove this part this part of the lesion this part you know aage sakna narish ka andar ke chalta hai drill see this i need to expose more and more now i am at this level i need to remove this little bit of more bone I hope you are oriented much better. Yes, yes. Yeah. But I think one thing is required because previously sound issue was there. So please, uh, after this case, repeat the CT scan and may repeat the radiology for uh, all those who yeah, have joined. Yes, to correlate. Yes, correlate. To correlate. Uh, to correlate, and a few people miss the radiology because of the some issue, sound issue, and uh, they got late uh, joined. Yes. Oh. some little bit of the more bone has to go mm. see this bone yes yes and this will open up my cleft completely i am working in the very narrow supra orbital recess which i have widened to the highest level reach to the level of the roof of the orbit that is the roof of the orbit yes See the vessel there. Straight insulated there. I have to just finally remove this tumor remnant attached to the bone. Can you see? Yeah. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes. yes. any yeah that is the tumor remnant first of all this is the region where it is yeah, yeah. little bit of the oozing yes look at my counter 
Yes. Yes. Wash. Much better picture. Yes, sir. Good. Section. Cold, cold. Oh, oh. See, this is the most lateral, most inaccessible region. And see this, my divider. Yes, sir. Sir, this is which blade? Regular 40. 40. Which one is the one? Which one is the one? Yeah, which one is the one? Yes. See under vision. Look now. I have to completely on unroof. Yes. See after the wash. Now see with the reverse view from above. See that? Like this. Yes, sir. The beauty of 70 is you get almost 360 degree views. Yeah. See in the roof of the orbit. That is the roof of the orbit. Can you see? Yes, sir. The periorbita. Very oh. clear? Yes. yes. This was the roof of the orbit, which was, you know, this is the floor of the frontal sinus, where that pyocele had compressed the roof from above. Can you see very clear? Yes, sir. This is 70 degree upside down view. Mm. Most amazing view you can think of. We are looking from above down yes, in the yes. roof. Roof of the orbit. And no tumor there here on this side. You can see I have completely drilled away the bone here. Okay? Yes, yes, sir. Now the only area, if I turn it up, is here where I need to use my drill a little bit. Here at this point, you know. Give me zero degree now. Now zero degree. And you'll see even a much better view. The patient's proptosis has subsided, you know. Yes, sir. Yeah. See that region. Now orient yourself. Yeah. Now reorient yourself with a zero degree. This is coina? Yes, sir. This is maxillary sinus, sphenoid, onodi cell. This is your orbit. Can you see? Yes, sir. That is lamina. Your periorbita should remain intact, you know. That is the bottom line. If it is breathed at some place, you can use the cublator. So allow it to fibrose. Give rider, give rider. And now that is our reason above, which we uh, dealt with. That is the reason which we were drilling with. You know? Can you see that? Yes, sir. Now press it. And what is it? Drill. Now, see, I'm keeping the orbit pressed. 
just not much and just to make sure that i don't leave any lesion on the site of attachment here can you see now yes can sir can you see this bone can, can. yeah this bone is not good to me No, the osteitis. This is right at the skull base, just behind is the dura. You know? Yes, sir. Sadish, is it coarse yeah. diamond or uh, diamond? This is coarse diamond. See, that was the attachment. See the thick bone. Yes, yes, yes. See mm -hmm. the vessels inside. And that is something. It is I am doing it to. prevent what you had asked earlier to recurrence the so called recurrence she is born completely this uh, is my area of attachment everyone see yeah. the tumor vessels wonderful and you can't use any pressure because just behind is the dura yes 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 pani dal pani dal that is the crux of you know prevention of recurrence with uh, the straight wall of the insulator now just a minute we'll clean it and see about the frontal and laterally and above the orbit was that bio seal we removed look jao look jao yes halka yes This yes. is bipolar monopolar. This is a this is monopolar onto the bone, you know. Yes. Halka sir. Satish. Now give me the drill. Without the irrigation, you know what I am going to do? I will use it like a diamond one. Yes, yes. Irrigation remove. Section. Your up, your up. Like gentle, gentle. अंदर हाँ सतीश यस सर विल यू रिमूव मिल्क द सुप्रा ऑर्बिटल कंटेंट्स दैट्स पायोसिल टू ड्राइन ऑल द थिंग कम आउट या आई हैव रिमूव्ड आई हैव शोन यू द सुप्रा ऑर्बिटल पेरी आई सर या या इतने आई शोन यू द पेरी ऑर्बिटा Okay, that completely clear. I will show you again, boss. Okay. See, I am using like a diamond. Beautiful. Control the beauty. See, that was the vessel. <coughs> All the way. Yes. That was the tumor vessel. Look here, look here. No, 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 no. No. Look at this. What is this? patla mm. section finer one see that how the vessel is there yes sir yes no no yes look and now see the site of attachment pretty clear <coughs> i will remove this part of the uh, lamina here doubt any see now this is peri orbita which is intact can you see yes sir what you can do without Oblate. giving you can stiffen see this oblate see whatever it was bulging it subsides That is the beauty of the carburetor. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. 
without damaging anything it's all the time under irrigation so there is nothing you know the entire area see what is orbital transposition our orbital thick bone was completely obliterating this space completely this space Yes. This is opened up to drain this area, this area above the orbit. Wash, wash. Now see, there is complete removal of the. Gotcha. Only thing at this point of time, you have to spend five minutes extra to see any disease bone or anything underlying, any area not looking good. Need to be removed or anything like that. So this is my last, you know. Uh, this is just a bony oozing, nothing much. Say, so Doctor Fazali wants to know: Do you will you place anything in the supraorbital space? Any surgical cell or any it's something? Over. Not really. I will keep it open for the drainage. Yes, or or up like that. ऊपर की तरफ और ऊपर यहां करना यस नाउ सी दिस लिटिल बिट ऑफ द बोन सी दिस जस्ट टू स्टे ऑन द सेफर साइड दिस मे नॉट बी बैड और आई डोंट वांट दिस एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम यस so this was the case one of the day i told you today yeah. are the complex cases one day mere ko the wash give me wash i will show you the entire pure what i have done i will take you through the pure now See the frontal. Everything is zero degree now. Yes, sir. yes, yes. No bleeding. What a tumor it was, and how it was deeply, you know, attached right. to the most superior aspect of the supraorbital recess. Yes. Or the mirror. See this? How good it is now. Wonderful. No question of leaving behind anything. No I will show with the seventy degree in the end seventy degree upside view, <coughs> the roof of the orbit. See behind is the skull base where the tumor was attached to. See that? Yes. 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 Stop later. We have to achieve complete hemostasis. See periorbita. Yes, sir. You can just you know stiffen. The job is to stiffen. Nothing should prolapse. See this? Yes, sir. In spite of this much of the orbital transposition, nothing has happened inside the orbit. We are safely that working is, outside is the periorbita. See the axis given. Wonderful, sir. This is the example <coughs> of you know. transposition say doctor sandeep karmakar from pune is saying only two things we are waiting satish bosch ka webinar and corona ki vaccine oh corona <laughs> <laughs> ki vaccine vaccine doctor Now, sandeep the final picture final picture i am showing with the 70 get oriented yes sir see doctor sandeep yes sir Do do you put silastic in the draft cavity? Not really, not no really. It is used. So it is will give irrigation. That will keep everything patent. Say now with the seventy degree, sir. This is in the maxillary. Yes, sir. Yes. This is orbit. Yes. This is your you know optic now. Yes, sir. Here is your sphenoid. This is your onodi. Onodi. This is your skull base, and this is your frontal proper. Now I am turning it. See laterally the lateral recess. Yes, sir. Yes. See coming down onto the orbit where the tumor is. 
sinusitis at worst. See that. Wonderful, sir. The super power battle is here. Yeah, I am upside down now. I am above the orbit now, from above downwards. That's how the disease burst. See this. This is the peri orbita from above, which is decent. Very nice. Okay. I hope it is clear, Sach. Very clear. Very, Very clear. Very, <laughs> Very much, sir. <clears throat> Beautiful. Crystal clear, sir. Yes. Yes. See, there's all this bone. You can. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. See, now completely with no bleeding at all. This is the final picture. You can see now. This supraorbital cell, this lateral mass, most part of the frontal sinus, see this. This will completely drain in the nasal, in the in the in the nasal cavity. See now. Cavity. Yes, sir. Everything. That is the beauty. Keeping mucosa alive, keeping the function of the frontal sinus intact. Coming from outside, can never communicate, can never establish the physiology again. See how big the frontal is. Is more than four centimeters now. Okay. Now you can follow this patient with a zero degree. Yes. With a seventy degree in your OPD, mm -hmm. see the orbital wall completely decompressed and pushed and transposed completely to open up the lateral most part of the orbit and the orbital roof. Wonderful. See, Amazing. This is the orbital roof. You can see again. That is the orbital roof. Can you see that? Yes, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. That's the medial wall, and that is the superior wall. <clears throat> okay. Amazing, amazing Wash, case. Wash and pack. So this is all about this case. Uh, I think you make this complex surgery look so simple. That's a big compliment to you. You make things so simple for us. Really, an eye candy surgery for all of us. Thank you. A complex surgery, you made it so easy. Yes, that's that's it was a great learning for all of us. Any no any rule of a stand, any in that case, this case, no stand, nothing. <clears throat> so the, Hello. 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 Yes, yes, we can hear you. Any questions? No, sir. Just uh, review the uh, radiology if possible. Or yeah, yeah. I'll review the radiology. Possible. Where we had gone, this we could do simply because of the three-dimensional radiological information. Yes. So many people have first time seen this orbital transposition. So many people are commenting, wonderful, amazing, and so many comments we are getting. And there's a big excuse from all of us. Uh, there's some technical issues were there in the starting because of heavy rain and some other causes. So some sound issue and some video quality was compromised. Now everything is well under control. Initial half an hour was because of the some technical issues. Udhav, any questions? No, sir. I said we have covered most of many people transposition things. So I, I just want to tell them that in Kadavra can we have covered this in allergic fungal cases oh, sir, I have yeah. shown this before. People who have missed or yeah, seen this first time can see the previous webinar and Hello? can follow it. Yes, sir. Yeah, any questions? No, sir. Now I'll take you through the radiology of the same patient. Yes, sir. What it was please, sir. Yes. Connect to radiology. <clears throat> Uh, 
Yes. Now see. See, this was the situation. Yes, yes. Orient yourself. This is most anterior. This is the frontal sinus. Yeah, yes, sir. Can you yes. see this type 4 cell there? <coughs> yes, the type 4. Very yes, near. sir. Very we can near. see. We open the frontal, we remove this beak. We remove this beak, the floor, yeah. and reach to this cell, which we removed with the curate, angle curate. Yeah, yeah. We... Okay, let's go behind. When we went behind, this is the opacity. This is the lesion which is going above, above, above the orbit. Can you see this? Yes, sir. In this region. Till here. Till here. Now, beyond that, this is up, completely blocked. Can you see? Yeah, yeah. So we had to yes, drill that sir. and remove that neosteogenesis bone. Yes. Remember? Yes, yes, yes. So we remove that bone and reach to this part of the this part of the cell. And this was the pyocell which was going right onto the orbit. See, there is the orbital roof is descent over here. Can you see? Yes, yes. Yes. Sir. Now see the same thing. Same thing with the MRI together. Sir, this is a wonderful example. Can we cannot differentiate tumor with patient? And in yes. MRI, we can Unless easily you have MRI. them. Now see, yes, where, sir. till where is the tumor here? Can you see? Yes, sir. We were working all the time on this tumor. See, I was going like this in this narrow recess. In this narrow recess, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Now, yes. what we did, we removed this bone. See this the mm -hmm. medial wall of the orbit completely removed and pushed the orbit laterally to get onto this mucosil, pyocil. Can you see this? Yes, yes. I hope it is very clear. Yeah, very much, very much. This was the tumor which was blocking. Now, as you go behind, now this is your pyocil. Yes, now, sir. once we remove this tumor, everything is now draining in the nose. Yeah, once you remove yeah. this party wall, once you remove this party wall, everything through and through now draining into the cavity. What's my point? Yes, wonderful, wonderful. Any, any single doubt? This is the <clears throat> classical example of need of orbital transposition. <laughs> Type 4 cell needing draft <coughs> and orbital transposition. Yes. Uh, any role of like beta blocker proponual in these cases, like a hemangioma? Nothing. nothing. You go nothing. into the tuber, <coughs> remove it completely, yeah. and drill the underlying bone. You saw in the end yes, yes, sir. the bone which was so <laughs> many bleeders coming through that bone. You drill away completely, coagulate the bleeders, and that is the final answer. And now, for you, everything is in front of you to monitor in the future. That, that's plus, that's the biggest plus. Use your endoscope in your outpatient department, and you can see everything right up to the orbit, above the orbit. So what we have removed? Two, two types of bone. One is this beak. Okay? Yes. yes. In the drop, and then the second one is this. Right from here to here, we completely removed this bone. When we removed this, this area was right in our axis. See That's the axis from here to here like this. So I went with a 70 degree like here and upside down view. Okay. Showed you the superior part of the periorbita. Mm -hmm. The medial yes. part of the periorbita was here and superior part was here. This is go up and upside down. Yes. So this case could have been miss. Could have somebody could have tried with uh, double approach, miss external approach also, like uh, right, frontal tapping and uh, then endoscopic. Is it uh, no, possible? Any any such narrow approach would not allow. Uh, this required the highest level of exposure, you know. Yes, yes. Especially the last attachment part. Yes. You can miss it, that part. 
it is the exposure which enabled us to uh, you know remove everything and reach out all areas anything else or do we move on to the next case yeah next case yes next, next case. case yes next case okay next our next case is an interesting one i told you which was operated seven times yes earlier <coughs> here the role of radiology is hardly anything but still you have a contrast ct scan this patient is a biopsy proven case of rhinosporidosis and we all know how complex the rhinosporidosis problem is how frustrating it is as it has a high propensity to recur and there is no effective adjuvant therapy for this the only standard treatment is a surgical excision void excision cauterization of the base and prevent the fungal or this rhinosporidosis inoculation to other side because if you release the spores it may inoculate the other areas where the epithelium is breached and can start the lesion over there suppose you are removing from the nose and the fungal spores happen to go in the nasopharynx and if there's some part of the nasopharynx is breached it may inoculate there and sometimes after you will come uh, to see the patient having the rhinosporidosis coming from the nasopharynx it is so frustrating a problem it can arise anywhere most commonly from the nose the commonest site is the nose but it can occur in the orbit lacrimal system it can occur into the skin or it can be disseminated anywhere in the body we have seen variety of funny situation of rhinosporidosis with multiple skin lesion multiple multiple oropharyngeal lesion nasopharyngeal lesion nasal lesions and so on and with a lot of cicatrization stenosis with repeated surgeries making it more and more complex and still there are so many things which is not known about this disease you know earlier this was considered to be a fungus you know for years together we had a belief that it is a fungus rhinosporidium seaberry it was initially described by seaber and it was considered for decades as a fungus but believe me this is not a fungus the things have proven wrong now no fungus protein or fungal protein has been discovered so far and it has never been you know cultured outside the body like any other fungus that's why it is not uh, you know proven to be a fungus then the next theory came in from uh, you know all india institute you know um, uh, dr elu alia and dr deka that this is a you know cyanobacterium cyanobacterium because it is the same small you know round cell like rhinosporidium seaberry and it is coming from the cultured the cyanobacterium you know uh, the cyanobacterium from the patient's histopathology and from the area where the patient has got this infection from the you know where the patient acquired this from the stagnant waters like pond lakes river from those areas you know this is infection through the inoculation into the raw areas and they could you know harvest the cyanobacterium you know from there so uh, then it was believed to be like a cyanobacterium infection but again it has disproven and now the most acceptable theory is for surprise it is a protozoa it is a protistic you know uh, uh, thing belonging to a mycetozoa family which infests not only the amphibians but the fish also in the water and that's how the people who you know uh, take a bath in the pond or river anywhere acquire this protozoa so it a protistic you know uh, uh, thing parasite which infects the human being and this is presently the most acceptable theory it is a parasite hi ashish hi for everyone 
to announce Hi, Ashim. Ashim is just joining i think yes. two minutes two minutes oh, you yeah. carry on carry on after this time yeah. yeah. next week because of some preoccupation we'll uh, uh, skipping the next week's event and our next webinar will be on 6th of september the sunday and it will be a different event our dream event with our dear friend ashim and ashish will be a live surgical you know webinar one of its own kind from external ear to inner ear right from atresia and pinna reconstruction covering all middle ear surgery tympanoplasty tympanosclerosis stapes cholecystoma till inner ear surgery like surgery for vertigo and cochlear implant <clears throat> so it has been uh, you know planned earlier so this dream event with our dear brothers ashish bhumkar and ashim desai we have scheduled on 6th of september where in all three are operating from external to inner ear it's a complete autology you know package on 6th of september yes, it's has never ashish, never want to add on yet. something no it has never never happened uh, i think anywhere in the world where right from micro shear repair atresia to all of middle ear and we'll do stapes probably even a tympanic sclerosis if we get otherwise ashim will give a talk and then the inner this ear the, this one no, first september we have teachers day september 6th is a teachers day okay oh, September, fifth, fifth september so oh, okay okay so is the best best gift you can give to all of us okay wonderful great so i request you are, all yeah. to join on 6th of september morning 10 o'clock yeah with our dream event external to inner ear so coming back to the rhinosporidosis so the last theory and the presently most acceptable theory is a you know protozoa so what it does it inoculates the raw surfaces and most likely the nose and it invades the sub mucosa and the sporangia it releases leads to you know proliferation of the lesion and that is what you need to take up because it keeps on bleeding the patient presents with a history of bleeding and nasal obstruction and the most notorious part is the tendency to recur so to prevent the recurrence the first goal is though it is not very important the radiology to know the various lesion there could be number of lesions at different different places like many of the patients in this patient you see the lesion is there more anteriorly see the septum is destroyed anteriorly completely yeah. and lesion is occupying the both nasal cavities we'll see the site of attachment mm. we'll cauterize the site of attachment if it is on the inferior turbinate bone or somewhere i will remove the part of the inferior turbinate to get rid of this or if it is on some bone besides the cauterization i will try to drill away that part of the bone and then we'll apply the pure povidone iodine for 5 to 10 minutes povidone iodine mm. is something very very important to uh, you know to inactivate the sporangia as what they when they are released when you remove the tumor you have to be careful that no sporangia should inoculate the other areas so what we are going to do before we start i will pack the nasopharynx from behind completely i will not allow anything along with the you know uh, saline anything going behind to inoculate anywhere in the pharynx or larynx or airway it can it can inoculate anywhere and that is what the release is for ngias which can inoculate any raw surface so first is to prevent the inoculation you have to pack from behind second remove completely uh you know look at the site of attachment cauterize it drill it and then apply the povidone iodine for 5 to 10 minutes pure without dilution and then completely wash out everything that is our plan the other adjuvant therapies lot of things have been tried in the past but nothing works though still the dapsone is something which worked to some extent and lot of people have been using the dapsone in recurrent cases as an adjuvant therapy post operatively so we don't give dapsone on our own we leave upon our um, uh, dermatology friend because dapsone has its own side effect profile on contraindication lot of people have gcpd deficiency which can where it can be fatal so many things we never give dapsone we never prescribe 
we leave upon our skin uh, specialist and he discusses with the patient pros and cons to give on that um, uh, adjuvant therapy to prevent recurrence though we generally in our practice we rarely use the dapsone see on the coronal this part of the nasal septum is completely through and through gone because of the previous surgeries i told you it's been operated seven times yes sir and see the lesion completely occupying the anterior part of the nasal cavity you can't make out the site of attachment from the ct scan mri has hardly any role it is only the contrast ct which has a role only the contrast this is the contrast ct scan now you can see the lesion you can see the lesion enhancing lesion this could be attached most likely it is attached to the lateral wall onto the turbinates see that yes sir it can have multiple attachments so rhinosporidosis is always a frustrating problem we have to be very careful in counseling the patients very careful in preventing the further inoculation intraoperatively by packing the other areas which are not involved and then cauterizing drilling and applying the povidone id you can refer to a very interesting publication of a lacrimal you know they had a series of lacrimal rhinosporidosis uh, this was published by dr nishi gupta and dr poonam singla from shroff charity eye hospital in delhi and it is an amazing literature they publish and the best part is you know what we think that this rhinosporidosis can ascend in the lacrimal duct from below it never rhinosporidosis can be seen completely occupying the lacrimal system but it comes from above from the conjunctiva the ocular rhinosporidosis is the second commonest situation after the nasal uh, you know uh, origin the ocular on the palpable conjunctiva rhinosporidosis is very common and from there it goes inside the nasal lacrimal system and come down and they have classified into three categories category 1 2 3 based on the extension in the lacrimal system and using that we can surely optimize our outcomes when the rhinosporidosis invades the lacrimal system the lacrimal pumping and the walls in the lacrimal system are placed uh, by the god in the fashion that nothing can come from below up it has to come from above downwards for anything or any lesion to ascend into the lacrimal system that is how the rhinosporidosis is same coming from above it gives you a misbelief that it has gone from below up into the lacrimal system so let's see in this patient where all the tumor is uh, and see on ct scan you can't make out where the attachment is what we can make out surely there is nothing behind nothing behind what i can see on the axial there is nothing in the oropharynx see this nothing in the oropharynx otherwise you can see some pedunculated pedunculated lesion if there is any lesion behind in the oropharynx nasopharynx which are not uncommon the ct rules out all these possibility in case it is uh, needed to be done hi ashim hello hi buddy hello, hi Vas. we are hey, just buddy. discussing um, just announced our event on the 6th of september fantastic panel to winner here and you'll see dr ashim desai in action with some phenomenal middle ear surgeries dr ashish bhumkar with some you know this champion with some atresia and microsia surgeries and some stapes uh, cases at really? least two or three stapes cases along with cholestatoma tympanosclerosis tympanoplasties <coughs> osteoplasties and then some inner ear cochlear implant and some vertigo surgeries so all everything event. that is there in the ear from the external yeah. to external the internal to inner ear is a complete autology one full day session yeah. from 10 o'clock onwards 6th of september sunday it will be our pleasure for the india to come together again yeah, yeah. thank you yeah. sir desai sir lal chandani sir yes sir in your experience of 40 years you must have seen variety of rhinosporidosis yeah. sure we used to to see lot of these cases in ent department in medical college kanpur yeah. and we did lot of surgeries of this uh, with the arrival of endoscope the surgery became more finished like you say the possibility of uh, you have to safeguard that it should not uh, spill over to the other parts of the right. nose right. and uh, 
uh, that is what you have emphasized in your uh, talk so far. So anything you, any advice to do anything further to prevent recurrence in diagnosis or anything? No, no, nothing. You have completed everything and I hope we, that uh, you have done everything, to explained everything, that the spillover effect can be uh, by packing the nasal cavity properly to those parts which are, that's the only thing we can do. Otherwise, surgery and follow-up uh, treatment, uh, medical treatment thereafter. Like that you is said, very that important, clone. sir. If you don't pack the nasopharynx mm. and these sporangia which are released during removal mm. can go lower down and go lower the down and they make like the larynx and part. they can inoculate other area. That is very, very important mm. in this surgery to prevent satellite lesions coming up in the future. Dr. Sandeep from Bareilly has joined us. Hello, and, boss. Uh, one more thing, because I, I discussed earlier, because so many people have started, uh, means upgraded themselves with their surgery. And uh, he has done wonderful NG fibroma yesterday, very extensive one. And uh, the he just asked oh, for him, the credit goes the to... Credit goes to the boss, Dr. Satish Jain. Okay. Because uh, after seeing so many webinars, uh, he stimulated me that uh, we should not be fear of JNA um, and uh, I took the decision to do it myself. Though earlier I did a smaller one, but this was a big one. But the credit goes to you only, sir. Right, boss. Thank you. And, uh, congratulations, oh, Sandeep. Congratulations. Yeah. Sure. That is something gives us uh, happiness like anything. Amazing. 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 I remember I have done several of the workshops everywhere, every part of the world. But the workshop I did with him, Dr. Sandeep in Bareilly, is unique. Two days workshop and the theme was benign lesions of the head and neck. And he organized 14 benign cases. Ah. Variety of sinuses, fistula, thyroglossal, preauricular, brinkial, type 1, type 2, you know, lymphangioma, angioma. And your fibroma, all benign lesions of the head and neck. That was a unique course. I can never forget. Amazing it to was wonderful, amazing. You demonstrated these cases very well. We did parotid, yes, some mandibular, thyroid, and uh, brachial all sinus, benign. all benign, fistulas, lymphangioma, JNA, variety of 14 cases, yes. and we remember all those cases. And uh, it is all credit goes to you. It is because of you that we could. Okay. Do this. Uh, yes. We remember yes. it in yes. our lifetime you, that you did. Thanks to you. Sir, we love you so much and we uh, eager to see you each and every webinar. You are a wonderful person, amazing. And I think he, all <laughs> I, the ENT yeah. faculty salute you for your uh, <laughs> such an humble reason. Well you said. are such an humble person. Well said. We, well said. Reaching Absolutely. to these heights and you appreciate even yeah. such a small person like me. That is a great, oh, boss, great your effort. of your you. <laughs> I want to, Satish, if you allow me the next two, three minutes, I want to decode this phenomenon called Satish Jain. I mean, for we've seen him for more than, God knows, Sorry. 120, 150 hours now, every week, every week. One has to think about what this man is actually and what is it that makes him. And among the many things, I think it is his focus and he does not get distracted by the stupidities that go on in the in today's world, especially in the social media. You will never see a single post by a Satish Jain. He's, he's there everywhere, yeah. imbibing, but does not waste time on social media, does not think that the world wants to know how Satish Jain sneezes or how he burps or how he farts or whatever. I mean, he does not have these illusions about him being a celebrity. He has he no time to waste on these evil issues. He's genuinely a student and who wants to share his knowledge as a as a wonderful student to the other students. Selfless sharing of his well Absolutely. And well I think said. this Absolutely. is very important ingredient. People who sort of they start thinking of themselves as celebrities and the world wants to know whether you know they're doing this or that. I think they have lost it. They have lost it in the in the totality picture of life. What makes him? Therefore, this allows him to pursue. Even today, he reads four and five hours of academics. He'll get up at three o'clock, four o'clock, or maybe he'll sometimes not sleep. This is something very, very important. Satijan does not fall from the heaven. Sure, 
he has the raw material but the effort that he puts in to be what he is and i think beside the surgical skill people have to start one understanding two acknowledging and three imbibing these qualities oh. that make a satish jai come on ashish come on second no satish no 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 this is this is not for you you can you can mute or you can stop listening i just want to say one more thing and this is not emotional this is yeah. also you have to think in this lockdown this person is able to generate so many cases not just so many cases the variety of cases right. imagine the practice of this man now this practice has again not fallen from heaven the kind of strategic application of time energy that he has applied from day one of his practice to where he is today it is something it is a it is actually a management study case that people should understand and this is an eye opener i mean none of us on the planet forget india forget north india south india nobody can generate this kind of work with this variety and with the passion and the depth with which he is doing radiology everything but his his team leadership where there is a team which goes up to 400 kilometers interacts and engages with the patient the amount of trust that they have like a big brother or the son of all this thing it is unbelievable the emotional connect that he has with the patient again comes to that same point that is so grounded so humble that he really relates he does not have illusions of a celebrity or some some psychological disorder of that sort he is a man of the earth and remains a man of the earth and these are few things and if time permits i will speak a little bit more on that but his leadership management skills and is sheer thing and not wasting Absolutely. time on that stupid social media trying to say this or that or that i think this is something uh, which makes a uh, uh, satish jain this is important yeah, not just the, your partner you he, echoed, very well put very well you very well echoed my sentiments i call him rolls royce of ent all over the world because of his stamina because of his sleekness because of his performance all three put together he is a rolls royce of ent surgery in not only india but all abroad and all the world the still hungry for knowledge still hungry for knowledge you yeah, know absolutely. unbelievable yes yes unbelievable ashim and i have been very lucky and, because we and interact every with every surgery every no. surgery he performs yes. is a show stopper kind of show stopper yes absolutely every right. surgery is sleek and show stopper Yeah, it's something to learn from. Besides the surgical Satish skills, I think these are the decoded version of a Satish Jai. And I think focus, focus, and not to waste time on, you know, frivolity. Uh, yeah. Usually, uh, think, yeah. yeah, Satish. Are Carry you taking on. the picture? Yes. So yes. let's continue with the surgery now. Once yeah. again, yeah. our uh, next on surgery. Ashish, yeah. the next case is already induced, uh -huh. and that is a huge chondromyxoid fibroma. Oh, okay. Which we'll discuss after this, a vascular lesion, and see now the picture. Yes. How the rhinal sclerosis looks like. It doesn't leave any doubt on diagnosis. Yes. 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 Small berry appearance of a lesion, and see yes. what is this white dots? Anybody? My CT. These white dots are sporangias. Sporangia. You know? Yes, sir. So this is uh, as usual for the biopsy, and see how it bleeds. Complete. Now what I am going to do is, I have already shown behind. See this. This is the septal perforation. Can you see? Yes, yes. And it has multiple attachment on the septum. See here on the septum, multiple attachments on the septum. We have to be careful every time to know the site of attachment. We have already packed the nasal pharynx from behind. See this lesion. Yes, sir. and it is extremely vascular as well so shooting to the theme of the day vascular lesions we kept this uh, and now what i am going is under vision i want to remove this under vision so that i can get to know the site of attachment one needs to have a powerful suction with See, this surgery. i could i could remove with a debrider as well fast but the problem is in that bleeding mm -hmm. i would never know where it is attached to now see i i can 
see very well where it is attached to see this yes sir that is the beauty of coblator here in this situation see this wonderful wonderful and here since it is attached here i will remove the existence of this part of the sap completely this poor chap has already been operated somewhere seven times and i will do everything today to prevent the possibility of recurrence though you cannot promise see so far only one tool working coblator okay leave it leave it pack small pack small pack this was this um, you know it has given us pack this has given us access access in the right nasal cavity now completely see the access now yes now let's go to the left side see this lesion where it is attached to again very anterior yes yeah. sir Septum. Yes. Septum. Then you are speaking about it. If one starts to do with the divider, everything is ruined in time because it will keep on bleeding, 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 and one can never find because this is something which has a multiple attachments. You know. Yes, sir. This is how the one. This is how I can completely remove the attachment and. Coagulate the rest of the surrounding areas. You know. Second, so your experience, which is the most common site you have mostly encountered. Yeah, in after the revisions, any site can, but in primary, mostly on towards the lateral wall. Okay. Now we will remove the luminal part. See in the floor. this is a very very frustrating problem you have to be very careful all the time under vision should be able to see where it is attached to a slightest mistake is a revision need for revision sir got a fazali from peshawar pakistan is asking after this case all the equipment which you are using will you sterilize them again for the other case or we can use them pardon pardon Sir, after this case, will you dispose of the instruments, mostly the bank and everything, or you can use them again in other never, cases? Never, never. See this? How my nasal cavity is opening up? Yes, sir. Yes. Under vision, where it is attached to? This is all luminal component. The answer to Faisal is no. It is discarded. See, It's in the never used again. In the case of hemangioma, I remove the luminal component with a Coblator or divider fast, but here not at not at all, because I want to know all the time. Suction, suction. Either center, center, ma karke rakhi it diyo. All the time I want to know where it is attached to. See the big component coming out. you have to ensure on the table every possible you know major to prevent the recurrence this is how you can remove the bulk sir he is also asking what will you do for the septum this huge septal defect Not in that you can't do anything. There is no point in reconstruction in this lesion unless the patient is cured. See this attachment on the septum itself. See behind. Yes. Yes, sir. See this this part attached on the septum, and there about. See this attachment on the lateral wall. Can you lateral see? Wall. Yes. multiple and see here in the floor which i have uh, not seen yet now see this yes sir broad attachment on the floor there are multiple attachment one can easily be mistaken
you hear it all this is on the septum you hear it all what a tool it is see coblator yes sir Sir, so if if a proper surgery has been done in the primary surgery case, then we can avoid the recurrence, or do we counsel the patient that, that he? That, no, you have to keep the patient in close follow-up. You can never guarantee, but yes, a properly uh, you know done surgery with all precautions is the only way to prevent the recurrences. See now, I have seen behind the limit. Yes, sir. This is done. See after dividing this, I can see there is behind. There is no, you know, lesion behind that. Can you see that? Yes. I have seen my posterior limit very clear. That is the pack in the nasal pharynx. Yes, sir. And that is my posterior limit. That is something need to be ascertained at this point of time. Now, give me a pack. now we have seen our posterior limit i will improve my further exposure you send the biopsy this histopathology specimen in formalin or in saline only this thing saline saline yes. straight away to the pathologist though in this patient there is hardly any role of frozen uh, because here the diagnosis has no doubts and frozen is not going to reveal anything extra But still, it is our policy to send immediately. See now, this is the entire most part where the septum we have removed, and now see we are we have seen our posterior limit. Now we'll go from anterior to posterior to improve our exposure. We'll keep going behind. Now see, see in the floor. The beauty of the coblator is. if your lesion under vision all the time number 1 at the same time keeps on coagulating the floor the base all the time we need to see the base nasal occupying uh, the lesion occupying the nasal cavity is different the base attachment is different see the attachment on that side see yes. so start from the most anterior part and then keep going behind this is my lesion now in my control completely under control see now see the depth this has been elevated now so now i will debulk it bit a bit a simple understanding of this surgical part can certainly improve the outcome believe me so this all luminal component just keep having an eye on the attachment areas then remove the luminal part to focus more and more on to the attachment site this will help you remove the lesion in total no blind removal at all this is a very very important pathology imagine for anybody who is being operated again and again how frustrating it is see now in the nasal floor on this side no attachment at all can you see yeah hello yes it is just luminal so i elevated and removing this luminal part you don't need to be aggressive unless you at every mucosal surface 
you have to be aggressive only at the attachment targeted targeted aggression from the surgeon yes yes see this this nasal cavity yes right up to behind and this was the part which was attached here which i have aggressively removed you know you have to be fully aggressive where needed is it necessary to drill the underlying bone also if you have a doubt if you have a slightest of the doubt you can but satish if you drill over you have a possibility of spill over of the yeah inoculation yeah inoculation that's so why one should in that be very area, cautious yes yes we have to be very careful first ensure that it is required i will show you the area where if drilling is required how what yes. to do what are the indications yes. very few indications one has to be very cautious uh, taking the decision See this, the floor drilling. on this side yes the coagulator does your entire job including the coagulation of the base is done by coagulator see this and now i will remove this luminal component on this side like the right side this is all luminal on this side as well see this when i re remove this luminal component you will hardly find any attachment in the floor on this side as well you know the man of the match again beside this coagulator oh, is the suction oh, is the suction and <clears throat> see the high power suction not getting clogged that is the important requirement you know so all luminal component see this yes yes huge luminal co component similar to the right side I'll, i'll remove this luminal component and see the floor see the floor on this side as well yes yes no lesion no lesion actually this is just anterior lesion so the lesion occupying everywhere doesn't mean that you have to be aggressive on the mucosal surface everywhere never now i know there is no you know attachment behind this in the floor see that yes this is attached in the midline only in the midline you know a lot of people you know what do they do they start the depth from before surgery yes in our yeah. department is used That's to time. be for two reasons yeah. hmm. for two reasons and that's a good strategy i believe one can do that because depth on works by two ways one is by inducing the fibrosis and second by inducing the maturation of the sporangias you know mm -hmm. so they no more remain you know having that ability to inoculate other areas you know yes so what you can do you can give depsson few weeks before the surgery you will have less bleeding number one and even some sporangias are released they will possibility be able to disease. inoculate the other areas with less ability mm -hmm. so that is the value of depsson i believe one can start before now see this lesion in the midline see this luminal component i will tell you as sir ask where to use your drill okay see my floor where the lesion was attached completely out yes 
Nothing there? Nothing. And this nasal pharynx has tightly packed. See, there is no more lesion beyond this atom. What a fantastic use of technology for precision. So this is brilliant. Right. Step by step, patiently but swiftly is going. Yeah, this is a very, very frustrating Absolutely. problem. Yeah. yeah. A slightest oh, mistake, the patient suffers. Wonderful, yeah. Suffer. No, no pulling of blood, which, is, which typically is the... Yeah, we are not supposed to traumatize... The normal mucosa, yeah. Yes. Yeah. But see, there not there oh. behind. That is my posterior limit. See this? Yes, yes. And this septum, this part, see until here it was involved. So what I will do now, see this involvement. Yes, yes, we can see the margin, the distant, yes. uh, the, yeah, I correct, am, the border, yeah. I am taking the margin now. Yeah. See my margin now. This part of the septum I am going to take. See, this septum is involved. Yeah. Yes. And this is my margin. Sir, Dr. Girish wants to know the doses of Depstone. Doses is 100 milligram a day. And people give this for months, you know. Months means six months, nine months. Okay. Uh, Dapson is a, you know, uh, not a safe drug for many per regions, I tell you. So will you not give Dapson in this case post-operatively, Satish? Yes. See, I don't know the status of what the previous surgeon has done, you know. Mm -hmm. Now, after this surgery, for any cases coming to us, after the first surgery, we never start Depson. Okay. We wait for, with a close follow-up. See, mm -hmm. this lesion is not going to come in a day, all of a sudden. If even a slightest lesion coming in your, uh, you know, on your follow-up, slightest. You'll remove it again. You can remove under local anesthesia, boss. Mm -hmm. See, this part of the septum, which I have separated. See this anterior part completely involved. See this? Yeah. Yes, yes. Completely. This has to be radically excised, boss. Otherwise, this is this is the region for the recurrence. See now. So here, the efficacy of the surgery matters a lot. See this. This part of the septum completely engulfed. This part. And this part I am removing radically. See this? Mm -hmm. See this. Super. The rest is not involved in the septum. This is just hemostasis onto the margin. Now see the picture as compared to when we started. This is our posterior pack. Yes, sir. This part of the nose completely clear. Yes. And the base completely cauterized wherever it is. Mm -hmm. The nasal component is completely out. That is the the nasopharyngeal pack, now it is a lateral wall. See this. 
how badly affected hmm. let me wash hatana hatana now you can see the picture yeah fabulous yeah wash hatana now see this in the mid line both nostril anteriorly completely gone Super. septum radically removed in the area where it was attached to yes. and now the lateral wall don't damage the uninvolved site you know you have to be careful like ashish you always say look for the depth before you go this is simply the same you know you have to assess the posterior margin where it is now this luminal component again to see my attachment looking for the depth see this yes see all this luminal component this coblader has made it so Uh, I don't, I don't use, use the word simple, but elegant and precise. Yeah. Now see in the submucosal region here. This see this. This is bad. This rhinosporidosis tends to invade the submucosa. See this. In the lateral wall. You have to be, you know, very very careful, not to miss any lesion. See this. Yes. See this. The site of attachment should be. Yeah. Yeah. All underlying bone. See, this is the NAD. Hmm. Yeah, see this bony bleeding, dry, dry dill, dry diamond, like in otology we do. Yes. So far, I have not used the micro divider. Wash. Wash. Yes. See the bleeding stop. Now look at the lacrimal region. Yes. Can't afford to take a chance. See the NLT region. Yes, yes sir. sir. be here carefully you have to go behind and define your posterior limit and this is what i am doing yes now there is nothing behind now give me the diamond i will show you this area close up पंडल पंडल थोड़ा सा यस यस दे वो दे कॉटरी देना सी दिस सम वेसल्स फ्रॉम द बोन यस कैन बी बेस्ट टैकल विद द मोनोपोलर
Now this part, see this? Yes. See on the lateral wall such an extensive attachment. This is luminal part. Mm -hmm. Just elevate the luminal part so that you can go to the site of attachment. That is the whole idea behind it. See this, the accessory ostium. Yeah. Fontanel. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yes, yes. And now I am removing this radically. Okay, little say jala jala ki rak karo. <laughs> yeah, that is the secretions. The, the post operative, his life will be miserable with a lot of crusting and epistaxis. Lots yeah, yeah. of smell and all those problems. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't yeah, know the difference between previous. You know, previous. that can uh, surely happen, mm -hmm. but you have to be aggressive in irrigation post op. The concept of the nasal spa, post op nasal spa. Yes. One nasal of the spa. juniors is trained to do a thorough irrigation and wash at all our centers. See, this is the possible site where. I had to be aggressive. After this, that is the maxillary sinus mucosa, mm -hmm. which is uninvolved, which is uninvolved. Uh, uninvolved. Just edematous, yeah. Yeah, debrider. I will show you. That is the interior of the maxillary sinus. See that? Yeah, very well seen. Yes, clean. This is where I am going to connect. The accessory here. Yeah. This is uninvolved mucosa. See this? The other decoded version is instrumentation. See how many instruments came in the span of three minutes. The drill came, the coblator is of course there, the monopolar insulated came. The debrider came. This is the bone. Yeah. See, this is the bone where the legion is. This is normal mucosa. Normal. See, this bone is not good. Thick bone. See the thick bone? Yes, yes. Very. This is involved. So by is now, Alexi. We'll send this separately for his top at. So, so now the lower part is see absolutely done. This is the bulla. This is just a Opening of the sinuses, nothing. Now there is hardly any lesion behind. I am just improving my sinuses access. You can see everywhere yeah. the sinuses coming into picture. Yes. This I'm removing to give a good access. See the thick bone. Oh, there's definitely some changes. Yeah. Osteitis. That may not be because of the lesion, oh. but I want to see behind. Full access behind, you know. Now, give me the coblator first. Wash, wash, huge wash. It is done. Yeah. See, this is all bone. Yes, here they. Are. 
that is going to be the access to the frontal yeah so what he is debriding is not the rhinus pollicis but the edematous mucosa yes, just to yes, make yes. sure yeah this is all you know said the red bone unhealthy yeah thick bone see this yeah yeah all this is thick bone yeah that's the reactionary osteitis osteitis give me the drill that's where uh, you are you were asking me which areas to be drilled so osteitis is one area where <laughs> yes i will show you some more areas in the floor this septum the remaining septum here below i will drill away hmm. watch watch pehle ki tarah hold on section that इन्फ्लेमेशन ब्लॉकेज ऑल दैट नॉट बिकॉज ऑफ द डिजीज beauty of this drill is you can use it anywhere safely with full control the brider see the sinuses from inside yes ha i see the your limits of the sinuses yes see behind yeah see everything is clear yep behind is my pack i don't want this to go behind anything like this mm of later <coughs> this is all sinuses nothing else oh this the thick osteitic bone i have drilled away here laterally there were no rhinosphodosis at all yeah even this all i have removed i stayed little more radical you know there nothing see this Yes. All this is normal. Everything normal. This part can you see? Yeah. Yes. Just move. So yeah, just. This looks normal, I think. Yes, but the edematous. I had a, I had a doubt on this. You don't want the ninth time. <laughs> yeah. No harm in removing like this. It will heal up. Borderline overdoing is preferred over underdoing. See, this is a very very frustrating disease. No one should take any chance to allow it to come back. Go. Say the brother. Now completely opened up. Yes. See, boss. Yeah, fantastic. Beautiful. Now there is no question of 
anything leaving behind i stay little more radical but this is a multiple revision and patient came with very high hopes came to the right place to the right person <laughs> oh, but you are always at the back foot when you do such lesions you know yeah you cannot what she now i told him already covid on yourself no month, every month he has to come for follow up Oh. Even a slightest lesion arising anywhere, we will fire. Slightest of the lesion, if comes. For fun's sake, I am going to play a dialogue about Jalana and Rock. <laughs> कुछ तो मस्ती करो यार इतने सीरियसली मत देखो द माइंड एब्सॉर्ब नॉलेज बेटर इन अप्पी स्टेट इमेजिन इफ यू डोंट हैव अडर हाउ कैन यू कोबलेट है यार Yeah, yeah. The recurrence is so imminent. See this? You have to literally attack onto the attachment. You know, finding the attachment and attacking that both are equally important. Now, this part of the septum, drill, drill. See, I am not going to drill in the floor, sir. What you are asking? Just the spine, you. Yes, because in the That's floor, smooth. I want. I don't want to invite problems. Yes, I will drill this little bit of the end part. Just smoothen it, yeah, so that mucosal mucosalization can occur easily. Now we have to, you know, throw this drill, this blade, this cobbler, when. the brider whatever you can't there is no it. there is no way to sterilize it uh, satish in in no, different no, forms in rhinos for doses don't take a chance otherwise lot of people do plasma sterilization it works kalade uh chalo rhinos for doses laryngeal papillomatosis you have to throw Hmm. Use use it for cadaver dissection, I guess. Yeah, there you can use it. <laughs> See, I'm cauterizing the base further. Dal dal, kare ja. Dua hi dua. Is hurin laga tha. Ja. wash karna i am just cauterizing the base below how is the picture now fabulous nice nice very nice see no area where the tumor uh, the lesion was there which we have left we have gone even more radical and now we have a good view for a future to assess in our opd only put your zero degree everywhere and you can see everything hello hello quadri i think it is so so wide that from jaipur you'll be able to see in his village only <laughs> just have to come to the hospital mumbai ye kare ja kare ja see in the base this is proper cauterization after even the cobulation मैं बोला ये राख वाला है मामला इधर गिव मी वॉश नाउ बिटाडीन नाउ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग आफ्टर दिस बिटाडीन इज अ प्योर बिटाडीन कोविडोन आयोडीन गिव मी सिरिंज अनडाइल्यूटेड हां अनडाइल्यूटेड फर्स्ट वी विल वॉश 
this inactivates if there is any remaining sporangia anywhere in the field okay and it is useful and then we will pack first i will wash suction wash see this the entire cavity i am going to fill up with this and then after that the irrigation will pack the cavity or you know pack the cavity for 5 minutes with this thing complete matlab complete see this everything this is most important again towards preventing the recurrence now pack bit again pack this pure povidone pack now any questions anything anybody want to suggest no thing say no a next case is ready or the pack let's move to the next case now so the purpose of this pack is to actually keep the povidone iodine in contact there yes. is really no, going to be no bleeding right no no not for bleeding ah. this is to prevent the surface the, yeah yeah any sporangia if they are to inactivate there many people are asking if we don't have cobbler then with that bragger and bipolar can we do this case you can do but you can't do with this much of efficacy under vision because the cobbler is all the time you know uh, irrigated with yes. saline that keeps your field good clear cool with hardly any collateral damage and the most important thing is the visualization is maintained all the time Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, if you have to do the Satish Jain class of surgeries, you don't have a choice. Cobbler. Cobbler. <laughs> See this entire area. We have packed with polydone iodine for ten minutes without diluting it. That's it. We'll keep it Wonderful. for ten minutes. Wonderful. Wonderful. Claps. Claps yeah. for you. Thank you. And the next case, as I told you. is again a biopsy proven use chondromyxoid fibroma patient presented with the bleeding and the next one would be a inverted papilloma with possible malignant transformation and then three different variety of sinusitis the possibility of a malignant transformation is is your imaging uh, based on yes. imaging yes 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 go the biopsy taken earlier somewhere twice turned out to be negative and i i am sure those were superficial biopsies which can never uh, pick up yeah okay so what the tumor is tumor has not gone beyond the confines of you know the possibility of endoscopic resection so still in case it turns out to be positive and frozen will will anyway deal it like a malignancy well like yeah, okay wherever it is attached will radically remove it with okay. margin yeah okay whether it is malignant or not so what are the signs on imaging that make you suspect malignancy on diffusion there is restriction the area of diffusion weighted diffusion weighted now this patient now look at the uh, first the initial picture uh this is non contrast ct scan see how it presented like this was a non contrast ct scan it does show some expansile mass lesion but nothing else you can't characterize what exactly it is yes sir then we have a contrast ct see this this will show something see this this shows the speckled areas of calcification can you see that yeah yes yes that is important 
see this this shows this spec this mass lesion is coming right out of the anterior nares you know this mm. speckled areas of calcification you know expensile mass lesion see this pushing the septum far to the opposite lateral wall see the medial wall here completely by means of expansion gone and this looks like this is the limit of the lesion here that is the limit of the lesion with this part of the sinus is still you know with some fluid or something that is what you get on you know contrast ct scan now i told you all these soft tissue lesions you can't make out much on ct scan see this speckled calcification that is one finding which is very important which points out to a osteochondral lesion most often like we did a huge and uh, chondrosarcoma if you remember entering into the uh, intracranial space extensively that was a chondrosarcoma chondrosarcoma and chondromyxoid fibroma are similar in uh, you know histopathology if your pathologist is not very clever you may miss it because lack of fibrous component separates the chondromyxoid fibroma from chondrosarcoma that is the only thing the same chondroid material and see this part of the sinus looks okay it looks like this mass lesion which is expanding into the sinus see this like this so we yeah. got the mri done and that makes the things very clear now it is a game changing giving you a correct diagnosis by means of mri see this mm. what is this on mri see this this is an nn see this is non contrast mri t2 yes sir and see this enhancing lesion with in between dark spots can you see what is yes, that sir. calcification calcification see this yes. serpentine kind of a lesion with expansile you know oh this you have taken the pin too okay let me explain the the they have uh, i told this case was taken the next case uh, the next case which is induced is a inverted papilloma sorry but let us discuss this radiology first see this this expansile lesion can you see this yes sir yes and rest of the sinus has secretion mm. yes so that is not the tumor this is just secretion and this is the tumor with enhancement and loss of eco because of the calcification we saw on ct scan Very see good. now let us go to the ct scan back along with the mri wherever there is loss of enhancement wherever there is calcification is loss of enhancement see this wherever there is calcification you will find signal loss and that is classical of a chondromyxoid lesion with this good boundaries this good boundaries scalloping boundaries no aggressive bone destruction but it is because of the expansion it could be chondrosarcoma it could be chondromyxoid fibroma you cannot make out on ct as a ct scan or mri but could be either of these which can be made out on histopathology if the radiolo if the histopathologist or pathologist is too good now see finally the contrast picture see this contrast picture wherever the lesion is enhancing and wherever the calcification why i was saying this calcification why not hemorrhage because the calcification never enhances on mri and see this clear cut gives you a diagnosis that this is a calcification in the lesion which has a scalloping margins enhancement both on t2 as well as contrast benign expansile not eroding anywhere and it cannot be anything than either chondrosarcoma or chondromyxoid fibroma and we have a histopathology of a chondromyxoid fibroma and this lesion right coming see this right coming from the anterior nares most anteriorly huge one huge one presented with huge bleeding 
bleeding, bleeding, and see where it is going. It has already destroyed the medial wall of the maxilla completely. Already pushed the uh, septum to the opposite lateral wall completely, and then see how it is going behind. Completely occupying, completely occupying till nasopharynx. So if you see in the lateral part, in the sagittal section, you can see like this. Yes, sir. This serpentine expelsile lesion with scalloping margins enhanced on T2, as well as contrast with lack of enhancement due to calcification, is a chondromyxoid lesion, and that is what this benign chondromyxoid fibroma is. Any any questions or any doubts or suggestions? No, sir. So this is one, but uh, the next case we have taken. So we'll uh, we have already discussed this. We'll take this after this case. This is the case we have taken now, and see this this patient. This is a contrast CT scan of the same patient, uh, which we have taken, which I told you looks like a possible malignant transformation. May not be, maybe, but why I have a doubt? Let me share with you. This is the contrast MRI. What you see is an expansile lesion with widening of the osteometal area, completely occupying right from the maxillary sinus to the nasal cavity, right from see till nasopharynx. It is, you know, protruding in the nasopharynx like a ball. Can you see this? Yes. Huge ball. Huge ball. In nasopharynx. And coming anteriorly, almost unilateral, and coming anteriorly right up to the anterior nares and presented with bleeding. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. But you can't discriminate on CT scan what it is. So let's see the MRI. See, this is T2 weighted MRI. And what I see on T2 weighted MRI, can you see something like, you know, convoluted? Yes, CCP. Something like CCP, not very clear, with loss of CCP, and this look could be inverted papilloma because it is enhancing on T2. And what you see on contrast, the final game changing is diffusion. Diffusion, yes, sir. What you see on contrast, see this. See this. With this loss of, you know, enhancement, loss of enhancement could be because of necrosis, malignant transformation, or anything. But this looks like something coming from the maxillary sinus. See the CCP. Why change the intensity? You can see the faint CCP. Can you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, why I'm saying that I have a doubt of malignancy? See. On the on the axial, and let me bring up the diffusion. You remember the diffusion picture of the last patient we operated? Yes, sir. Himenjoma. There was no restriction. Bright. Totally bright. Now see, in this particular patient, see this diffusion. Yes, sir. This is huge, severe huge. restriction in the diffusion. That gives me a doubt that this could be somewhere uh, changed into, uh, you know, malignancy. This looks like malignant transformation here. The lesion, see this is enhancing diffusion, bright on diffusion, no restriction. That is all benign thing. But once something is, you know, showing restriction on diffusion, that gives me a huge suspicion of See this lesion here and see on diffusion this part posteriorly, huge restriction. It's not a simple restriction. And if I calculate the diffusion coefficient, this is quite low. See 0.8 below one is highly suggestive of malignancy, highly suggestive. So in this posterior part of the posterior part of the maxillary sinus here, I suspect a malignant transformation and we are geared up with a frozen backup and if it turns out to be malignancy we'll treat it like a malignant lesion 
is still why i in spite of having doubt why i care for endoscopy because it, even if it turns out to be malignant you can still remove it see this let me show yes see this it has not gone beyond the confines of the mag maxilla anywhere can you see yes sir it has not entered the orbit yes, anywhere even if it is malignant it is completely resectable it has not gone to the skull base not gone to the orbit yes, and the third yes. criteria third criteria it has not gone in the anterior soft tissues these are the three contraindication for the endoscopic approach if it turns out to be a malignant one if it goes in the anterior soft tissues if it invades the orbital soft tissues it's a indication for excentration then if it goes on the anterior part indication for open approach if it goes intracranial invading the brain open approach obviously okay 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 i think good case From all three criteria it is still very well resectable whether it is malignant or not and that's why even if it turns out to be malignant we will remove it as usual endoscopically it has all a dankers you know good criteria to be removed endoscopically by dankers yes of course it will require dankers and in malignancy mm. also see this mm. luminal mm. component wherever it is not attached doesn't need anything you simply keep on debriding and go on to the site of attachment and to reach there this will require dankers somewhere in the lateral part of the maxilla and yes. once you find the site of attachment will go around drill away the underlying bone completely with at least a 5 mm margin all around and in the depth the complete bone until we find the normal periosteum or something all around that will be the goal even if it is malignant or not the treatment is going to remain same sir so got a mtr from kuwait is asking is there any area of hypogastrosis or stenosis like we see in inverted papilloma usually yes, that is a good question sometimes you pick up on you know ct scan the signs of hyperosteosis conical bony projection or something like you know bone destruction to to give you suspicion of a site of attachment yes, you know yes but i don't see any you know reliable thing which is uh, given on ct scan to be suspicious of a site of attachment i don't see we tried to see earlier but uh, we don't see any reliable sign of if you have a conical bone projection like anything like this that is quite quite diagnostic of a site of attachment of papilloma which is not here so i don't see uh, that kind uh, that may not always be present yes sir. and let's see intraoperatively how it turns out to be but surely we'll remove the laminal component we'll do a dankers reach the site of attachment and then radically we'll remove it so this is the third case this is inverted papilloma most likely though still the previous two diagnoses the biopsies could not prove it a malignancy and next will be the chondromyxoid fibroma and then three different anatomy of sinuses cases one as a huge intersinus septal cell in the frontal another as a huge fronto bullar cell and the third one coming with a visual disturbance with a fungus pressing on the bare optic nerve in the sphenoid all three Imagine. unilateral cases yeah. imaging any question or do we go ahead Yeah, right. For those who were not logged in earlier, our next event is on sixth of September. is a complete external to inner ear surgery by a dream team, including Dr. Ashish Bhumka and Dr. Ashim Desai, wherein on sixth of September, ten o'clock onwards. there will be live surgical demonstration by three of us on various surgeries on ear right from external ear atresia microsia to middle ear 
basics from tympanoplasty, osteoplasty, tympanal sclerosis, stapes, cholesteatoma, to inner ear, cochlear implant, and some vertigo surgery like that. To a rib cartilage reconstruction for micro shear repair. So we'll show the steps of uh, sculpting and the skin pocket and you know the micro shear. Yeah, so we will use the rib cartilage reconstruction. Can yeah. kindly show how to harvest the rib how cartilage in every every step of. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. So we'll see this master in action. Yeah. You know, he is believed to be one of the best in the world for microtia who does same stage microtia and hearing reconstruction both. both Otherwise, people stage, do yeah. not do. And we are ready to watch him live on 6th of September. Yeah. We'll yeah. have three parallel OTs, of course, going and, you know, we'll be going... Clipping yeah, in three different the theaters. This will be telecasted from three different theaters. From Ashim and Ashim. So the the and most interesting parts of each surgery will be brought to you. Yes, yes. So that we can show uh, almost all cases. Then I recently showed a post of picture of Ashish cells in my Russia case. I couldn't believe that the patient was having any kind of defect deformity before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes. We only show the good ones, no? That's the good part of social media. You can hide no. your complication and only show that no. you've got. <laughs> no, no, sir, you are, no, no, you, sir, you are amazing, sir. Really. Yeah. The live surgery is what makes the, you know, the honest yes. expression. Yes, sir. Yeah. So we'll show that. Yeah. And if possible, we have requested Ashim to show, uh, to give a small talk on tympanosclerosis. The way. He does it. I think it's very important. I don't think we got a chance too much to discuss tympanal sclerosis. Uh, in yes, we would like to know more and more on tympanal sclerosis from him. Yeah. Yes, so really we are all set. You guys should do creating of the new incus. That's something which Ashim will show you. Like How it. it is prepared for a second stage stepidotomy. We are all set. That is our uh, navigation system for us yeah. whenever needed. Okay, Satish, Ashim and others, I'm just going to take a short break. I have to go for Ganpati Visarjan. I'll come back to you in about 20 minutes. Yeah. Fine. Yeah, this is the unprepared, you know, picture of the left side of the nose. Suction. And this is the lesion. Are you getting the picture? Yes, sir. Very clear. So, first of all, section. Yes. I will quickly remove this. Yeah, fine, huh? Luminal component. See this? Yes, sir. No point in wasting time in this. If you go faster, there will be overall less bleeding. The See some surgery cell placed. Looks like something like surgery cell or something. I am not taking biopsy from here. Not expecting anything, you know. More from here, which can be useful. Okay, section one there, huh? Money, money. Wash, wash. Section beach, my remedy. Okay. See, such a funny lesion. Yes, sir. Such a funny lesion. Use one. I don't know what it is.
so this luminal component has to be dealt with like this there is no other way yes sir get it fast So I am exposing at the middle meters region 40 to segregate the rest of the component from the sinus component. Come later. Wash, better wash. Yeah, wash, wash, wash. See, this is, uh, I can see certain landmarks coming into picture. We'll come later. The bulla there, the, this is the middle turbinate, this is the bulla ethmodialis. This is the secretion in the frontal, you know. You saw the opacification in the frontal and that is what this secretion was. Yes, sir. These are all retained secretion because of the blockage of the ventilation and drainage of the sinus. I am improving the visualization. By means of cobulator. This is my unseen it. Yes, sir. No. Now. See, I want to segregate this luminal component from the sinus component here. Well, just a pack for a while. Back for a while. Hold this. Dusra de. Give me a different one. Just I'm changing the divider. Yes. And in a minute's time, I'll be able to segregate this luminal component from the sinus one. Watch. Watch. Wash. See some attachment on unseen it here. There is definite attachment on the unseen it. And now this luminal component has to be disarticulated from the sinus component. See this segregated? Yes, sir. See now completely segregated. Yes, sir. And we know this one is a huge one behind. I may not be able to get it from here. We will get it from behind. Yes, sir. 
from the oral cavity pack the bada and mouth opener one more pack see now the things will be much easier for us you have ample of space now to work with our equipments inside the nose and we can deal with rest of the component much better yes ajay next under karo dekh mere ko de for say the fuse yes sir Mm. Very very necrotic. You the. You the the big one. This is the tumor holding for self. Not complete. You can imagine how big it is. hello yes sir see this kind of a material see how this patient was suffering with obstruction yes, it was sir. hanging down in the oropharynx literally Two pack. Eh? Now we'll focus on the lateral part. Lateral part. Of lateral. Yeah. Wash too. कर दिया करना. Straight up. Now this is the picture of the nose after that. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Remove secretion. Okay. So now things are in control. Hmm. See, just to improve the surface. Okay, give me the brighter first. Forty. See, this is the lesion coming out of the from the lateral side. I hope the picture is good. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. How the picture good. overall? The picture, picture is good. good. Slightly blurring in between, but otherwise good. Blurring. See now, I am going in the maxillary sinus now. Yes, sir. See the mucosa. Yes, sir. Looks good. There's a lot of necrotic component into it. I could see the attachment over here. Can you see? Yes, sir.
Wash. I am with the seventy degree now. Seventy. Hello. Yes, yes sir. My God. I can see the mucosal surface behind. Wash. Can you see the mucosal surface behind? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The surface is looking good. And here. I'm looking for the appropriate area area to take a biopsy bio The can this necrotic area also can give up here against a malignancy on MRI? Not really. This is all necrotic. Yes. You know, necrotic components show lack of enhancement. Okay. Bada de na yar, kuch lag sude. See, this is all necrotic component. That's why it was not enhancing. Enhancing. Hold this. Yes. Hold this. Yes. Yes. Hold. Entire component is necrotic. Necrotic. Yes, sir. Yes. Very funny. Yes. Cold, cold. What I want to see is behind. Yes. See the collection. Yes, sir. And this collection also is showing the restriction. This also shows diffusion restriction. Yeah, yeah. Let me pull it, pull it, pull it. It is coming. Someone's mic is on, sir. I think. So it is coming out easily. Yes, sir. I may not have to do anything else. It looks benign, boss. Looks benign. It is quite almost completely necrotic. See this? Yes. Yeah, can we do an anterior canine force approach just to see from the yeah. anterior? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will. I will. In case required, a second port rather than doing the dankers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will prefer Yo, to do that. That will be a good idea. That will give yeah, a three sixty yeah. view all around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always. This is certainly so far not requiring any dankers or anything. Very proud. Mucosa looks healthy. Quite Very good. Quite good. Quite good. This is a surprisingly necrotic lesion. Mucosa looks healthy, boss. Yeah. 
there was a lot of collection behind the purulent collection sort of abscess behind what do the debride debride and that gives the restriction see nasal masses are so funny yes sir you cannot be 100% sure unless you have a stopath Yeah, take the biopsy. See such a smooth surface with completely necros material. You know? Yes, sir. I think it doesn't even need anterior canine fossa approach. A seventy degree. Yes, yes. What the anterior component? See, there is anterior component. Yes, sir. Yes. And we don't have a good access from this side. This part, I will do a mega middle meter line across to me. And see this area. Wonderful, sir. Was some sort of attachment, which I have removed. Don't want to take a chance. See this? Yes, sir. This it is coming from anterior part. This. Yes, oh. yes. So it has come out completely. Come out completely. Yes, sir. Looking. There is attachment anteriorly. Yes, sir. We are. No more. No more. For sure. So this is this is the view with a seventy yeah. degree. Wonderful. Okay. And I am putting my this for self. Satish. Yes. Any time you do you use ninety degree telescope? Pardon? Any time do you use ninety degree telescope to see inside maxillary sinus? Ninety degree. Yes, telescope. Not really. I used that, you know, rotatable telescope earlier. Okay. Which is from, you know, ten degree to one twenty degree. But source have ninety degree blue color. Uh, not really. Not. Okay. But there's no, you know, additional advantage of over seventy degree. Seventy, you can by rotating the scope, you can make it ninety degree. Okay. Yes. okay. I can make. Seventy degree, one twenty degree, one by changing a rotation. Okay. Yes. Out. Now this part. See, it looks like a in DD an infected AC polyp. Could it be anybody? Could be could it be an angiomatous polyp or infected AC polyp? Yes, it can be. Can it can be because it doesn't look like as a papilloma here, inverted yeah. papilloma. Now see well. this part. This part we have to remove again, again. completely, and it is not. See, in spite of the wide opening. It is not so easily accessible. Wide opening, seventy degree, still. So what? Let me show you something, some other approach. Can I Hosa? For everyone, even in the polyps or anything, whenever you find difficulty, see where to do and how to do. See, this is the canine Hosa sublabial. Yes, sir. Hello. Go in yes, the yes. mid pupillary line. 
लेट मी शो यू उसको कर उठा कैन यू सी द पीपल यस दिस इज 70 डिग्री दिस पीपल ये अब यहां पर स्टे इन द मिड पीपिलरी लाइन a centimeter above the gingival buccal sulcus utha naresh sab kuch hai dimag tod stay in the mid pupillary line mid pupillary line a centimeter above the gingival buccal sulcus hold it hold it this is the site so we are not getting the picture Pardon? So we are not getting the picture properly. We are not. The camera is moving to. Camera लगा ना. See, I am in the maxillary sinus. दिखा था ना यार. क्या कर रहे हैं? See, this is my point. Can you see? Yes, yes sir. Now we can. A centimeter above the, uh, you know, gingival buccal sulcus in the mid pupillary line. And see from inside now. Where I am? Can you see? Yes, yes. sir. Yes. I am right in the so maxillary is, sinus. So, so this is trocar. Now, which instrument you have? Now I will not use the trocar or cannula. Anything? Remove, remove the cannula, including cannula. So the. See now, my. The brighter coming from here, wash. कर दे यार. Yeah, yes, sir. Now we can see. Wonderful. अच्छा नहीं करो. Wash, अच्छा नहीं wash. See now my brighter coming from here, and now with the seventy degree vision. कर दिया आई विल पुट द द डिब्राइडर गॉट क्लॉक्ड आई विल पुट दैट अगेन लेना चाहिए ना See now in the maxillary sinus. That was one of the site of attachment. Can you roll? One of the sites of attachment over here. and we have to ensure that everywhere see this blade can rotate this is red 40 and can rotate into every nook and corner of the maxillary sinus with much ease see the ease the blade is spoiled because of this oozing here the telescope see the maxillary sinus completely now yes yes complete let me uh, you know get this oozing under control and see everything under vision 
everything under vision just two minutes see this oozing was spoiling the telescope yes sir that oozing see the oozing was spoiling yes one more one more ye the third wala bada now i will see into the maxillary sinus once again wash wash still yeah touch touch hmm hmm this was spoiling the telescope again and again yes go no it is much better that was the huge nasopharyngeal component this patient had now it is done now what i will do i will use this suction cautery from the canine fossa can you see this yes yes Hello? yes yes seen and see now what i am doing coagulate coagulate so so this पहले क्यों नहीं नाउ सॉरी यस नाउ पानी डाल दिया यस 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 this is a beautiful demonstration of how you can put your instrument from the canine fossa and use them efficiently very nice this is that. this opening is just 4 mm sir yeah very fun we used to do it lot earlier but nowadays somehow i have stopped it doesn't lead to any we started now again after seeing your it doesn't lead to any problems later on any problem very simple yeah. wash now give me just there is nothing i have we visited this i don't again. see any any problematic pathology here mm -hmm. it's a simple situation necrotic surprisingly necrotic the patient presented with bleeding with the huge of features and but that restriction was because of the necrosis mm -hmm. that is another feature uh or the sick uh, the necrosis to one diffusion 
वॉश करके पैक कर देना विल वॉश इट एंड पैक इट डो वी सेंड फॉर इंस्टो पैथोलॉजी बट आई डोंट एक्सपेक्ट एनीथिंग बैड ऑन इंस्टो पैथोलॉजी फॉर दिस पेशेंट मीकोस एंड एवरीथिंग इज लुकिंग नॉर्मल एग्रीड एग्रीड सो दैट्स अ कंप्लीट पिक्चर ऑफ द मैक्सिलरी साइनस फ्रॉम इनसाइड पैक कर देना पैक इट सो लेट्स मूव टू द अनदर केस yes directly directly yeah. i have already discussed the yet yeah, okay. can of that patient yes that is a so you quickly the mri and the ct that was the lesion and uh, here fortunately we have a good uh, confirm biopsy in nasal masses this is the biggest problem of not knowing the histopathology you can predict most of the time See, this is the patient now which we are uh, taking up with this kind of a expansile lesion with scalloping margins and calcification inside, and right from the again from the anterior nares to the nasopharynx. Completely, this is all secretions all around, which is because of the blockage of the sinuses. There is nothing in the critical area. See blockage in the frontal recess. Here the frontal recess. blockage towards about the lesion at the skull base blockage all around the periphery in the maxillary sinus orbit everything intact just pushing the uh, you know septum opposite side which should be i hope a straight forward situation i don't know how much bleeding it is going to give but um, it should be a good straight forward situation anything any question udbhav or any no sir no, sir jota dr john shadows saying that he is being following you all the time on youtube and he is highly mesmerized with all your surgeries wow and Thank same you, dr talat dr oli many people are appreciating sir wonderful reception sir what to do about the canine fossa opening anything we need to do that opening that we make or it will heal itself see that is a puncture in the mucosa it seals on its own in a day or two okay you don't have to do anything let it fall back it seals on its own it doesn't give any you know complication this form complication so through this opening we made with a trochar and cannula you can directly put your debrider 40 let 43 through it and you can summer salt the entire debrider inside the maxillary sinus to reach everywhere you can reach 360 degree into maxillary sinus with a visualization from 70 degree through the nose the, and the debrider nice. coming from the canine fossa you can have a good 360 access in the maxillary sinus for so next is ready i'll is a fresh lena fresh lena जरूरत नहीं नेक्स्ट में हेलो 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 यस बॉस 
we can hear you हेलो या सतीश सैफ अली मैं मीटिंग में हूँ तुम बार बार कॉल कर रहे हो मैं बोल रहा हूँ मैं मीटिंग में हूँ तुम बार बार कॉल पे कॉल किए जा रहे हो क्या हुआ बताओ बॉस यस सतीश आर यू गेटिंग द पिक्चर या वी गॉट द पिक्चर नाउ एंडोस्कोपिक एंडोस्कोपिक दिस वाज द पैकिंग इन प्लेस या द पेशेंट हैड अ ब्लीडिंग राइट See some secondary infection, bleeding, and this kind of a lesion. Yeah. Is is it a Vaseline pack? Pardon? Is it a Vaseline? Oh, an ointment pack. Ointment pack. Simple ointment pack. Give it. And see this um lesions with calcification in it. Right. expensive lesion this is i believe to be a straight forward situation yes see this this is inherent calcification inside wow okay this is to give an idea the kind of variety of nasal masses which can present with bleeding right there are n numbers of we will show later some more varieties see this yes i don't know how the vascularity comes to them so much would you consider using a coblator to kind of truncate the mass yeah, well, i am not using coblator for the fear of ruining the vein because of calcification okay i will truncate with the divider only boss let it be little bit of the oozing
See how important is suction backup. Yes. The debrider should not get blocked so frequently. Your suction is amazing, yes. boss. You are using central suction or, or there is some particular suction you are using? This is a high power tailor made suction. Not presently. I we have a central also. See, this is one of the attachment there. Yeah. So, so what is the power of this section, which you have tailor made? One point five HP. One point five HP. <laughs> Will you take more mass for biopsy? Yes, now. Now from inside I will take. Okay. Code lock code. Lock spray. Suction. Suction wash. Wash this. Did Halkan? Yeah. See this? Wow. Yes, a huge pump. Huge. I think it is out. <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah. बहुत देख रहे थे अगर मैं धीरे क्यों हल्का हल्का डेट इज़ अन इज़ोफेरिक्स बिहाइंड यस सर Now another pull. Was it a previously operated patient? What is that? Was it a previously operated? Pardon, boss. Can you repeat? He is asking if it was previously operated. Not biopsy was taken because I can see a very large M M A. Yeah, it is because of this mass lesion. Okay. Because of its expensive nature, we saw on the scan. That is simply because of its expensive nature. See this. I am trying to pull out as a whole, but it is friable. It breaks. देख रहे हो यार? ये क्या है? ये देख. Again, a huge one. I want to remove it as a whole for the pull. May come, may come, may come, may come. अरे इसको बंद करो थिंक समवेयर अटैच ओवर हियर ये दैट नाउ now now give me 
Was it a nasolacrimal duct? Can you see the NLD? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God, unbelievable. Unbelievable. So somewhere it is attached to the NLD. Later, I will use 70 degree after just cobbling this surface. See, the NLD was out, the lesion was attached to NLD. So are you going to uh, cut the nasolacrimal duct flush? Yes, that is what we are doing now. Yeah. It should not be hanging like this. Not be hanging, otherwise it will stenose. Cowdle. See now. This will be much fixed above now. See this? Yes. See the duct, 70. Now, a little bit component of some collection or whatever inside. That's it. Clean camera. In this case, considering the attachment to the mucosa of the inferior turbinate, will you be cutting or removing all of that bone? Yeah, it, it looks fine now. Okay. I removed with the last part where the NLD was there, no? Yeah, yeah. Cobbler. Give it up. Now some see so funny lesion. This is just secretion. Yeah. This is with 70 degree. Correct. Yes, sir. Next. Satish? Yes? Will you drill the bone? I don't feel like what this is a... Let me see. I will mop the entire surface. Okay. A lot of irregularities on the bone. Yes, yes. I can see. But looking at the histology, this doesn't warrant. There's a very, very, you know, slow growing safe tumor, benign tumor. But yes, this patchy destruction of the bone I can see. Yeah, I will see in case uh, I feel like. No. no.
ये लगा दे, ये लगा दे। दे 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 द Only this area with some bony projection. See that? Yes. More than sixty only. This particular area is little bit of the bony projection, which is not looking nice. Hmm? Yes. And when this much of the excess we have, it will it won't take more than two minutes to drill away that. Why to take a chance? Yes. See mopping, mopping. <coughs> wash. Give me, me. Go there. Wash. Section girl. Now I'll give a thorough wash to the inside of the maxillary sinus. <laughs> See this bony projection. Yes, yes, we can make out. Yeah, that is the only area which is not looking good. Rest of the things are fine. एक मिनट एक मिनट रुक जाए आपको मैं एक मिनट मेरे को आरपीएम चेंज करने दो कैन यू चेंज तू ट्वेल्थ थाउजेंड यस सो आई एम यूजिंग एन एंगल ड्रिल Hello. Hello. Yes, yes, we yeah. can see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is a. Uh, we have two options. I do to use this sixty degree angle drill. If it doesn't work out, funny. You you can go through the canine fossa also. Yes. Then our option is to go through the canine fossa. This drill being used as a. Twelve thousand RPM. That is certainly a hyperosteosis of the bone here. No doubt about it. Why dal? Next day will be. Give me wash. Better I should go by canine fossa. Yes, yes, that that should be better. Drill, drill there. Hello. Yes, show with all this webinar people were asking for canine fossa approach. Now we are back to back to canine fossa approach. So in the mid pupillary line, where the anterior wall of the maxilla is supposed to be the thinnest one, see on a slightest, you don't need a pressure. It is in. That is the area where the. What are they now? Anterior wall of the maxilla is thinnest. Yes. Now see this. Can I enforce the opening? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. See this. And yes. now we will come with a instrument from that side.
Good. Section, section, do. Jan do ya. See now the ease. Why not? Darvana. See, I am my bird is coming. From the canine fossa. Anirul. See now the bone is good. Yes, yes, bo uh, job done. This ease would not come without the canine fossa. So whenever you feel like, don't think twice. Section, code section, long code. Wash. Now we'll give it a complete wash. Let me show you. Section. Now the final picture I am going to show you. See the bad bone. Yes, sir. And now what lastly I'm going to do is can you see this mucosa? Yes. 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 Uh, Not looking good. Unhealthy mucosa. Yeah, yeah. Well. This is a patla. I have to remove this mucosa and cauterize it as well. Doesn't look yes, nice. Sir. See, it's just close to the canine fossa opening. Very nice, sir. Yes, now. So many people were waiting to see this and now they have seen back to back two cases. So people will be very happy. See now the surface is good. Yes. Yes, sir. Absolutely fine now. Now wash. Now the final picture. See this. This is real area. Beautiful, beautiful. Some axillary sinus. Mm -hmm. And now the bone is looking very healthy. Everything is looking good. Dr. Ila Sami, you do a lot of axillary sinus work. You have published. Yes, thank you. Thank anything, you. anything else you do? For this case, I think this is the best for this case. Great. So finally, Ayla Sami is a YouTube star. <laughs> sir, yeah, YouTube is, sir, we have been following Ahila sir since so many years. Thank you, Dad. See, this is the retained secretion above in the recess. The packets of secretions are coming from everywhere. Yeah, yeah, they will come. You don't need to do anything. And sir, I think Ahila sir was exclusively rhinology surgeon for 10 years. I think, sir, I've heard you saying somewhere. Like for 10 years, you get only rhinology work. <laughs> mostly, mostly. mostly. Now, lastly, mopping of the sinus to see. Mopping with suction. 
this gives you a very good picture after that see that yes sir wonderful so wash karke pack kar deta hu we'll just wash it for a minute and pack it good enough Then the take home message is that everything has to be seen, and then we have to go about it. Such. That's it. That's it. That's it. So this mopping gives you a very good picture inside. Inside. If something more is required to be done, there was a oozer which we have cobbled, uh, cauterized, and that is a full blown picture of the maxillary sinus now. Satish, so will you leave any pack inside the sinus and then will you yeah, take yeah. it out after two three days? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll remove it tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tonight we will keep definitely. Satish, just show the infraorbital nerve for the beginners. Infraorbital now, yes. Guru, yeah. In the roof, uh, we have been seeing in our previous courses this projection, this bulge. Yes, yes. that in the roof is the infraorbital now we yes, have seen it nice. this is the entire course of the v2 which continues as the infraorbital pack kar dena hmm so this was about this situation all funny situations there are variety of such uh, you know nasal masses it come in our practice we come across and uh, the next one hello yes 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 so next one is a interesting one in the sense as i as we mentioned in the invite that some regular fest cases it's always been a pressure yes, to keep the basic cases so like this time again some sinus cases this lady are you getting the picture yes we are getting the ct picture okay if i show you this ct scan from the beginning one can easily miss what is great in this one can easily miss what is great in this see the left sided frontal sinusitis can you see yes yes left sided frontal sinusitis as you come behind this is the frontal drainage pathway and as you go behind now see until now there was nothing in the drainage pathway was a cell can you see this yes yes in the posterior part of the frontal recess a cell is appearing in the anterior part there was nothing it could be a frontal bullar cell yes so that is what in the anterior part there are certain group of cells which narrow your frontal recess outflow like we always been seeing to mark plate par rakha hai ki yahan rakha hai ki kya hai tum jo hai pata nahi kin kaam mein lage padega you see on the sandeep so phone is on, on somebody is speaking from there this is, is agane ji on the opposite side the anterior cell is agane ji yes yes but as you go posteriorly this cell is appearing let me show on other uh, window settings better one yes this could be a better one see this cell i hope it is visible this cell yes 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 so there are anterior group of cells like agarneji frontal cell type 1 frontal cell type 2 type 3 type 4 we have seen all variety of frontal cells in our webinar then there are posterior group of cells we have seen a couple of them like supra orbital cell we have seen couple of times and the next one most interesting is the frontobullar cell see this 
the yes. bulla ethmoidal is extending into the frontal recess sometime in the frontal sinus now what is the difference what why we need to be so concerned about it you know why we are so concerned about it the reason is the anterior group of cells you can go behind and fracture them out anteriorly but these posterior group of cells which are attached to the skull base you can't afford to go behind and fracture them you will be right into the skull base damage to that so this let me show in 3d this is the cell on x coronal can you see this yes yes sir yes yes and where is this cell in the sagittal sagittal differentiates whether it is anterior cell or posterior cell see this cell can yes. you see this yes sir yes sir. had there been anterior cell any type 1 2 3 4 frontal organ ag we can go behind and fracture them out easily wonderful sir yes in this cell if you try to go behind try to go behind you will breach the skull base skull base so see now how it has narrowed the frontal outflow yes we can't go behind this cell we are coming from anterior we have to go on to the wall of the cell and open it got my point yes very very clear that is the basic difference and how the sagittal scan clearly differentiate from the anterior group of cells to the posterior group of cells is that very clear very clear sir this is a frontal bullar cell and the treatment of this cell can be done best when you know it now we know it we will never go behind this cell we'll come with an, with our endoscope from here we'll go into the anterior wall of the cell and then we'll open it and flush with the skull base yes sir so when we open it and remove this wall and flush with the skull base our frontal outflow will be completely widened widened that is why as a variety i kept this case in the webinar no. No, no, sir. In already seven eight first cases, but this has something different, so we kept it. Okay, now Mr. Devila. So this uh, in this situation, your navigation system can be very useful. Navigation system has a biggest role in frontal sinus pathologies, difficult frontal sinus pathologies, in revision situations when there is a lot of. scarring and difficult to identify the structures navigation is useful and here navigation is a huge role by locating this cell on navigation and then open it from front yes, if sir. you are if you are not in place and open something else can be a disaster so this is the cell here this is the cell here and this is the cell there you can see in both planes can you yes sir Sir, is there any supraorbital supra orbital cell in this case? Yes. How can you identify supraorbital? I mentioned in the last webinar, if you remember. Yes, sir. See, if you come from anteriorly, this is your nasal bone. Yes. Go behind. This is your beak. Yes. Beak is forming the floor of the frontal sinus. You can see. Yes, sir. This is what we remove in the drafts. remove the beak and frontal will open directly in the nasal cavity right marsupializing yes, now sir. as you go behind the frontal is not draining because the beak is there in the floor where do the frontal sinus drain see yeah. this in the sagittal where the beak ends ends see now i am going behind see now i am going behind going behind and now the beak is completely gone gone See that? Yes, and sir. This is the frontal outflow starting. Yes. So this is frontal sinus outflow starting from behind where the beak ends. That's the posterior most part of the frontal sinus. You see in sagittal, from anterior to posterior, this is the posterior most part where the frontal sinus drains through. Yes, sir. And this is the beginning of the frontal recess. Now, see in the center what is coming up. this is the cribriform plate coming yes now the frontal sinus has ended and the cribriform which form the roof of the ethmoid 
it's begun. Can yes. you see very clear? Yes, sir. Yes. When the cribriform has begun, your frontal sinus is over. Over. You have left anteriorly the frontal sinus. Now you are behind the frontal sinus. And what is there behind the frontal sinus? There are two structures looking like frontal sinus. Can you see this? Yes, sir. Yes. These are above the orbit. This is orbit. Yes. This pneumatization is going far laterally above the orbit. This is known as supraorbital cell. Very clearly shown, sir. Thank you. Very yes. clear. See, yes, so yes. far behind where the cribriform has started, where the maxillary sinus has come in view, frontal is left far anteriorly. See the frontal sinus. Yes, sir. If I draw a line from anterior to posterior, we are far behind the frontal now. Yes. And what you see here is the frontobular cell, and that is going to the supraorbital recess, narrowing the axis of the frontal outflow. That is a classical example of a frontobular cell. One can see. Very sir, clear. So taking this cell out will open both frontal sinus as well as supraorbital. Yes, cell. Completely, completely. Completely. That is our goal. Goal. Rest in this patient. There is hardly anything. There is a simple. See, the opposite side is normal, unilateral disease. Yes. That the maxillary sinus, the ethmoids are opacified. Nothing. Uh, I mean, uh, significant anatomy. Some, uh, you know, osteitis there. There is a postethmoidal roof. And uh, sphenoid sinus with a septation looking like a uh, onodi cell. And there is a unilateral disease. Yes, sir. In all unilateral cases, you have to be suspicious of fungal disease. You have to be suspicious of fungal disease always. Yes, sir. Let me show if there is some fungus or not. So on plain CT only way to know fungus is there or not is hyper and hyper dense shadows. Yes. Otherwise we cannot identify on plain CT. Yeah, it is always uh, better to be seen on soft tissue window setting. Okay, okay. Then you can differentiate uh, between the soft tissues. Yes. Bone window setting you may not. Why it is not opening? See, this is soft tissue window setting. Yes. Let it open. See, see how many files there? Eight hundred and nineteen remaining. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. This is point seven mm. 1.5 mm, 1 mm. I'm just exploring the soft tissue window to rule out any fungal disease. Though it is not going to make any difference. There's a plain sinusitis. Navigation ready? Yeah. Oh, next. Sir, I feel in the air. Picture, you, you will be getting many head and neck radiology fellow who are doing radiology in head and neck will be coming to learn <laughs> this art. Oh. See some hyper, hyper densities I can see inside the maxillary sinus. You can see. Yes, sir. I am not sure this is classical of uh, AFRS or not, but there is definitely something. In a unilateral disease, we always suspect. Yes, it looks like fungus inside. Can you see? Yes, sir. Now we can see. Yes. Last time we saw three massive fungus cases. Yes. See this hyperdensity. Can you see this? Yes, yes. This is definitely fungus. So this is again going to be AFRS. The next case again is a uh, fungus with a, a visual disturbances, unilateral disease. Okay, next is the intersinus septal cell. Okay. And this is definitely fungus. Fungus even in the, you know, onodi cell. Onodi cell. Yes, fungus everywhere. 
this small lateral recess as well and see this uh, in the ethmoids this is all uh, fungal disease and the polyps coming out fungus everywhere so this is a clear cut case of a fungal disease and this is a unilateral case hope to be um uh, getting over soon yes sir So this is 20 minutes of I believe. I will check the accuracy. I will check the accuracy. Yeah. Not moving. Hmm. They are putting just on a camera, or at least any video. Now we are getting only black. On the screen. Okay. In a minute's time, we are starting. Yes. Still no picture. Yeah. Now ready. Yes, no? Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Are you getting the picture? Yes, sir. Very clear. Yes, yes. Getting it. Very clear. And see what is this fungus. fungus yeah can you uh, focus on the ajay can you focus yes, on the navigation screen yes now we are getting screen Okay, give me the navigation probe. Okay, later. Okay, give me zero straight. Hello. So yes, we'll sir. start with the development of the polyp. Uh, yeah, hello. We have not placed any, you know, topical solution. This is our first preparation. We rely mostly on the pulse. and the pre op preparation never inject never inject in the nose for anything sinusitis or non sinusitis just topical this is a preparation with the adrenaline soaked marrow cell let us start straight away See, this is almost without preparation. See, lot of polyps. Polyps are the terminate as well. Yes, sir. And some polyps medial to the terminate also. See this? Yes, sir. But sir, as soon as we start with the bridal, it looks like someone has fast forwarded the video and is moving very fast. So the bridal sex polyp so fast. Yeah, I will go fast without wasting time here. On see the fungus. 
yes we have seen the basic steps of sinus surgery couple of times yeah can you show me the yes yes section rakhna now can you focus on the navigation screen please section that hello yes sir are you getting the navigation screen we are getting it see now like i am on the septum you seen all three planes i am at the axilla can you yes. see yes see everywhere the frontal process of axilla yes sir that this looks like the part of the bulla the medial yes. orbital wall this looks like medial orbital wall see the accuracy excellent sir this is inferior turbinate let me show oh, that's not hard now this is inferior turbinate see the inferior turbinate on the axial yes, yes sir so the navigation should be accurate and i am so you know dependent on this sometime when we use the metronic navigation system this amazing this is electromagnetic system the other one comes is with the camera system this is more versatile as it has a fusion ability see every time after every step wash and mop with the same adrenaline shock marrow cell see this yes sir the picture is good very good this is uh, we started almost without preparation so can you enlarge the picture now uh, the previous one hmm. change to the camera yes sir now it's fine now now looking to the various landmarks you know to me this looks like your uncinate process see this is compressed yes sir see this that is uncinate process which is compressed because of the polyp mass can you see yes yes see how it distorts the picture the polyps can easily distort the anatomy yes sir you have to be careful so you have many time explain the only mobile structure in the lateral wall is yeah see how mobile it is yes sir we picked up this is the bone of the ancinate yes yes and see behind is going to be the that is the horizontal part of the ancinate ancinate and that is the interior of the maxillary sinus see yes. that a lot of fungus inside yes sir some mucosal edema Sir, got a Prakash Munga wants to know in which cases navigation is must. It's very useful. I can't say must. That I can't comment, but yes, it is definitely useful. Useful. because it orients you better to a difficult anatomy you can make sure if you are in doubt that whether you are going correct or not this looks like to me is a atrophic bulla bulla yes sir because once there is massive polyposis everything is compressed find out 
I am not going the traditional way we do every time. We are focusing on the cell, which is our target yes. to demonstrate. So in our last webinar, after we finished the webinar, I slept. Even in my dreams, I saw you operating a case. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Just something stuck. See, this is a middle metal and trust me. Yes, sir. I will see inside later with a seventy degree. Give me, give me a wash. Cold. Yes. This is to flush out if there is any fungus inside. Just sedimentous mucosa need not to be disturbed for that matter. Yes. yes. Sedimentous mucosa is bound to come back to the normal once you establish the ventilation and drainage. quickly i am just enlarging my space yes sir to go up here see this is lemana papyracea you can see now yes 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 this is you know your turbinate here can you see yes i am still with a zero degree i am at the axilla See, this is your frontal process of the axilla. Opening up the axilla to the fullest. Whenever there is fungus, the fungus itself creates the path for you. Many a time. Now I will take 70 degree and show you where we are. Yes. With the navigation. I don't want to catch the mucosa. Wash, wash, suction. See that? Yes, sir. Fungus. Now, let me have a 70 degree. Can you see the frontal? Yes, sir. This is your cell. See behind. See, this is your cell. Yes. This cell. This is your frontal sinus. Give me the probe. Navigation. Navigation view, please. So this is the frontal bullet cell only, na? which you are showing now. This is your frontal. Frontal and the behind is, yes. Can you see very clear the frontal? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Right. Yes. Now? This is your frontal sinus, very clear. Not moving. Now? And now moving. Yes. Yeah, that is your frontal sinus you can see now? Yes, we yes. can see. 
in all planes this yes. is your cell see that yes yes and that is inside the cell wonderful sir yes and behind the cell will be the cell base yes so what i will do now this is my cell i will not go behind it yes it was already dismantled so i pull the bony part see this this is to widen the frontal opening anterior posteriorly main view hmm. see how much the frontal is wider now adenoid blade yes yeah sir. adenoid blade can be useful here you are right see how much the anterior posterior widening done sir wonderful it will open up the supra orbital cell also yes this one this see one. anteriorly frontal sinus here supra yes, orbital sir. cell is behind this is behind behind As this is let me show you the space there is edematous mucosa where the supra orbital cell is going above the orbit look up look there see ball pro this is where the supra orbital cell is going see that yes yes see yes, deep inside bundle to the neck this is frontal and this is behind the frontal behind the frontal yes, yes. now give me the uh, uh, marrow cell now let me uh, decongest the mucosa lamba de patla inside the frontal there is some cobblestone appearance of the mucosa yes sir you need not to do anything for that giraffe i am using this marrow cell to mop the mucosa to decongest the mucosa see this see this yes yes marrow cell just simple marrow cell and the mucosa is decongested see the frontal wonderful sir beautiful give me the wash similarly i will decongest the supra orbital सक्षंकर अंदर जाना जी सर यस नाउ सी इंटरमीडिएंट इरिगेशन इज द बेस्ट वे टू इंप्रूव योर पिक्चर यस सर इंटरमीडिएंट इरिगेशन ऑल द टाइम that is frontal now the next goal chota de is to define your uh, supra orbital better and then rest of the frontal and the uh, model and the sphenoid sinus work quickly no 120 see little bit of the that is the skull base behind yes sir. yes yes so frontal is a wide opening now <coughs> see this is into the supra orbital cell supra orbital cell yes using 70 degree far laterally and whenever is the supra orbital cell always always i always mention immediately caudal to that is the anterior medial artery just yes, exactly give me reverse and i will show you now the anterior medial artery is staying little careful with the reverse blade yes, adenoid sir. blade 
that's why you were careful while using in this area. Pardon? So that's why you didn't use the reverse blade initially because yes. of. See now. Yes. This polypoidal, and can you see the artery in the, underneath? Yes. One, yes. Yes, sir. Beautifully seen. We can yes. see. Yes. See yes. the artery better now. Yes. Wonderful, sir. This is vessel. Vessel, vessel, yes. Yes, sir. Now see the complete clearance of the supraorbital cell. Yes, sir. See how wide the frontal opening now is. I hope it is clear. Very beautiful. Yes. yes. Beautiful. Complete widening. So this is a perfect case to understand the frontal recess anatomy. Now last five minutes for the with postsethmoid and the sphenoid to move on to the next one. State blade. That is your supraorbital cell. Yes. Completely skeletonized. That is your entrance model artery. Right there. See now better? Yes, sir. Very clear. Completely skeletonizing that. That is the entry model artery. And immediately behind. Now see. Below. Again, coming to the basics. Define the roof of maxilla. Yes. Just parallel to the roof of maxilla, that's a key landmark, maxillary line. I will enter into the postethmoid. See this? Yes. Just at the level of the maxillary line, little widen it. Stay medially, more and more medially. Define the superior turbinate. See that? Yes, sir. So this is which blade? Red zero, red forty. We are using. Pardon? So which blade? Blade. Straight, straight. Straight blade. See, dividing the lower one third of the superior turbinate. Superior turbinate. Block. And first, before doing a thoracotomy, what I am looking for? In the front sphenoid sinus ostium. That will be my guide so that I don't inadvertently, accidentally enter into the sphenoid while doing a postethmoidectomy. Yes. That is an important guide. Before, see, I have a postethmoidectomy which I can do anytime. Yes, sir. But I don't know where I can enter into the sphenoid because this is already as well. Yes. So what I will do from safety point of view, see this. This is your septum. Septum. This was your turbinate, superior turbinate. Yes. Now along, along the maxillary line, same again. And along the septum, see this, along the septum. Yes. What is this? That is the sphenoid ostium. Ostium, ostium. Okay? Yes. Once I have seen sphenoid, staying anterior to it, you can easily finish off the postethmoidectomy. The anterior limit of the postethmoidectomy is the anterior artery. Yes. Above the skull base, see this. 
laterally limit is what the lamina lamina and now without wasting time as this postgraduate is finished will widen the sphenoid and that will be done done See until the sphenoid ostium, until the sphenoid ostium, I can finish off this post-sphenoid ostium. Not beyond that at this point of time. Yes, sir. Because I may enter into the sphenoid sinus after that. Should I see the fungus? Yes. Only one tool working: micro divider. Again, this is my guide: sphenoid ostium. Yes. In any given situation, while doing ethmoidectomy, I will not go behind that. Behind it. And see, surprisingly, this fungus is behind that. Mm. See, this is phenol ostium. Yes. Until this level, I can do anything. And this My will optic be... now carotid artery are never going to come anterior to the phenol ostium. Yes, sir. That is the whole idea. This is ostium. Now, all these things. See. All these things are behind the level of the ostium. Ostium. See this here? Yes. Now I will widen the ostium. Widen. And this is onodi. The above of the fungus is going into yeah, the. This, this is onodi. See this. Yes. yes. Some mucosal, you know. Yes. This is the party wall between the sphenoid and onodi. Yes. Be careful while running your micro divider inside the sphenoid. You have to be careful. Need to know where exactly you are. And my job is going to be done now. What you do there? Wash and finish. See the maxillary sinus. See the skull base. Yes. That is the supraorbital antithmoid, postethmoidal cavity. See that? That looks like optic now here. Yes. And give me forty. See, this is full house face. Full house. The yeah, full house face, and very nicely demonstrated all the major landmarks. Yeah, I am using forty here, sir. The reason is the okay. cutting edge is towards me. Okay. So I cannot damage anything. Look there, man. See, as long as your cutting edges are away from the skull base. You are quite safe, you know. Mm. In the sphenoid, I was using it towards me. See that intersinus septum wash. Now the final wash. There was a small lateral recess as well. Nothing. There is nothing. Now what I will do? Give Mirko the wash. I will remove this marrow cell.
give me watch niche rakh just to show you the final picture the frontal above yes sir orbital antithmoid posthmoid sphenoid maxillary and this is the sphenoid in the end that's it that's it yes that is full house face very nice very good the next patient is already induced and that has a another anatomy that is intersinus septal cell which we need to know from ct scan how it is opening otherwise it can be missed yes and cause a persistent problem wash karke we'll give it a dexona wash and then close full of this बस ये इधर ही कौन सा लिया पक्का हेलो यस सर हेलो यस यस सतीश वी आर हियर सर विद यू दिस पेशेंट हैज अ बायोलैटरल पेन साइनोसाइटिस विद पॉलिप्स एंड लेट मी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हियर मोस्ट एंटीरियरली कैन यू सी समथिंग वेरी वेरी प्रोमिनेंट सेप्टा this is your floor mm. this is left sided frontal sinus right sided frontal sinus and all the way uh, equal to the frontal sinus size you know yes even bigger septal cell intersinus septal cell you can open up this sinus this sinus but this cell if remains you know untouched can lead to problems so the first thing is just quickly we'll finish up like this case quick i will show one side and what is there this cell how to find out this cell and clear this off how to find out this yeah. cell surprisingly is opening into both sinus cavities yes majority of the time intersinus cell opens in either of the frontal sinus here see this opening into the right side yes and follow this opening the drainage of the this cell see the drainage of this cell very clear yes, yes. and see the drainage of this cell over here 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 Both here side. this one this one yes yes just keep following my cursor Mm. Can you see? Yes. Sir. Yes. So, intersinus septal cell, out of all cellularity in the paranasal sinuses, you know, out of agar cell, this cell, that cell, the most anterior of all cells is the intersinus septal cell. Most anterior of all. Yes. There are n number of cellular variety you may find in paranasal sinuses. but the most anterior of all them all of them is intersinus septal cell so what we'll do this side see the maxillary sinus nasolacrimal system this is infraorbital now this is cribriform this is a supraorbital recess see the supraorbital cell yes sir so, yes yes 
Yeah, and anteriorly is the frontal sinus. See, when the frontal sinus ends, the supraorbital starts. Yes. And this is the frontal sinus. And this is the cell which is draining into this side of the sinus through this small opening. Yes. That small you can opening. pick up very well on dynamic imaging. It is opening in the opposite side as well here. And you can make out through the dynamic imaging how the cell is draining. So what we'll do? I will show one side. On this side is a disease. So we'll do the frontal. First of all, this frontal like this. This is the intersinus septal cell. And when we go behind, this is the supraorbital cell. All the three separate openings in that small region. What's my point? Yes, yes sir. In close vicinity, you will find all the three openings. On the right side as well, there is a full uh, maxillary disease, ethmoidal disease with a straightforward frontal sinus. See the frontal sinus drainage, straightforward. Yes. No complicacy. And it is normal, being aerated. So on this side, there is nothing much to demonstrate. But this side, we have, uh, you know, three important anatomy, right from anterior frontal sinus, just medially, intersinus septal cell, and just posteriorly, the supraorbital. All these three openings, you have to be careful in identification. You may be mistaken any time. Once you have a huge supraorbital cell, you may be mistaken as a frontal sinus. Or frontal sinus may be mistaken as a supraorbital cell. Sometimes it is not so big. And same with the intersinus septal cell. So I will do on this side. Maxillary and all these three cells, and behind is uh, just postethmoid and uh, as usual sphenoid, nothing great in it. But I hope what I intend to show here, yes, yes, is the close proximity of the three openings and three cavities supraorbital, intersinus septal cell, and frontal sinus. Yes. So our goal is to see this fine anatomy in this narrow area. What my point? Yes, sir. Rest I'm not going to demonstrate. We'll finish it off so that we can take the next one. Hmm? Hmm. Any questions, Udva? No, sir. Sir, Dr. Shravan from Combato is asking, if you have a fungal sinusitis in one sinus, will you do a full house face or will open only that sinus? Depending yes. upon whether it is a mycetoma, with the allergic fungal sinusitis, the anatomy of the other sinuses, if there is no anatomical abnormality predisposing problem to the other sinuses, no need to. Okay. You may see many a time, isolated maxillary, or isolated yes. sphenoid sinusitis as a fungal sinusitis. Yes, yes. And then if everything is crystal clear with no anatomical abnormality predisposing, yes. there is no point in doing. If there is some anatomical abnormality predisposing sinusitis in the other sinuses, like if you have a, you know, ethmoidal disease, you have a frontal cellularity, better to finish off rather yes. than waiting for the disease which may occur later on not because of fungus otherwise Hello, also. Aarti. battery connect kar do power bank power bank che pardon just was getting ready for the next case
Are you getting the picture? Yes, sir, we are getting it. This is a primary picture. Without what is the there? Disease. See the disease. See the massive uh, DNS. Yes. So it is always better to correct the DNS also for the access. Minimally, minimal correction for the access. You know. Yes, sir. That is important for your intraoperative course as well as post-operative irrigation point of view. Yes. See my topical preparation. No infiltration even for the septum. See the opposite side. Yes. This patient has a classical complaint of headache. Hmm. See the purulent discharge. Yes. So this is topical preparation along with the pre-operative preparation, anesthesia part, everything is important for good yes, surgical sir. field. Yes, sir. Did you give a steroid pre-operatively in all these cases? Mine large, sir. Yes. To reduce the inflammation because even because in this case, ongoing inflammation, there is a lot of edema and all these things which contributes to more bleeding intraoperatively. What is it? Oh. Even in this case, you have given. Yes, yes. Okay. This case only for uh, three days uh, we have given. Okay. See, I'm decongesting the mucosa. Simple application. If you try to pack tightly, it is counterproductive, you know. So never ever pack tightly. See, without the septal correction, we won't get good access. Can you see? How compromised is the airway? And more importantly, the access. So I will do a sort of septoplasty here, the limited one. So I will make my incision here anteriorly. I can use my, you know, Colorado needle here on. Suction. Hello. Yes, sir. I'm using my Colorado needle here for the initial incision marking, you know? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just to avoid unnecessarily bleeding in the beginning.
Is the plane? Yes. And this is without infiltration. Yes. You know, Colorado. Now I am finding the bony cartilage junction. Can you see? Yes. Yes. See this bony deviation from above, giving me high deviation. Yes. That is my target. When to the opposite side, you can see to the opposite side. Yes, yes, sir. yes. And I will punch out some first some bone to get rid of this high deviation. See, my target is this high deviation. Yes, sir. See now the excess? Yes. Wonderful, sir. Some more. Oh. So we are having spur also in this case, right? Yeah, we'll correct that as well. Yes. But my goal of this removal of the high division is for the excess. Excess. Nice. See, once this high deviation is corrected, you'll find a significant difference in the axis. Yes, sir. This is the problem. Yes. And this is quite far off from the, you know, dorsum. Yes. So don't bother. See, I'm not pulling. You have to punch out, you know? Yes. You're not supposed to pull to give a dorsal deformity.
lot of people uh, wrote us to show the endoscopic septoplasty yes sir yes sir. that's why i was asking you to show the spur correction also no yeah septoplasty with different indications now see my access yes sir now i can do my work above nicely without any issues yes now the spur what you are talking about yes yes let me show you that also in a minute Sir, I know you can do this case without the spur correction, but for the junior, it will be a nice. No, no, but it is better to correct in this case as well. Yes. Quite significant it is. See this? Yes. Otherwise, see my high deviation has gone. Gone, gone. See how it has pushed the turbinate, made it floppy. Floppy. It should be like this, you know. Yes. Give me a mirror cell. I will do a you know micro fracturing of this turbinate to give a wide axis in the middle meter. See this? Yes. How to do micro micro fracturing? Give me. See this? Sachinka. Let me show you. Yes, Sachinka. See this turbinate? Yes. I can feel the crack. Crackling sound. crack and then push your marrow cell into it for a minute yes this will bring the turbinate close to the septum and open up the middle meter like this yes very nice see the turbinate small turbinate superiorly gentle micro fracturing could you say it looks like pardon boss usually it comes back in uh, due course of time in uh, yeah it may so if you find it still floppy we'll do a wedge resection Yes. If you find floppy, you can suture it. There are many ways, you know. Now, wash, wash. Coming to the spur, wash. Yes. Yeah, wash, wash. You see that? See, you have to stay in the subperiosteal plane. Yes. Now, give me knife. See this deviated portion below. I will cut this strip all the way. There are many ways to do this. Here I am cutting this strip. Yes. There is way to preserve this strip as well. No point. Stop later, you know. Aluka, see this strip of cartilage. Yes, sir. Now we will go to opposite side. Because of the deviation on the same side, yes, and the sharp spur, I may come across a little bit of the you know here, but the opposite side should remain intact. Yes, wonderful, sir. See the tear on the same side. Yes, yes. What I will do now? Aaron, Aaron, wait a minute. See this, a separate separation of the periosteum. Separation of the periosteum of the opposite side to keep it intact. Yes. 
See now, separated intact. See completely separated. Yes, yes. Still posterior part where the deviation is. See this? Yes, sir. This is deviated portion here. See this? Yes. And the yes. opposite side completely separated. Yes. Prior to avoid any possibility of a perforation, you know. Till floor. See the opposite side. Yes, sir. So one side flap remains intact, nothing is going to happen. Yes. Because this side is expected. See this? Yes. Such a sharp angulation. Very sharp, yes, sir. My God. Anyway, give me. Every septoplast is different. Yes. Oh. Look, 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 here on the opposite side. That is not just opposite. It should not be completely opposite this side, otherwise, it may result in perforation. See this? Yes, sir. Thin bone. Leading to spur. See the thin bone leading to spur. Yes, sir. On this side. You have to be careful not to give a Perforation. Hit the sharp spur now. Yes, yes. Behind. See what a sharp spur there. Yes. That is the part of the cartilage. And finally, this is the spur that we have to get rid of. See this? Yes, sir. Helicopter. Yes. Yes. This yes. is the final piece. See the the tear should not come opposite to each other to give perforation. Nothing will happen now. Yes, sir. There's a tear on the opposite side, but it's not opposite to the yes, sir. Yes, tear of this side, so it will not. Once you put the marrow cell, it will stick. Stick. And we can remove this bone as well. Thank you, most bone. See this? Yes, yes, yes. Give me a chisel and hammer. Okay. Oh, it's big. Hmm. Hmm. See this.
That's it. Yes. That's the bony spur. Yes, yes. In the floor, and now we'll not do anything. Just leave it like that. Yes, sir. Now full access. Give me a mirror cell in the floor. This is to give a good airway as well. Yes, sir. See now, once the flap do not come opposite to each other, this uh, tear will pull them and stitch together. In the end, we'll pull them and stitch together. There will not be any perforation. You can see. See this? I will pull them and stitch together like this. Okay? Okay? Can yes, you hear me? Yes. yes. Now coming to the core issue. Wash. I kept this uh, marrow cell so that my flaps will not come my way again and again. See this marrow cell in the floor. This marrow cell will always protect this one. And our area of interest is above. Okay. So the first step, this is your uncinate. See this uncinate? Mobile structure. Confirm, use your reverse biting. Engage, turn it down, turn it down, turn it down. And this is what you see the maxilla, the secretion is coming out. See the. I told you this patient came with headache. Just widening the metal and trust me. They're full of infection. See, this is pure non polypoidal sinusitis. Bacterial sinusitis. And this is very rewarding as compared to the polypoidal one. Wash the number go the card. Just to rinse the maxillary sinus. Oh, yeah, good, yeah. That one. Patla, yeah, sir, sir. No, always the thin one. Hmm. Code. So that is a middle metal line, trust me. We can come to that later with us when we come with 70 degree. This is the upper part of the uncinate. Visible? Yes, sir. This is the upper part of the uncinate. Fracture it out anteriorly. Simple. See? It will come. And as I debride the upper part of the uncinate, the anatomy I want to see next is the medial wall of our orbit or the lateral wall of our corridor. See, that is the medial wall of the orbit. See the uncinate? Behind is your bulla. 
completely open it to the axilla this is your agarneji cell why didn't the axilla thoroughly at this point of time and then switch to 70 degree we have a very interesting anatomy in this case as we go to the frontal recently um, you know professor richard harvey described a technique carolins window to the frontal sinus See, this is done with a zero degree so far. Why didn't the exposure here? Now, go back there. I'll put a marrow cell and come with seventy degree. Uh -huh. See this. Pull it low. Is that now? Remember what we saw in CT scan: frontal sinus, supraorbital cell, and the intersinus septal cell. All three together in a this patient. No, seventy degree. Hello. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So this is now with a seventy degree. Yes. This is your bulla, keeping the bulla intact. Good brother. See now, what I need to take into consideration. What I need to take into consideration at this point of time. This is my lateral limit. This is yeah. my medial limit. Yes. And this. This is our area peak, of interest. Peak is going to be my anterior limit, and where the peak ends. See this. That is going to be the frontal where I can see the pus pouring out. Let me open it first. See that? So simple. Yes. <laughs> I have my lateral limit in view. Here it is. I have my medial limit terminate in view, and this is my beak. Where the beak ends, we saw in the CT scan. Every time, it has to be frontal sinus. Okay. Yes. So this is number one, my frontal sinus. See that? Yes, clear. Now, this is opening number one. Okay. Can you see the opening number one? Yes, yes. No, what they were doing right now, coming medially and anteriorly. See this. Yes. Medially and anteriorly. Can you see the opening number two? Intraseptal frontal sinus cell. Two. Medially. Yes. 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 What is that? Intraseptal. Intersinus septal cell. Sinus septal. I could see it is opening here. Into it. Now still. one more opening which is you know need to be seen so that the frontal sinus you know drainage pathway doesn't compromise this is two okay now we all know the supraorbital cell is always a posterior anatomy okay yes this is frontal sinus 
See now. If I go posterior to the frontal sinus, let me first clean these two openings for you. These two openings, very clear? Yes, two openings clear. Now the third one. I have to widen. Let me clean them. Irrigate. Marrow cell. Reverse. Give me reverse now. See, had we not done the septoplasty, we would not have this access to work with 70 degree in the presence of the high deviation like this. See the access we got. Yes. See, as we corrected the high deviation, septum got straight and above. Can you see? Yes, yes. Wonderful. This would not have been possible without that septal correction. High deviation. So once you have to work in the frontal, see the two openings. Very now, clear. coming with the reverse one. Back. Because we know the supraorbital cell is a posterior opening, you know. I am coming posteriorly. See this third opening now behind. Yes. Can you see that behind yes. going out yes. and above? Yes. yes, very clear. That is super obvious. Now, how can see these two openings narrow the frontal outflow? One from medially, one from laterally. And the treatment is remove the party wall. I have already removed the party wall partly between the intersinus septal cell and the frontal. Now I'm removing the party wall. I'm removing the party wall between the frontal and the yeah. supraorbital. See that the bone I've removed. See wide. Very wide. See easily all the three openings. There should not be any confusion. Could you please define again the Carolis uh, window uh, of Dr. William Harvey? Okay. Um, uh, I should this is Caroline's window. I will, before I, will, I will show in yeah. one of the cases to simplify it. But yeah, my large work is that. Come with a zero degree. What he says. People, people want to see it actually. Come, come with a zero degree. Yeah. Remove this, cauterize this mucosa. Cauterize this mucosa of a triangular zone above the axilla, like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remove this mucosa and with zero degree, drill away this bone. Yes. Drill away this bone, partly the beak to enter into the frontal directly. He wants to drill this bone, this, this, where my suction is. Yes, 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 yes. Still here. So you can do the frontal sinus work with Without. a 30 degree or so. Yes, yes. See now all the three openings. I hope it is clear. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Now where is the anterior artery for that matter? There are two landmarks. I have mentioned a couple of times. Number one, immediately caudal to the supraorbital. Okay, and second landmark is behind the Buddha. Okay, with the 70 yes. degree, let me go behind the Buddha and fracture it out anteriorly. See this? And this should open 
the skull base above where the anteroethmoidal artery runs. See, every sinus case, if some different, different cell, we must be able to diagnose it and we must be able to follow it. That is the whole game behind showing the variations. Now, see, I'm opening the skull base. See, the purulent discharge. Mm. This is anteriorly, see the supraorbital cell? Yes, yes. And that is the anteriorethmoidal artery behind that. What if you would have opened up bulla before, it's um, uh, more before going into the supraorbital cell? Bulla? If you would have opened uh, bulla before before going to uh, the supraorbital, supraorbital cell, cell, sir. Supraorbital cell, once you, you know, is an anatomy immediately behind the frontal sinus for that matter number one yeah and it narrows the frontal sinus from behind so it's always be respected in relation to the frontal sinus see the entry model artery yeah yeah very clear once i remove the bulla see artery artery how it was protected by bulla yeah, this technique was then... initially popularized by none other than dr sethi sethi yeah Intact bulla technique. See this? Now give me the reverse and skeletonize the vessel like we did in the last case. See the vessel there? Yes. yes. How, what you can do now is widen your supraorbital axis. See this? With the reverse. See how important is 70 degree? Yes. In the first case, we did the orbital transposition with the help of 70 degree. Now you can see the entryethmoidal artery in the immediate caudal relationship to the supraorbital cell. That is the artery. Okay. That is the artery there. This is supraorbital. Give me uh, one point. See all the three openings. That was the basic goal behind demonstration of this case. The intersinus septal cell, the frontal sinus and the supraorbital. No one should get confused with uh, this concept. These are Cells which can, you know, complicate your frontal sinus surgery, one must be able to pick up them first on the preoperative imaging and then follow them intraoperatively. Okay? The rest of the work right. Right. is same like we have shown a couple of times. On this side, what is left behind? This is maxillary. We'll flush it further. What is left behind is the post-sithmoid and sphenoid like you saw in the previous case just now. Okay? So yeah. this was the thing to be demonstrated. That is the main thing. Okay? The rest I'm not uh, uh, going to demonstrate. Yes, sir. Uh, we'll be finished by our colleague. And the rest of the ethmoid and the sphenoid work and some little bit work on the opposite side will be shown will be done. So in this case, the relevant thing was this complex anatomy. I hope this was well taken. Well yes, taken, yes. absolutely. Believe me, it's not difficult. It is, um, you know, radiological correlation. See again to the CT scan. See again to the CT scan. The most yes, anterior this... one the frontal sinus and the supraorbital cell as I go behind. See, just anteriorly here, it gives a path. Can you see? Yes, sir. So I open the back, the frontal sinus behind the, uh, you know, beak. This is the beak. See this? Yeah, yeah. 
as the beak ended this was the frontal sinus clear and yes. here medially where the frontal recess started just medially was the access to the supraorbital uh, the intersinus septal cell i hope it is clear yes clear yes. and as you go behind this behind is the supraorbital cell mm -hmm. and we remove the party wall we remove the party wall with the frontal sinus to widen it see this this party wall okay yeah yeah good good the last case of the day um we had to include him uh, because he has visual symptoms with irritation and blurring of the vision in the left eye started and when we got the scan done she what is there in the sphenoid can you see this yes, it was yes. in the density yes 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 Mm, not yet opened. Opening. Okay, okay. You this can part see of the this part of the optic nerve is exposed. Yeah, that is fine. Yeah. I will show an MRI. Very interesting. See on CT scan. Can you see this fungus? Yeah, yeah, very clearly. And see the optic now, which is coming and here in contact with the fungus. Can you see very clear? Yeah, very clear, very clear. Here, this part of the nerve is decent, where it has come in contact with the fungus, mm -hmm. which has given yes. him symptoms. Okay. Yes. Beautiful. Good case. And now the coronal scan. Now see the here. This part of the sphenoid wall is decent. Mm -hmm. And this part of the fungus. This part of the fungus in ONOD. It they see. This is the optic now. See, this is where my cursor is. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Here is in contact with the fungus. See this here. Clear. Clear. Yes, 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 yes. Now look at the MRI. I'll show you some fine section in the contrast. Yes. Yes. Can you see the optic now coming out? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Very clear. And see the fungus there. This in the onodi cell. See this. See yes, how yes. this fungus is in relation to the optic nerve. And almost in touch. Yeah, yeah. Very clear. Yes, sir. Beautiful. That is the cause behind problem. And you can see in 3D also. There are certain sequences which can be reconstructed 3D. Not all. And this is one of them. And I will pick up on axial what we saw just now. Just now, here. See this? If I bring here, or I bring right on the optic now, see. See in all planes. See here, this is optic now. This is optic now coming in the orbit. See carefully, this is optic now? Yes, yes. And see this, how it is going. Going, going. See this? Yes, yes. So, this part of the optic now, this part is in relation to the fungus here. This is onodi yeah. cell. Yes, yes. In the sphenoid, the upper cell is onodi, the lower one is the sphenoid. And this is where the optic now is in contact with the. This is the optic now, and this is the. Fungal material giving the inflammation in the nerve, and this is the straightforward situation. Again, that's the final case of the day. And uh, after this, we'll meet on 6th of September with a 
course on ear surgery external to the inner ear is the theme from morning 10 o'clock so let us see the other anatomy in this particular patient see from anterior frontals are clear maxillary a little bit of the you know opacity hardly anything huge septal deviation see the same same see the spur mm. see so far there is no disease 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 now this is the level of the postethmoid and see the fungus with erosion of the postethmoidal skull base and here is the onod see this postethmoidal cell see this postethmoidal cell going behind and above the frontal sinus see where my cursor is see this this cell is onod can you see yes this is optic now this is onod and the sphenoid sinus is below this sphenoid sinus is below and onod is above and if i come anteriorly see the fungus in the onod so onod is the basic problem in this case overall there is hardly anything else yes so we'll do the same side you know the middle meatal entrostomy opposite side is normal opposite side is normal all the way except at the sphenoid level i may have to remove this intersinus septum to clear it or anything i'll just show the onod to you know call it a day see this this is my optic now and here is in the contact with onod so let's go ahead if things are ready 2 minutes any question udbhav for the day anything sir i will ask yes sir yes sir see if there is any question from the audience sir got a palani appa me asking what are the incidences of inter sinus cell you encounter quite common it's not uncommon but this was a big one simulating the max, uh, the frontal sinus itself that was a interesting situation uh, that's why we kept it yes sir sometimes majority of the time they are small yes Sir, how often do you send pus CS swab in case of sinusitis? How often? The pus CS. Do you send swab for pus CS if you are finding any secretion coming from meatus? In sinusitis, once you establish the drainage and start irrigation with the patency established, aeration established, the disease part you remove. with flushed you know everything flushed out yes no no point in uh, you know uh, in uh, dealing with the infection it has to come down with any broad spectrum obviously you have to give post operatively some broad spectrum antibiotic yes but uh, this hardly a concern sir dr vinod is asking can you explain caroline window caroline window i told you <laughs> in frontal sinus he removes the part of the floor of the frontal sinus yes by removing the axillary bone yes yes other name of this you know carolin window you can call it as axillectomy okay okay like i uh, drew in the last uh, case in the end you remove the mucosa at the level of the axilla the triangular one and yes. drill away the bone to reach into the frontal directly with zero degree yes So that is something like axillectomy, you can say. Axillectomy, yes, yes. sir. The synonym is axillectomy. Axillectomy. I will show um, uh, in the coming webinar sometime. Yes, sir. For a frontal sinus disease, what is Caroline's window? For the sake of discussion.
Sir, Dr. Fezali from Peshawar is requesting to show any endoscopic DCR and septal perforation repair in future webinars. Yes, yes, definitely. Hello. Yes, sir. Are you getting the picture? Yes, sir. We are getting it. This is a uh, topical preparation. We have seen there is a spur on this side, like previous case. Yes. So we have seen that basically how to handle that. I am not going to show here on this side. Though we'll do something in the end. The demonstration. And is this a paradoxical mingle turbinator? Yeah, because of this septal deviation. Septal deviation, yes. See this turbinator mm, is being pushed. Yes, yes. Satish. Yes, boss. Just uh, ask, some, ask someone to open the video so you can show them, uh, show all of them how to do the nasal cavity in post of cavity. So just uh, people okay. want to see it. So uh, it okay. must be after okay. this surgery. After this yes, surgery. Yes, yes, yes. See, the space is adequate for us for um, carrying out our work. And I will not go towards the frontal sinus. My target is one and only on OD cell. The sphenoid, we can do a middle meter antrosophy with some, you know, secretions. Fibrider. How is the picture? Very good. Very good. This is unseen it. Yeah. Yes. Another important far finding I forgot to tell you about this patient. I, uh, I will show you. See this polyp in the maxillary sinus. This is the unseen head. Sometimes I don't use any other instrument than divider, you know. There are many ways to do the same thing. Just to expedite the process, you know. Yes, sir. So we have already done the middle meatal entrosmy. That's a part of the unseen it. Part of the bulla, which is again compressed. This patient has a typical finding I will show in the clival dura after this surgery that we notice. And that's how he complained of headache also. Those are other clival dura. Clival dural meningitis. I will show at the end. See, immediately after that, once you remove the unseen head, focus on the orbital wall. That is the yes. biggest landmark. Once you remove the upper part of the unseen head, and see the next landmark, This is your part of the bulla. Bulla. See how it is compressed. Shujas. I am not going above to give any problem to the frontal. No. Straight. See the maxillary sinus, the roof of the maxilla landmark? Yes, sir. The orbit as a landmark? 
and in no time we'll be right on the target no time see that is the recess for the frontal yes sir. above and medially see that yes yes which i don't want to disturb the mucosa see that up yes sir i have taken and this is what i have reached to the sphenoid. sphenoid see the fungus can you see yes sir yes sir okay in this particular patient i am intentionally removing the lower part of the turbinate because i have to ensure the sphenoid irrigation in the future because he has already presented with such a massive symptom see this yes yes this lower part of the turbinate that's it nothing much the upper part remains same and i'll have a amazing exposure now wash to show you something about the onod Let me write down. Find out. Give me a uh, pack for a while, just to remind you of the important landmarks. Just to show you. तो करना है बाद में सी दिस इज माई नेजल सेप्टम यस सर दिस इज माई लेवल ऑफ द रूफ ऑफ द वैक्सीला यस एंड हियर दीज आर द पॉलिप्स this is part of the superior turbinate which i intend to remove see this anteriorly yes this one oh, yes see this is sphenoid yes sir now once we have seen the sphenoid sinus i will carry out the post sphenoidectomy can you see the onod cell opening yes sir yes 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 this is the post sphenoidal cell above see the fungus which is the cause of the problem just to orient you with the entry th model skull base see the entry th model skull base anteriorly yes sir yes yes this is the problem this fungus is the issue i am not removing it right now just to 
orient you all the time. See the sphenoid sinus below? Yes, sir. And above is what? Onodi. Onodi. Yes, sir. See the relationship? Yes, sir. Beautiful. That's see. why I didn't remove the fungus to show you the relationship. See, it's a game of 3D anatomy. Now see the coina below? Yes. See the maxillary sinus here? Yes. And see the sphenoid there. And see the culprit above here. I hope you are oriented. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, very much. And see this cell. See some disease behind below in the sphenoid. Now I am removing this onodi. Onodi. This fungus. Yes, this one. And you know, this is my optic now. Yes. See the optic now? Yes, sir. yes. Sir. Yes, yes. Sir, the cell is attaching right onto the optic now. Yeah, so we correlated this very well on radiology. Yes. That this guy is on OD and that is directly in contact with the optic now, giving rise to inflammation. Hello. Yes. See this? Yes, I'm sir. not doing ah, anything to the optic now there. Imagine, hey. uh, the optic me? now is absolutely decompressed. Yes. Once you remove the fungus, the entire see the optic now very clear. Very clear, mm -hmm. sir. Anteriorly, the anterithmoidal skull base, we didn't disturb. See this, absolutely normal. Now, give me 40. Now, I will uh, just do a decongestion over there. See, irrigation is the main tool throughout the surgery for us. Shut up, Mirosal. Chota. See, this is the marrow cell which I want to keep here to decongest. See now the optic now? Yes, sir. Yes. Good. And now finally, little bit of the, you know, this mucosal edema and fungus. See here posteriorly. I am taking the, I am using the red 40 where the cutting edges is towards me. Yes. Because this clival duride descent there at some places. See this. See this clival dura behind. Oh. See this? Yes. I don't want to disturb that. But this is simply because of this. But sir, I think for beginners, they should avoid using any instrument in the spinal sinus. Yes, yes, never. Yes. That is clival recess. And I will show why I was saying clival duride descent. This is because this patient has a funny finding. 
now see see this is the required part for this patient which we have done the important part which we wanted to demonstrate how a onod cell can lead to problem you know yes yes that's it okay yes sir let's go back wo karna wash kar septo karni hai so they will finish up the septoplasty and then i will show you coming back to the radiology yeah now the correlation with lival phenomena yeah coming back to the radiology now disconnect over Yeah, can you see the screen? Yes, sir. Yes. This is a contrast picture. This is the uh, sphenoid sinus with the fungus, which is not enhancing much, and that was the optic nerve, which was compressed by the fungus here. Can you see this? Yes, yes sir. One. Yes. Now see the funny finding. This is the sphenoid. This is the clival recess, and see behind the clival dura, which is enhancing. that is classical okay. of meningitis can you see this okay okay, okay. yes sir yes yes so we notice this this patient mm. has a headache as well and this could be the reason now we are in fix since it is meningitis we have to give antibiotics since it is non invasive there is no point in giving antifungals yes sir but it is rare to see in afrs patient developing meningitis so here we here we are in fix whether to give i take nozol along with this one what so we may give a short course of itraconazole to be on safer side to be on safer okay. side exactly now see on the sagittal as well see on sagittal this clavicular yeah, okay. yes yes and see this is phenoid component this is phenoid component this is the clavicular bone yes sir yes. which is Resolved completely, and this is sphenoid bone. When I was removing from the sphenoid with a forty, yeah. I showed you till the clavicular dura, the dura is decent. Yes, yes, sir. This is everything is important. If you are not careful about it, if you don't know that the clavicular dura is decent, we can lead to a disaster. Yes, sir. Sir, Doctor Palani Appam is asking, can you show the relationship of ophthalmic artery with the nerve, optic nerve? ophthalmic artery if you remember i have shown earlier that can be shown on angiogram yes if you want i can show you but that is on ct angiogram ct okay, angiogram yes ophthalmic artery can be seen on mr angiogram also on a time of flight sequence on mr angiogram you can see the ophthalmic artery i can show you on both yes just a minute ophthalmic artery let me show you hmm hmm okay i will show you on this ct angiogram yes yes convey my regards to dr palin appan so he has been always been uh, associated and uh, so from very good and so from and suggestions 
from beginning till the end in every webinar yeah yeah see this now what is to be known about the ophthalmic artery where it is given off and how it enters the optic canal along with the optic now and in the orbit how it crosses the optic now across from lateral to medial to reach the medial side and divide into anterior and posterior thoracic arteries let yes. us see yes let us see see this is the this is the cavernous carotid can you see yes yes, yes. as you come here above this is the level where the ophthalmic artery is given off yes see this is ophthalmic artery which is given off yes can you see this ophthalmic artery yes yes supra clinoid segment here the first mm -hmm. subarachnoid branch of the carotid internal carotid is ophthalmic artery yes now follow this artery follow this artery going in the orbit can you see can you yes. see this artery going into the yes. orbit yes 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 see how it is going laterally and then crossing the optic now i will show you let me show you the optic now first this is optic now yes and see how this artery crossing the optic now see this from lateral to medial can you see wonderful sir now how it is how it gives up branches see this if you follow the course here it gives the here it gives the antithmoidal artery okay very tiny branch see this antithmoidal artery yes sir if you want to see better i will show on coronal better yes see this the carotid let me start the carotid course for everyone this is the cervical part yes sir yes cervical part yes. enters the petrous bone yes vertical yes. petrous yes inferior yes. to the cochlea turns horizontal this is horizontal yes. then yes. at the foramen laserum it becomes cavernous wonderful mm. sir yes cavernous 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 and here ultimately divides into anterior and middle cerebral okay yes yes now before that here see that it has given rise to this ophthalmic artery yes now follow this ophthalmic artery follow this ophthalmic artery retrograde in the orbit can you see i am coming in the orbit yes yes very clear this vessel yes yes yes, yes. yes. this is the ophthalmic artery yes now yeah see this now this artery see this at this level it is giving a huge lateral branch can you see this yes yes this is lacrimal artery the largest of the branch of ophthalmic artery is the lacrimal artery fine and sometimes it is life saving believe me not life saving but eye saving i have come across in my life two situations wherein in the huge jns we had to coil the you know internal carotid and the coiling was done from the petrous to the supraclinoid in close proximity to the ophthalmic and my intervention radiologist was very concerned that it may you know affect the ophthalmic and the patient may develop blindness if it closes the ophthalmic i asked him to get the external carotid angiogram done and then i found this lacrimal branch this lacrimal branch branch has a huge you know collateral with the recurrent meningeal artery oh so that the branch was... collateral circulation mm -hmm. coming from the many middle meningeal artery in that case in spite of you know uh, you know sacrificing the ophthalmic with a coil the patient survived the vision wonderful all you this is you know on angiogram you can pick up so this is ophthalmic artery yes this is lacrimal artery going forget about mm -hmm. that follow the ophthalmic artery now mm -hmm. follow the ophthalmic artery follow the ophthalmic artery now see where it is coming yes yeah, oh, follow anteriorly follow this follow this see now where it is coming yeah you know see this branch yes yes
Hello. Kilogram time of flight sequence. You can follow the ophthalmic artery. Not only that, its branches as well. And this is important when you contemplate procedure in that vicinity. You should sit yourself with the angiogram and see, because the implications are very high. If you are not aware of this, Hello. and unfortunately, patient develop blindness by your ignorance. This is something you know. It is very painful, not only to the patient but the surgeon as well, because. you can do your best anybody everybody i would say any human being can ignore uh, some things yes sir so we have to be extra careful in regions which are vital and orbit is vital vision is vital carotid is vital these areas should be given extra important and ct angiogram i sit Now at least half an hour with every ct angiogram to see cross communication collaterals you know ophthalmic carotid branches everything all implication you should be prepared with every possible you know unfortunate uh, consequences yes sir and majority of them are preventable that is the best part majority of them are preventable the only thing you require required is how conscious you are because the onus is on us for giving the result to the patient not the radiologist yes sir what the radiologist is going to tell you in this situation he cannot and if you ask i, I somebody asked me about giving me the format he had given to the radiologist he he turned the format in 3 days 300 points he cannot write <laughs> he cannot invest 3 hours to you know report a mri or a ct angiogram he said better i'll not do any time for you in future but i cannot do this thing this is practical if a radiologist spends 3 hours for reporting he cannot do four or five scans in a day he cannot survive yes this sir is, this is practical the thing is you have to learn this and do yourself and you can you know save lot of things yes sir this is my submission this is what we are following and this is what we are propagating and this is not difficult i tell you we have to be committed to it to get the good radiological investigation done to be in touch with radiologist in any difficulty you can learn fine tuning for them if you make a team they will never you know hesitate in uh, telling you all fine details and over the period of time you will learn yourself and you know then one and one eleven like you and radiologist sometimes i learned a lot from my radiologist sometimes i have corrected him from his diagnosis believe me it's not exaggerating but this is a fact because this is one and one eleven many a time in our practice i have been saved by my junior colleagues boss i see this vessel is there can you review and i was wrong so this is something you have to learn from each other yes sir any junior colleague of you is saying something never ignore because they spend lot of time into it and then say something and this is something important thank you dr paniyappan and any more question udbhav no sir we have covered all the questions people are excited about your 6 september event they are asking for the link details how to be part of it she we will uh, yeah, yeah yeah we will send the link and it's our dream event thanks to sun pharma thanks to pachori boss and thanks to our dear friend dr ashish bhumkar and ashim desai who have consented and i'm trying my best to go to agra and drag dr pachori to jaipur to do a case for us to demonstrate awesome really me. so this will be um, this will be very nice he has he has, uh, he has never refused he has practically agreed uh, but any problem in case i will go to agra and drag him pull him <laughs> nice sir but, he has always been so you. kind he has always been so kind to me and he does lot of cochlear implant surgeries yes he does by uh, you know 
equally good you know with equal efficiency by postal tympanotomy and varia that's a good point of discussion as well pros and cons last week he did 11 implants unbelievable so no. where is pachori boss hello boss but not here sir satish in up we have started doing implants and we are doing plenty all of us are doing plenty of implants because yes, I am the government I know, has also know, taken sir. up pachori <laughs> boss always tells me about you the kind of autology work you are doing <laughs> you list more than 10 cases this and that and your experience is almost 40 years yeah but you are far yeah, excellent far off from that you, um, you know yeah. experience every time i see off. your uh, surgery every surgery is a show stopper i have never ever seen come across any other surgeon so energetic so dynamic and so full of knowledge you have always given us so much knowledge that every day we spend with you is highly satisfying i i feel that you made my day today and always sir we are we and are grateful to you for sharing your surgery. valuable time sir and uh, uh, you make me spell bound with each and every uh, and the way you explain it uh, three dimensionally and correlate surgical anatomy and uh, radiology and integrate with surgery it's exceptional i have traveled world but very i'm always places, in a learning phase sir we have to learn from you very few places you will find and i have yet to find a teacher like you to be honest no exaggerations sir, and sir, i have sir. seen i have seen uh, many centers and many big doctors many great surgeons and work with them but none like you i have to say you are proud of india Indian you know surgeon, what i told pachori boss your son is more for, most fortunate so he is learning from you yeah Out he will learn from you one day don't worry he'll come to you and sure. hopefully you will take him under your arms and make him a better surgeon than he can be thank you sir thank again you. i have a big big you know gratitude to sun pharma yeah thank you sir believe me they yes. never raised any single problem i'm mm. talking very very frank they they have been so supportive their contribution to the ent special will be remembered all the unconditional we want to this he said go ahead we want this kind of telecast go ahead never a no sometimes we took liberty to do anything without uh, talking to them and they are so comfortable thank you sir yeah, and their contribution will be remembered by all yeah, of the all ever i am always grateful i hope they will respond thank you and i have already mentioned On sixth of uh, September, uh, a day before, I am going to Agra to bring Pachori boss to Jaipur. That will be one. Well, I am with you. I am with you. I have already, already requested him to come and show something, and uh, he practically has agreed. I what he said, we don't know what the situation is going to be on sixth, but I am very very hopeful that he is okay. going to be with us. So on sixth will be our full team. dream team i always call dream team because i learned a lot from these people ashim and ashish have been my teachers learned a lot and the 6th of september is going to be a dream webinar wherein we all, we all will be looking forward to it all for our operating yes, and will cover almost every interesting situation of autology every common situation as well every informative thing as well learning autology from desai institute is always a you know opportunity yeah. that i can never miss yes and i am looking forward to it and i request everyone to join us and um, more and more uh, discussion more and more questions is always beneficial you know even believe me i am the one who learned most out of these webinars every every day a single thing i have learned is a day for me believe me there are so many people who are so experienced and contributing this is something amazing thank you pachori boss thank, yeah. thank, thank you all the team work thanks to sun pharma i think before we closer once again uh, yeah before we closer once again my heartiest thanks to sir because 
you have given big words to sun pharma today i mean not not today only it is every yeah, time sun pharma we are again, I mean, this is this comes from your heart i mean uh, i yes, we have bothered you a lot you, sir, thank we have you bothered you a lot up. i would say <laughs> nahi 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 nah, sir i mean i don't think hey, there are so many companies and whatever the I mean, Yeah, so many companies they always just say that that this type of work can can I only know. be done by some yeah, one... so many companies the big companies are saying always it. supportive to academic activities yeah. i know and yes. dr lajjandani told me last week uh, since no even nobody comes to his place from sanbhavi even they are writing because of uh, they are mm -hmm. just uh, <laughs> i know and not I only remember, me the whole i remember their so. event last year with uh, dr george vargis in uh, cochin the kind of commitment i have seen yes 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 let's yes, see sir. how it goes yes sir so we will continue to and we'll keep continuing but, this but um, support so it for was no complaint for yes, sun pharma so it yeah, was yeah, just yeah. a compliment yeah. to the sun pharma that's right compliment that because of vision to ent specialty in uh, uh, that's why he this said. kind of conference and uh, webinars will always be remembered there yeah, so many people like you there so, so they must have started you know, uh, today is the most you know the thing which has given me the happiness to the highest level is dr uh, sandeep from bareilly yeah yeah he is did angio fibroma the big one he showed the picture amazing and he gave a little bit credit to this webinar this is this gives us happiness yeah, absolutely me, and he's right whatever procedure we have shown yeah. i wish everyone to start doing it if you have any slightest problem you can always contact me and we all you should do it no one is perfect from beginning believe me no one is perfect if you think you are doing something for the first time and you know imagining to be the best one don't think yeah. that you may do the best one but why to and honestly uh, yeah. keep a load on your brain you just and keep getting, doing we are getting time for, from no one in this world is perfect no one in yeah. this world i have seen the best of the people who are on the top of the world now has given the worst of the failures including me yeah. so it is for everyone just start doing if you have a problem in patient creating problems to you in your practice this and that you can offer a free surgery for your learning yes what is the harm yes if you invest some money for the patient to do free mm. of cost of course yes. in your mind you are very clear about doing everything good to the patient but at least to get the patient confidence you do it free what is the problem Even and that's we get it feedback from so many people once you do four or five way. cases once you do four or five cases you'll be much better you'll become master see mm -hmm. money is something different never connect with the the work you are doing it will come auto automatically if you are doing good but something you have to initiate i i have discussed lot of people with you know uh, the, the deadlock i have this problem i have a fear of this i i i don't want to start i'm happy doing everything else but why not you do i have seen him doing not giving the name but i have seen people doing good work but the deadlock is the fear and you know in a private practice the biggest fear is now is some complication medical legal you know you can take your patient in confidence maybe the poor one is a issue you sit with the patient half an hour see yes. nobody in the world is coming to the doctor with negative attitude coming while coming yes. the issue is the lack of dialogue yes dialogue. all medical legal problems are because of lack of dialogue i have seen patient you know with the experience i have seen some patient for not looking good they have all negative questions in mind they will discuss with this doctor this doctor and in first you know first scene you will find this is not a good patient better avoid this you sit with the patient you invest your time you show your commitment and you show ultimately that i can try my best boss if you still have any issue you are free to take your own decision 
but at least you know those patients are afraid of something happened in the past maybe you know every, there are some people they may have a bitter experience in the past so ultimately we have to be positive to bring them to the reality that boss this is the reality medical science is not complete yes medical science is you know we are learning every day yes, for sir. so many years in practice still every day we are learning and there is nothing in complete there are so many unpredictable things so you have to understand you have to bring in confidence your patient that's it that is the end to the medical legal problem believe me lack of dialogue and, and if you have more time in this era invest more time to the patient that is the only answer more time and if you are fearful call a senior colleague who is always uh, comfortable covering you up so you can make a team with them and then gradually your fears will go away and you will earn your skill gradually the laptop is with you right now many of the time believe me sir i am so fortunate to have some patients so many times whom we have given complications we went in retrospective looking at the every aspect then we realized this could have been avoided you know but that was that time was not seeming you know and those patients still we try to cover up how to cover up the complications and they agreed doctor you do everything we have full faith in you and that time you have tears in your eyes you know yeah a patient having so much of faith in you yeah. in spite of giving in spite of having given complication to him yes. you know everything is not in your hand you are learning everybody is learning this medical science is never ending every day is a new concept every day you have to read and more than that every patient has a different behavior you know so your laptop is on right now yes people yes. are asking for uh, this uh, yes. douching video oh yeah, yeah 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 sorry okay. boss sorry boss Uh, the most me, important I, thing uh, yeah 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 let uh, me give me sure we have shown almost 20 fast now but yeah 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 give me 1 minute of 1 minute of time boss so meanwhile uh, once again my heartiest thanks to the uh, dr jain and uh, dr rajiv pachori's uh, team for the explosive to legend on the santama before i close this and once again uh, i seek the entire medical fraternity's support for our branch too that is uh, one is smart tech effects epidem xp recipe and beta word so don't worry uh, we remember it all that the uh, support also will be there by heart people remember yes, this and power by heart now san epidem that is true thank you and uh, yeah san epidem beta word montek effects sir montek effects is another brand <laughs> where we have been because we came very late in the market but still Uh, we have come to a, a very reasonable position in the market share and other thing because of the support from the ent yeah once again my heartiest thanks doctor and uh, giving Thank us you. more and more support for us to serve you more and more yeah yes this is the picture you know the biggest person the biggest applause who deserves hello delegate the yes. delegates is the person who is always behind the curtain staff your staff our anesthesia team oh yeah of course yes. they are the we have six theater running we have eight anesthesiologist you know and the guy is heading is dr anupam taking care of every patient with the central monitoring this and that there so many alarms going on but this is something a commitment majority yes. of the times we have all six theaters on of course four are ga and the two others are going on with all these small small things but on and the biggest thanks to our anesthesia team now are you getting any picture yes sir we are getting, yes, getting it see the aim of sinus surgery you know majority of the time it is eosinophilic disease majority and the goal of surgery is to allow the steroid to reach to the depth of all the sinuses to the mucosa of the sinuses so what is the role of surgery to remove all the inflammatory load like in this fungus we remove the antigen 
which is the fungus, which is giving all the problem, um, recruiting eosinophils and giving all the issues. So the role of surgery is to remove the antigens, remove the load, inflammatory load, and then allowing the steroid to reach to the depth of all the sinuses. You know? So the main goal of surgery is to allow the steroid to reach to the depth of the sinuses. And to achieve that, we have to instruct patient post-operatively to douche with the steroid solution in some particular position so the steroid should reach everywhere. What is this? You know, this is uh, like, um, you know, the second position I'm going to show you. Namaz position. Yes. That this one, this we have modified. Is like in a prayer position. You bent on your knees onto the floor and bring your head down to the floor like prayer. Okay. And you know, once you douche, where the solution is going to be, your frontal sinuses become dependent. No. The biggest problem is you douche in any position, in a normal position, your solution will reach in maxillary and the frontal. But difficult to reach in the sphenoid. Even it is difficult for the surgeon to reach in the frontal because it is so strategically located okay. difficulty with difficulty in anterior superior position. So you have to bring in the anterior superior to the down position to make it gravitationally, you know, uh, favorable position. Now in this position, when you douche, your solution goes freely into the frontal sinus. You can see? Yeah, yes, yeah. And you know, uh, let me tell you out of the, uh, what this thing. Last week, we had a, a huge discussion with uh, uh, Mr. Amit Bakshi from Eris. Eris. They are bringing in povidone iodine 0.5% solution in the COVID era. For douching. Douching not only sinuses, but the nose and nasal firings to reduce the viral load. It is the viral load in the COVID era, which is troublesome. It's, it has taken so a toll of more than 200 surgeons. They should rather bring a spray in it rather than douching. Boss, a spray will not penetrate the sinuses deep. Okay. Will, the sprays do not cross more than anterior one third of the nasal cavity, sir. Oh, yes. So they are the coming powerful. with a solution of 0.5% covidone iodine reaching everywhere to reduce the viral load. That, that, that's a good philosophy. So yes. here what we want, our solution, steroid solution should reach everywhere. Mm. So this is one position for the people who cannot go to other position for their spine and other regions, the age and other things. This is one. The second one to me, we train all young patients in this position. This is head down forward. This is typical prayer position. This is done by everyone easily. Bent on your knees and bring your head down to the floor. Now you look at the angle. You douche, you push anything, it is going to go to the frontal first. Yes, sir. That is what we want. Yes, yes. Simple. I told several times. I'm ten times I have told. We train our patient after the surgery when we remove the pack. We discharge next day to train them to douche in a particular position so that they can do at home properly. If the patients don't douche properly, whatever work you have done. It's going to go to a failure. So your, you know, integrity, your uh, whatever work you have done is at stake. So this is how we need to uh, train our patients. Yes, sir. Yes, good. Any, any other thing? I think about, thank you for bringing in good questions. No, no, sir. Most welcome. 
Satish, will you do immunotherapy in these cases, allergic fungal sinusitis later? Always we try, sir. Okay. We send them after six weeks. Okay. Uh, uh, we do a we allergy. allergic testing mm -hmm. after withdrawing everything, every medication. Mm -hmm. Skin prick allergic testing and many a times over, I would say 60% of the situation, <coughs> they've been able to find the causative fungus. Sir, Dr. And subjected to immunotherapy. Not Sir, always. Sir, Dr. John Shadow is say, saying from Australia, I get my first acoustic pneumoma surgery after avoiding them for so many years just because after watching your webinar. Yeah, he did last month. month. He did last month. month. John yeah. <laughs> Again, he is giving us so much of happiness. That is our goal. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you, Dr. John Shadow, and keep it up. If you can do acoustic, you can do everything, boss. Autology and rhinology, they run with the same concept. Anatomy, 3D anatomy, uh, you know, uh, the understanding of the aeration concept and final, you know, exteriorization, irrigation, all those things. Almost same concept. Ashish Wunkar always, always says, if somebody can do autology, Understanding the concept of aeration can do rhinology as well. If somebody is so reserved that he, he doesn't do rhinology, he can do autology, the concept is different. It's never a different concept. It's always the same. Lal Chandani, sir, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank Please, you. Sir, all. I have one, no more, to express. one more point about Dr. Lal Chandani, sir. Uh, most I did my MS from Kanpur. So many students have done MS from Kanpur, and we all those who have done MS from Kanpur must have visited his place. I visited his place. I learned so many things during PG from his uh, from his center. Yeah, that oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, you make my day. You know, thank you so yeah, much. That was, that, that is my so center is always open for everybody yeah, to come and see. So we used to go to his place during MS time, and he used to thank teach you. us. Thank you. Great, sir. Last great. Year. Thank you, Rajiv, for remembering all those. I always things. remember Dr. Sethi because his yes. contribution to our teaching every time. What we are today um, is uh, he, he, it is his contribution which is a major one in understanding rhinology concept, endoscopic sinusology. This is something you cannot, you know, uh, bring out of your mind. This is something really which has made what you are. You can never forget. Yes, you are right, Dr. Sethi inspired us all. He was a, a, a kind of a new entry into the scene of Indian uh, ENT doctors with his very aggressive endological practices. He inspired us all. We all have visited his. It was Singapore. Yes, sir, was kind of. He always is always supportive. Endoscopic. Uh, we always remember. He is always supportive. I had a short. In his hearts of him. hearts, in his hearts of hearts, is truly like what we believe, what we see, what a Sardar is going to be. You know, all is happy. <laughs> Sing is king. Is king is king. Exactly <laughs> like always supportive. Always. <laughs> is, uh, Party guy is always Party something guy. like after a hard day's work. Is above always all. after a hard day's work. He is above all, believe me. He enjoyed the day after hard day's work. I remember yes, yes, all yes. party fire time was different, but working time was different. He was different person when he was working. He is a, he is a big heart. Later, he was different. Simply I can say he is a big heart. And teaching he students is, and being happy with what his students are doing. To many Indian something surgeons. rare to see father to many indian surgeons rare to see so sir once again Thank i invite you, you all for the next uh, webinar on 6th of september as we don't have a uh, you know a session on 30th because of some reasons um, we have family functions but 6th of september is our dream webinar with our yes, all uh, Brothers operating together and covering everything about autology. Every possible thing, important thing. No, I we know the autology. It will be a so day to look after. Every important thing. 
will try to touch upon thank you so okay. let's call it a day and good thank night you, to everybody thank, thank you sir thank you thank you dr sateer dr san farma udbhav thank you sir good night good night good night good night udbhav great thank you thank you sateer sir thank you rajiv sir thank you good night thank you thank you